Hello, I'm Adele Rowland. You may have seen me on shows already. My passion is in dressmaking. I've been sewing now for about four years, completely self-taught. I've actually learnt a lot from the mistakes that I've made. In my normal day job, I'm actually a secondary school science teacher and one of the things that dressmaking has brought is the conversation starter with my students about the dresses, the tops, everything that I've made. I have two young daughters and a wonderful husband as well. One secret or surprising fact about me is that I actually have a silver world medal for Irish dancing. My dressmaking tip, top tip is Always remember your notches. Don't skip that part with dressmaking because those notches are very important to line up all of your seams. I can't wait to bring more dressmaking projects to you and get more people sewing. We love designer fabric here at Sewing Street. From the vibrant colours of K Facet and Tula Pink to the classic designs of Liberty and William Morris and contemporary fabric by Tim Holtz. We're also proud to have wonderful guest designers in the Sewing Street family who share their patterns and designs with us. So we're celebrating our love of designers with Designer Week from Monday the 21st to Sunday the 27th of June. Join us for plenty of new designer fabrics from K Facet, Tula Pink, Liberty, Anna Maria Horner, Riley Blake, and much more, as well as projects and inspiration live from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Freeview Channel 72, Sky 670, YouTube, and Facebook Live. Check out the program guide on our website for details on what's on each day. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Good morning, good morning. Happy Sunday. How is everybody? My name's Vicky. We have got the best Sunday lineup. Ever. I mean, we've got so much going on, so much going on. Hannah and I, we've just been saying, I mean, this is a really exciting Sunday. We've got Debbie Shaw's book launch, the, the uh, which is already selling on pre-order, by the way. Well done on spotting that. Uh, we've got Adele Rowland here, who we absolutely adore. We've got so much going on. Um, we've also got the best early bird ever. So normally I would sit and have a bit of a chit chat for the first few minutes, but we've got so much to do this hour. Definitely come and say hello to us. Come and say hello to Debbie Shaw. She's here this first hour. She's here eagerly awaiting in the wings uh, with her brand new book. It is already on pre-order, so eco-friendly. Uh, we are the UK launch 
of Debbie Shaw's latest book, um, which is very, 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 very exciting. So definitely stay with us and get ready on pre-order because that is going to fly out. They're all signed as well. Now, this early bird, I think that this might be the largest early bird I've ever done. We have literally got, well, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these. So absolutely brilliant. Um, fingers crossed, this is gonna last the day. Fingers crossed. The Moda renowned scrap bag is back now. Um, we have ordered up 10 different samples, just so you can see the variety of scrap bags that you could get. Uh, so they come in the bag like this, and they are a mixture of two and a half inch strips. Some have been cut from layer cakes. They're all different sizes, different lengths, and they're all different prints. So I'm going to open a couple of these just so you can see. Um, they're all Moda fabric, most importantly, which of course, is beautiful quality. I know there's a, a lot of people out there who are quilters who solely use Moda fabric because of the quality of it. It's all quilting weight, it's all beautiful. I can't tell you what prints you're going to get or what sizes you're going to get, but you will get a great selection like this. This is just one of the samples. Every Every single bag, every single scrap bag has got, it's, it's weighed by the grams, it's sold by grams basically, so 227 grams of fabric. How amazing. If you think about how much you pay for design rolls, designer design rolls, moda design rolls, how much do you pay? Today, this is an early bird special, are you ready for the price? It is the biggest early bird I've certainly ever seen. Hannah's agree. She says this is the biggest early bird I think she's ever seen as well. Um, when we have had the Moda scrap bags before, they have been so popular. And that is why today, $14.99. It will go up after today if if they last. I mean, I know we've got hundreds and hundreds, but the last time I did this, they sold in a heartbeat. As soon as the graphics went live, 50 went straight into baskets. So just so you know, this is the price for one bag of Moda um, fabrics. Remember, 227 grams of Moda fabric. It's absolutely beautiful. Whether you're a quilter, whether you're a bag maker, whether you love English paper piecing, you're gonna get a, a mixture of fabrics, a mixture of prints, different colors. Obviously, we've got people multi-buying. It's such brilliant quality. Oh, this is exciting. Now, just so you know, we literally bought the graphics in about a minute ago, less than, and already 150 have gone. So me getting very excited that there were hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and the biggest early bird we've ever done. I don't know if this is going to last the day. I don't think this is going to last the day. If you're on the phone line, thank you for your patience. Hold the line. There is, of course, a massive queue. The customer service team have been briefed, though. They know that it's going to be very, very busy, especially this hour as we're launching Debbie's book as well. So if you can, please do hold the line. It's free to call from UK landline or mobile. If you can jump in on the web, please do. Right, can we open up another one? I just want to have a look and see what the selection of fabrics like in another one. So that one, I mean, that has loads of fabrics. It looks like I don't know whether they're fabrics from different collections as well. Yeah, they are. They're amazing. So lots of different, um, lots of different colours, all quilting weight cottons. Let's go with this one at the front. We ordered up loads just so we could check ourselves as well that you were going to get a complete random selection, and you are. Because these aren't packed by us. These are official Moda scrap bags, which is very exciting. All oh, these look lovely. See, some of them as well, I mean, it's up to you whether you want to use them in the same project or whether you're just going to use them for English paper pieces. I mean, this is fantastic, isn't it, to be able to use for your EPP? Because you can subcut these into squares, triangles, hexes, sew them all together, do yourself a jelly roll race. You could do, well, remember, they're going to be different lengths and some of them might be different, slightly different widths, can you see? But I suppose you could still just join them for the race. Good morning, everybody on Facebook. There's loads of people messaging in. Morning, Sue. She's put, hi, all. Nice to send you comments again. Been offline for two days. Still watched you, but haven't been able to uh, to say hello. So, hello, Sue. I'm pleased you're back online. Linda said, morning, Vicky and everyone. Um, my lovely Tom, top fan Tom. Good morning. 
Oh, thank you. This is this dress, by the way, is the Mayfair dress that we're doing with Adele. Um, I managed to wrestle it out of my mum's wardrobe. It's my mum's. Um, it was mine, and then she wore it once, and I said, oh, it does look really good on your mum. So she actually kept it. But I said, please, could I borrow it? Because I know that we've got the dress on the show. Morning, Laurie. She's put, um, you're looking very pretty this morning. Hope the team have a great day. We're going to have a brilliant day, Laurie. Brilliant day. And Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Glennis. Hi, Susan. I've ordered my scrap bag. It's the last. Uh, the last one I had was lovely. Oh, brilliant. That's good to know. So those of you that haven't purchased before, look at this one. This has got tape measures on. That's lovely. Just remember, whilst you're on the website, if you are checking out on your scrap bag at 14.99, which remember is your early bird special price today and today only, um, then go through onto pre-order and have a look as we have got the launch of Debbie Shaw's so eco-friendly book. Already getting lots of messages coming through on the website. Um, very excited for Debbie's launch. Oh, it's going to be brilliant. It's going to be brilliant. Debbie's been very, very busy signing all of these books as well for you. So we've got 500, first 500 of you that come in will get signed editions of the brand new Debbie Shaw book as well. Good morning, Judith. Oh, thanks, John. Good morning. John, it's your day off. Please go and, you need to go and relax. Go and relax. Um, but he says, you look amazing. Thank you. John, this is the, um, this is the, <laughs> this is the Mayfair dress. Hannah, come on over, come on over. Hannah is wearing the most amazing arty dungarees today. She looks amazing. I want to show you. If John's watching, then you need to see Hannah's dungarees. They're, she's just said herself, I said, I've seen this brand on Instagram. And she says, yeah, they're really cool. They're really cool. Look, here she is. In her, uh, in her dungarees. I liked the shimmy as well. See, told you she looked amazing. Um, hi, Geraldine. Oh, Geraldine. Geraldine got Maisie some lovely, lovely gifts. So thank you so much, Geraldine. She says, you look fabulous. Look, love and hugs. Hi, Debbie Harris. Looking forward to today's show. It's the pattern, the Nina Lee pattern, Debbie. Well done to everybody who's managed to get these. Now, I'm so pleased that we had the quantity that we do. We had emails from Hayley, didn't we, saying, do you want the best early bird ever on Sunday? And Hannah and I, there were lots of whoop whoops and heart emojis and yay emojis because this is the biggest early bird I've certainly ever seen. Uh, hence why you can see all of the names running across the screen at the bottom. We never do that, do we? But, I mean, there are hundreds and hundreds of you that have checked out. That only automatically happens when uh, I think over 400 people check out, it starts to uh, it starts to, to reel round on the screen. Uh, come and say hello to us on Facebook. Don't forget, come and say hello to Debbie as well. She's here this hour launching her so eco friendly book. Uh, we've got recycled Guterman threads, which we're launching this hour as well. We've got kits. We've got projects going on. So this is something that we'll talk about all day today. Fingers crossed, or I'll keep you updated on the on the stock, nevertheless. Have a look and see on the website. Uh, as you've paid your postage and packaging, then it's only one PMP all day long now. So you might as well make the most of it. Uh, have a look at all of the different scrap bags. They've been they've been put together by Moda. They're not ones that we put together. Together, but just so you can see the random selection of fabrics you're going to get. I'll talk about them as long as I can, fingers crossed all day whilst they're available. And we'll open some more later on, but you can see there's different colours in there, there's different lengths, all packaged by Moda. I love a lucky dip, don't you? Because we're all drawn to certain colours. So, for example, oh, you know, my interiors um, are very grey, neutral, I'm not very good at adding colour. And so if you, like me, are a bit of a creature of habit and you want to try out different fabrics, try Moda out if you never have before, the quality of it is beautiful. It's a good way of sort of going, right, give it to me and I will just try and make something. I'll have a look and see what I can make. Uh, and you might find yourself thinking, do you know what, I've really, really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed being random. Hint, hint, Debbie. I know you're watching Debbie Harris. Have a go at being random and putting together a beautiful, colourful project. Or you've got your lovely blues here. The blues are really, really lovely as well. I mean, some of them are solid. You've got prints, you've got patterns. Gorgeous. Uh, yeah, John is watching. It is his day off. He's put, I am. 
having a nice relax, I think that means. Uh, Morag said, more, I'm just making the rest of your message up, John, because you've just put, I am. <laughs> um, Morag's put, morning, waiting on Debbie coming on. Um, I've got to go out, uh, uh, I've got to go out soon. So, yep, yeah, you will see Debbie this hour, don't you worry. Hi, lovely Claire. Claire from Solihull said, lovely to see you, Vicky. Great dungarees, Hannah. See, Claire's really cool and trendy as well, and she approves of your dungarees. By the way, Emma is now sort of keeping it, trying to finish your sentence as well, John. And she's, but I am happy that Emma is singing at your wedding. That was Emma's Emma's sentence because you're getting married to Hannah, apparently, John. Uh, go on. What's John messaged in saying? OMG. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thanks, John. Hannah said, thanks, John. All right. $14.99. I will talk about this for the whole hour. And I know there's still a lot of people in the queue uh, on the phone line. So thank you for your patience. The, the customer service team are aware that you're there. Just stay holding. Now, just before we get Debbie on, just the last reminder. It's the last day on Panel of the Week. We launched this last Monday. So, you know, it's the last day today to get it at this price. Um, it's I tell you what, that is a good price, isn't it? It's our exclusive Sewing Street panel of the week and it's of Stonehenge. Of course, it was summer solstice, wasn't it, on Monday? Um, <laughs> we, 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 I'm not quite sure what the... Um, I don't know. I don't know. I know it's the longest day, but I don't know. Uh, you know, a lot of people go to Stonehenge for summer, sol for summer solstice, don't they, to watch the sun. Um, but this is beautiful. Absolutely. And the two complementing spot prints as well look lovely. Maybe cushions or a bag. Remember, if you've already checked out, which hundreds and hundreds of you have, then it is only one postage and packaging all day. This will go up to £9.99. So it's Definitely worth, absolutely, stocking up, checking out whilst you're paying that one P&P and you've got it discounted. Half price, half price today, last day, $4.99 for your panel. Remember, it will come cut like this, pre-cut like this. So, normally at this point, I'd go through website, pre-order, I'd go through how to get in touch. What I'll do is I'll talk to you about that later on at nine o'clock if you're new to us. So don't worry, we'll do the quick menu and then we've got to, we've got to talk to Debbie. So today's show looks a little bit like this. We have got a brilliant lineup. The one and only Debbie Shaw is here live in the studio launching her so eco-friendly brand new book. We've also got one of my favorite guests in today, gorgeous Adele Rowland. She's such an incredible teacher, um, science teacher and dressmaking teacher. So she's going to be bringing us the Nina Lee Mayfair dress, which is here. It's also the one that I'm wearing with the longer sleeves. You can have it full length, you can have it below the knee. It's a really lovely pattern. So we're going to be talking about that at nine. 10 o'clock, I've got some gorgeous Riley Blake fabrics. Uh, we've also going, we're going to recap some of the bits that we might not get chance to, to show you in detail here uh, this hour. At 11 o'clock, two patterns with Adele from Fiona Hesford So Girl. So we've got the Susie Kimono, which if you're new to dressmaking, that's a really, really good one to start with. I know a lot of people who have gotten into the Great British Sewing Bee this year. And if you do want a lovely pattern to, to start your sewing, the kimono one's great. And you've got the Peggy top in that show as well. At 12 o'clock, it's been designer week all week here at Sewing Street. So we're going to try and do a whole roundup. Now, it's been a manic week. Uh, we have far too much to fit into that hour, so I suggest you have a look on pre-order because there is no way that I'm going to get through the amount that we've been scheduled. So definitely have a look on the website. Now, are we ready? <laughs> du, 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 Debbie Shaw, <laughs> it is so good to have you here for your Thank UK you launch. Yes, I know. It's such a gorgeous book. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Thank you. What book number is this now? I 
I think it's 25. I'm starting to lose count. How amazing, <laughs> how amazing. And it's the first time that you've done a so eco-friendly yes. book. And you know, it's been really interesting because um, I've put a lot of research into the book and, and learning about the different types of fabrics and sustainable fabrics Brilliant. and where's the best place to buy them from. But it's not just about the fabrics that have been used. It could be just reusing fabrics that you already have and replacing items that would normally be disposable. See, I love that because we live in such a disposable world yes. at the minute and we're all thinking more about sustainability yes. and I think that was the whole reason really that Steve Bennett from Gemporia wanted to start up Sewing Street, wasn't it, when he was thinking more about upcycling yeah. sustainability. Something that's on, on all of our minds, I think. Well, it is and a lot of people just don't know where to start. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this, uh, the, the Easy um, to make projects. Um, as a complete beginner, be able to make most of them in the book as well. Um, but it'll give you lots of ideas as to how you can do your little bit. Mm -hmm. So I'm not suggesting that you know completely change your way of life. Um, but I think by just doing a little bit, mm -hmm. if we all do a little bit, yeah. then we're going to make a big difference. So we've got still got projects in here, but there's also lots of great tips, yes. some recipes along the way as well. Well, I thought there's things like. Um, um, Wipes. I mean, wipes typically. There's so many different types of wipes. Baby wipes, facial wipes, yeah. um, bath wipes. Um, so I put some little recipes in there as well um, so that you're using something organic and natural with those wipes. So tumble dryer sheets, for instance. You can make your own tumble dryer sheets with either cotton or I've used bamboo toweling. Um, and just put a little bit of white wine vinegar and your favourite essence into a jar with some water. Uh, the white wine vinegar doesn't smell when it's in your clothing, but it has the same effect as tumble dryer sheets, which are basically bits of paper oh, and plastic that go in the bin. having your bed sheets with lovely lavender yeah. infused essential oils. I love patchouli. That's my favourite one. Yeah. Oh, it's gorgeous. I, and we were talking earlier on about uh, the, the, the wax wraps for your sandwiches, sandwich wraps, they can be really expensive to buy. Yes, and so easy to make. Really? And, and it's actually really fun as well. I mean, if you've got um, uh, kids in the family, obviously you're going to be using an iron, so be careful. Um, but it's it's a nice way of life to introduce them into yeah. making things like this. Gift wrap's another one. There's lots of different gift wrap ideas in the book. Um, we haven't actually used paper gift wrap for a, a long, long time. Um, but it's not just the paper from the wrap, it's the bits of tape that you stick the paper together with, the bits of plastic they're going to end up in the bin. So why not have gift wrap that you can yeah. reuse? Or the wrap can be part of the gift. Oh, and it looks so fancy, doesn't it? It oh, looks you gorgeous can, when you can really go to town. Like can I show you the bottle one? Oh, absolutely. Whoops, that, that is in the book, but this, I think, is really clever. So if you've got a couple of bottles, again, you can dress them up. I've put some gypsothla and lace on one of the packets there. Oh, gorgeous. But all it is, is literally... So you don't have to be an expert on origami to Oh, no, 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 not at all. <laughs> Two bottles. Two bottles of wine. Leave a, leave a bit of a gap in the middle. One of them is a bit empty there, I see, Debbie. It was full this morning when I left. <laughs> <laughs> but literally, roll it up, fold it up, not it. How easy is that? Gosh. I was never a fan of paper gift wrap. It wasn't my, my favourite part of Christmas, to be honest. Oh, I, I'm not good at wrapping either. And that looks so lovely. And like you said there, for any of us who love fabrics, to then be able to use that as part of yes. the gift as well. You've then got yeah. fabric at the gift. Absolutely. So there is so many beautiful, beautiful projects. Can I just say, hundreds of you have already checked out on this. We've got lots of lovely messages coming through for you. Thank you. Morning all, great to see Debbie today with a fabulous new book. I've already ordered it and can't wait to get it. Thank you. Um, they're signed as well. They are signed. We were having a giggle <laughs> this morning because we were saying, Debbie, I don't know how you actually sign all of these books you do all just in one day you'll just sit and sign all of the books and over a couple of days this one because it hurts yeah <laughs> and you said sometimes if someone's saying something else you might accidentally write if a lunch order bacon roll bacon or roll. something that Whoever somebody somewhere has a book one. signed from bacon roll <laughs> Brilliant. The later on in the day that I'm signing, the, the more scruffy my handwriting is. So sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> if you, you'll know if you've got the first ever signed book. <laughs> I love this tote bag, by the way, because it's got some beautiful embroidery on it as yeah, well. Yeah, and the dye on that. Now, this is good fun as well. Um, I've gone for natural dyes, so this is actually boiled pear leaves, 
pear leaves give this wonderful golden colour um, and mixed with a little bit of turmeric and it's a learning curve as well because when I dyed it initially I didn't use a mordant um, the colour was amazing and it all faded so you need a mordant and I've used alum because that's the most natural one that I, I could actually find but if you do like, do your own little bit of research there are so many different natural dyes that you can just pull things up out the garden nettles um, I think is a golden colour um, pull things up out the garden boil them up and, and dye things it's great fun in the hot weather as well, you don't always want to be in your sewing room. So these are nice things, crafty things that you can do yes. as well. Yeah. And be outside yeah. or with children, like you said, and uh, not just be sitting at the sewing machine all, all, all day. Um, I love all the different tips about the, the how to do your own scrubs, bath salts. There's there's one I saw um, for babies as well, which is lovely. The baby wipe bag. Uh, which is gorgeous. Bottle bags, there's all sorts in here. Now, £9.99 for this amount of projects, 25 projects, is brilliant. Did, value you, as well. did you know this is a £10.99 book? There you go. <laughs> Discounted as well. And this is the UK launch, I believe, isn't it? Yep. It is not Both available content. anywhere else until the 4th of July. There you go. Absolutely <laughs> brilliant. Uh, there's so many of you who have checked out on this. It's so lovely to have all your messages. Lots of people saying, wow, love this bag, Debbie. What a fab idea. Uh, Sarah just said, morning, Debbie. I'm glad I caught you live. I normally miss you on Sewing Street and I love your books. Oh, thank um, you. Oh, Mary's saying, I deeply miss you live. Oh, thank you. It's lovely having you here. Linda said, good morning, Debbie. Sarah said, morning, Debbie. Uh, my first time watching Sewing Street. I've pre-ordered your book and can't wait to get my po my copy. Such a fantastic topic these days. So yeah, there's uh, I believe it was did we see it on um, the River website where it's pre-order at the moment. Yes. Whereas we've got all these stock yep. ready to go now. Yeah. So if you do want to purchase it and get yours first, then you'll get it. Um, Morning, Kerry. Oh, lovely Kerry. How's lovely Hope? Morning. Love the book and the scrap bag. Big hugs from Hope. Oh, there she is. Those of you that are checking out on uh, the book, don't forget, it's one postage and packaging, so why not make the most of the Moda scrap bags as well? So, at the start, Debbie, you talk through the different fabrics. You also talk through different threads. Quite often, in all of your books, in fact, you'll get um, a similar section where it talks about fabrics, tools uh, and techniques. Whereas yeah. this is slightly different, isn't it, this time? Yeah, because I, I wanted to give you a little bit more information about different types of fabrics and which are more sustainable than others. Um, the cork fabric features a lot. Cork is amazing as a fabric. Um, it's sustainable. Um, the trees aren't damaged. They, they come from um, cork oaks. Um, you can strip the bark off them and they actually benefit from it. When you strip the bark off and then they grow back again, it actually um, sucks up so much carbon dioxide oh, you wouldn't believe. Um, is it's, it easy to sew with? Though? It's really easy is to it? sew with. It's waterproof. Oh, great. It doesn't scratch. Mm -hmm. um, so it's great for things like, I've made a bag to put your wipes in, but I've lined it in cork because it's wiped clean. So for the base of bags, for the bags that are going to go on the floor, that's absolutely perfect. Awesome. And it's really simple to sew through as well. And you can get lots of different prints and things with it too. Um, Linen is a good one to use. The, the bamboo, bamboo grow, it's a grass so it grows like a weed mm -hmm. um, so when you cut it cut it down just like with grass it just grows back again um, it's antibacterial and um, it doesn't need pesticides mm -hmm. to grow it so that's another great fabric to use so I've used bamboo tiling but you can get bamboo wadding you can get bamboo fabric yes. so you know have, have, a, have a look around they may be a little bit more expensive but they're going to last you for so long anyway oh, absolutely yeah and then you, you've spoken about that with your, your wadding but also thread so you've actually got pictured here the threads that we're going to be launching later on today um, so these are recycled threads as well I didn't yes. even know that that was a thing plastic bottle threads and Brilliant. it looks and feels like cotton fantastic um, the clever. denim that I've used in the bag and in fact the little pouch I've shown you there is recycled bottle denim so that's actually plastic but you would never know Gosh, how clever, how clever. We've had so many messages, I'm trying to keep an eye. Of, Mary said, fantastic showing the great use of cork. Fingers crossed we're going to get the chance before the end of this hour to see so, some sewing with it as well. Sarah said, Debbie's book always give you lots of tips and advice as well as great tutorials. Sorry if I don't read your message, by the way, there's so many coming through. Christy said, morning, Vixen Debbie, loving the new book, great ideas, love the, love the way to wrap your bottles as well. Yeah, <laughs> brilliant wrapping <laughs> techniques in there. 
Um, you've got someone to say hello to, actually, haven't you? I do. I need to say hello to Kyla and Elsie and Tilly. Hello. It's on no, holiday in Cornwall and it's throwing it down with rain. Oh, no. So they're all watching Sewing Street instead. Oh, well, that's a nice <laughs> way of spending your Sunday morning. I think the weather's supposed to pick up this week again, I think. hope so. I think we're, Hannah said that we're going to enter another heat wave, so hopefully you'll get some nice weather in Cornwall. Um, morning, Debbie. There's loads hello. of people saying they're loving the book. Congratulations on another great book. Um, what a fantastic ambassador, uh, ambassador Debbie is for promoting recycling. Thank you. An MBE damehood needed, <laughs> is what Dawn has said. There you go. That's another... Dame uh, Debbie. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking about all your swimming badges and girl brigade <laughs> badges that you've got. You could put that with your... Uh, I could, yeah, couldn't I? Yeah. With all your swimming badges on the towel or the cosy. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So then, um, you go through, as always different useful stitches so for example yeah. if you've never done embroidery and you love the look of the bag then you've also shown how to do french knots yes so any of the techniques. techniques that i'm using in the book i'll uh, explain how to do that because a lot of people are you know brand new to sewing and particularly i mean they, sewing as, as you know um 18 months ago took off like nobody was ever going to yeah. expect because people wanted to be involved in making masks and making scrubs then we got you hooked um but this is all kind of so it says on the back of the book actually sew more waste less yeah. so it is your way oh, of doing that. a little bit so i know there's going to be a lot of beginner sewers that have never sewn yeah. before that are going to be interested so yes all the techniques there too well it's good to be able to see what you've got at home already or yeah. you know even bed sheets different things that you've yeah. got um like you say toweling and you want to try and make something with it instead of throwing it away yeah. Yeah. it isn't all necessarily about you know starting again from scratch if you've we've got court fabric today so don't worry if you've never tried sewing with court we have got some today but also have a look through what you've got at home what already. What you have already. It's funny, that's my next book. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. I'm, I'm writing a book with my daughter, which should be out by the end of the year. Oh, fantastic. Which is um, refashioning and recycling, but not from clothing to clothing. It's clothing to home wares. Oh, so, that's yeah, have a look. When you open your wardrobe door, look at fabric, don't look at garments. Yeah, that's You've got a whole really load of fabric in there. Oh, well, that's always one of my favourite challenges on the sewing bee is the transformation challenge, when they have all the random things and put together a garment, but the other way around as well, looking at garments and putting yeah. together home yeah. furnishing. That sounds exciting. Oh, Adam's just put, Debbie Shaw, you are awesome. <laughs> you are awesome. <laughs> um, Linda's put, can't wait to buy it. You don't need to wait. If you head to the website, it is available. We're the only person in the UK that have got this book today so absolutely make the most of it especially at 9.99 and it's been signed as well do you know one of my um son's friends it was a few years ago now I, I, I won an award and he said oh charlie your mum's a gangster a what i'm a gangster apparently oh yeah i know Right. is that good I'd like, I, I think it has a different meaning these days because i'm imagining like um Machine guns in violin cases and <laughs> trill bits and stripy suits, but apparently it's different now. You'll go very New York, mm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, do we want to do a little bit of sewing? Should we do a bit of sewing? We've got some cork bundles to show you. Uh, we've got cork on its own, we've got the threads that we want to show you, and we're going to do uh, a, a little bit of tutorial from Debbie as well. So, shall we start with the bundles or do you want to start with the cork individually, Hannah? We'll start with the bundles first. I absolutely love this cork as well because, can you see, it's also got a little bit of sparkle in. You've got the printed, beautiful floral print on there um, and you've also got that lovely gold shimmer. Now, this price doesn't only include your cork and your seeded cotton, you will also get the book. So you get the book included as well for £22.50. Um, it is beautiful to sew with, as we'll see. Uh, Patricia says, cork fabric, OMG, it's beautiful. I know. I think that when you presume, oh, I'm looking at something that's cork fabric, that it can't be pretty and girly, yeah. whereas actually these corks are really lovely, aren't they? They are, they are absolutely beautiful. And again, they are fabric backed. Um, they're soft, so they're simple to work with. They're very pliable. So if you're going to use them for something like a bag lining, it's easy to turn through. It's not stiff like you'd expect it to be. You don't need anything special. If you have a walking foot or a non-slip foot, then pop it on your machine. But we, we should be okay without that. It doesn't like heat from the top. Right. So I'm going to put some H640 on the back of it, but iron from the H640 side, not from the cork. Okay. But it's waterproof. It doesn't so scratch. Good. 
You, if it comes to you creased up because it'll be folded, you can give it a steam from yeah. the back. Do be aware though that when you do iron it from the back, it's waterproof, so your steam's going to come back up again. Ah, oh, good point. So just remember that. But it's ideal for linings, it's ideal for, for bag bases. I saw a pair of shoes on Pinterest made out of cork. Really? And I loved, yeah, they looked amazing. Oh. Ooh, no, I've got really nice court shoes. Haven't quite found those. Um, just so you know, the bundle is about to sell out. You get half a metre of the court, you get a metre of your uh, cedar cotton, and you get the book. Remember, we've got more. Don't worry. Should we do the other one that's similar? No, let's do the green. It's the uh, the same print, same print, but this time in green. So you've got your lovely green cork, you have a metre of your natural cedar cotton, and this time you, of course, still get your book as well. 22 pounds and 50 pence. Uh, this is the one that the bag, you can see here, is, is made of. Oh, look at it, it looks gorgeous, doesn't it? And like you said, actually, it's really nice and strong, great for handles yeah. and bases, but it's still lovely and soft. It's yeah. not scratchy on your skin at all, no. is it? No, it, it's absolute dream fabric, it really is. And it's, it's, as I said earlier, it's one of those fabrics that's actually good for the environment. Um, and it, there's, it's plentiful, it's not anything that's at risk. And in fact, I was, I was reading the other day that there is so much cork in Portugal, if they didn't um, harvest any for the next 100 years, there'd still be enough to supply the world. Really? There's Gosh. loads of it, yeah. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. So we've got a couple more bundles to just show you very quickly. Um, so we've got um, the hearts, yeah. Have a look on the website because I know that there are um, there, there are lots on the websites, including the Guterman recycled threads, which we will come to in a bit. But have a look on the website. So uh, you've got a meter of your cedar cotton. This one's got the lovely heart, still with the gold fleck, and you get the book twenty two pound fifty. What a lovely gift for somebody as well. Uh, Dawn said, I started my recycling journey in a big way during lockdown, so this is perfect for me. Um, as a relatively new sewer, I can't wait to get this. Thank you again, Debbie. I love all of your books. And the great thing for anyone who's starting sewing, you don't use jargon in these books. No. You you do speak to everybody as if, you know, they're... It's like learning a new language when you start sewing, isn't it? it? it and it, it throws you a little yeah, bit. it does. It does. Me. Um, Especially I don't use, the abbreviations. I don't use abbreviations. Right. Really. If I'm sewing right sides together, I will write right sides together, not RST, <laughs> because it takes you a, a few seconds to figure out what that means. Hannah's saying you're an old school gangster. <laughs> <laughs> I, I only heard the old bit there. <laughs> Old school, it's fine. <laughs> Not old. That's cool, old school. But it's, I think Hannah's um, wearing dungarees. Don't, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> the thing with a lot of people when you start sewing, it, it, can, you, it can be quite cliquey. Mm -hmm. um, it can be quite off-putting. You know, the, the, all of the terms and the techniques. And sewing is something, you know, everybody, it's only a needle going through a thread, for goodness sake. And anybody can actually do it. Yeah. So I'm, I'm really pleased there's so many people who are, who are new, who are starting out. Why can't I watch this on the TV? You can. The channel hasn't changed. Just maybe give it a retune. Um, maybe retune your telly, Karen, and hopefully you'll be able to find us again. Um, now this one, does it have the... No, it doesn't. This is the only one without the gold glitter fleck. Um, and it's absolutely gorgeous again. So you get half a metre of the cork. You also get a metre of your natural cedar cotton. And you get all 25 reusable projects and their tutorials in there. Uh, £22.50. Just so you know, more of you have got these bundles in your basket than there are available. All bundles will sell out and the cork that's by the half metre, if you want to grab any for any of the other projects, grab them on the website. We're not going to run them through because I believe, in fact, they've sold out. They've sold out. Right, what is it that you're going to show <laughs> us then, Debbie? Um, the, the, there's a totes bag, um, a shopping bag. Well, you saw the picture of it, it's mm -hmm. over there. Um, but it's quite a big square one. If I'm if I'm going to a supermarket, which doesn't actually happen very often, husband <laughs> does all the shopping, um, I'd rather have lots of small bags than one big one. Yeah. It gets so, it, I mean, it, it's sizable, but I'm imagining that you could have two or three of those and it's got straps long enough to go over your shoulder as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll start making it up and give you all the hints and tips that I can muster up for sewing with cork while we're there as well. Um, so I've already cut the bits out. So the top of the bag 
I'm going to use the seeded cotton, so that's unbleached cotton. And the bottom of the bag, the base, is going to be the cork. You can make the whole thing out of cork if you wanted to. Um, you could quilt the top of it, you could put some more in. But actually, cork is really nice for replique because it doesn't fray, so you don't need to hem it. Um, uh, Patricia, sorry, Patricia's asking, could you do, could you use the cork for the bowl covers? That you've got on the front yes because no it's problem. wipeable yes absolutely um because it is fine and to say it is quite squashy so when you put elastic through it it will gather up that's no problem at all brilliant thanks patricia so, yeah for, for, for any of the projects through it not the wipes so it's not yeah. it's not absorbent no. <laughs> <laughs> so I, would, I wouldn't use it for a for a wipe <laughs> so i'm just going to sew these two right sides together I wouldn't put a pin in it either because you're going to leave a hole. Um, but you don't need a special needle, so don't go using a leather needle or anything like that. Just your general universal needle is going to be absolutely fine. Um, I am going to lengthen the stitch to a 2.6 on this machine. That's the only thing if you use a, a very small stitch, you could actually perforate the cork. It will take a lot to rip it. And in fact, if you try to rip a piece of cork, it's nigh and impossible to do that. It's a really, really strong sturdy fabric to use. You might have already said this, but do you need to use a different needle? Do you no, you needle? don't. No. no, universal needle's fine. If you're right. sewing through lots of layers, then a denim needle would be yeah. good. Um, but don't use a leather needle because it's going to leave um, a slit. Right. The, it, the cork won't heal over like, like leather would do. So. so that's the top sewn to the bottom. And then I'm going to put some fusible fleece, uh, your H640, on the wrong side of it. So on the top, I can iron from the front. On the bottom, um, I can't because I don't. We don't to put iron on this. If you cache it with an iron, it's not going to melt. Mm -hmm. But if you put excessive heat on it, it'll start to ripple a little bit, okay. and that that doesn't go away afterwards. So just be careful with heat on there. The H640 is your fusible fleece that Deb is using. You get a metre piece for nine ninety nine. I know that you use this with lots of your projects throughout, lots of your books, don't you, Debbie? I love it. I, I'm not. Um, I'm not familiar with other brands, but I like the Valiseline H640 fusible fleece because it doesn't wrinkle and you can use steam with it. Right. Um, I know with some of them, they can kind of buckle up a little bit and, mm. and wrinkle and because they don't come with instructions. So you automatically get on there and get the steam on and a lot of them just don't like it. But this one's fine. So I'm just going to iron the fabric bit from the top. See, if I go over it, it's not going to ruin it straight away, but it doesn't like excessive heat. So I can steam from the top bit and then turn it over and iron from the back. Uh, remember, your cork is waterproof. You're going to get steam coming back up again. And you'll have a bit of friction on here, so it's, it's better to lift the iron up and put it down rather than gliding it across. So I can see through it, so I know I'm not going to iron any of the H640 onto the board. So just let a little bit of steam go through. Lovely Lorraine has said, morning Debbie and Vicky, I've made so many of your projects, Debbie, I love them. Thank you. Um, hello from Kenya, we are global this morning. Hello. Oh, hi. Good morning. Susan said, I've bought the book and some fabrics. I've never used cork, so it should be interesting. Well, there you go, you can see it in action here. It's, 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 you're saying with fabric, yeah. it's cork fabric, so there's nothing special or complicated or off. difficult about it at all. Geraldine said, oh, don't burn the mat, Debbie. <laughs> Debbie with her on. I don't know what you're on about. No, it has nothing to do with me. <laughs> Never did replace that carpet though, did you? How, how is it? <laughs> I haven't seen it for a long time. No, it's still there. <laughs> Apparently on the birthday cake for Sewing Street, Alice and Marion made, there was an iron mark at the back of the desk on the cake. Oh, really? <laughs> <Yes>! <laughs> Paid homage to that moment. <laughs> Right. Just logged in. Um, can I see the book that Debbie launched? Yes, absolutely. The So Eco Friendly book. We are, um, we are, we have got it on um, on the website, and of course you can get it with the customer service team. We're the only people, we're the only company in the UK that have currently got this book. So absolutely make the most of it whilst you can. We'll have a flick through it again before the end of the show. It does say ten ninety nine on the back. Today's nine ninety nine, and you're also getting Debbie's autograph as well. They're all signed at the front. They certainly are. OK, now I'm going to cut that. That could have done with a little bit more steam. Don't worry if it doesn't stick down perfectly, because it's going to be sewn into the seam anyway. Um, well, you can spend a bit more time at home, can't you? Absolutely. You're and and it talent. would be quite nice. It was only after I made up the, the bag that you've got over there, I thought, actually, I should have quilted that, because it's a little bit plain. Um, but again, if you wanted to add some kind of applique nice. to it, then should we do that? I'll show you how easy that is. Um, this has got hearts on it, so let's make a heart. 
because again it, it, it doesn't fray so there's no need to hem it so let's cut out a hot shape Sarah just said Debbie is an excellent teacher especially for new sewers or for those who have had a break uh, from sewing thank you Debbie for restarting my mojo oh thank you <laughs> that's a pleasure <laughs> I'm just going to sew around. This isn't in the book. I'm just, we're not going to get a chance to finish all of this book. So I thought maybe we'll just have a chat about the cork and give you some tips of um, how to use it. The bag, not the book, sorry. I thought that we'd be able to talk about this bag, uh, this book all, all week. But do you know, if everybody checks out, then we are close to selling out this morning. Oh, and it's okay. only, not even 20 to 9 on Sunday morning if you're watching on a repeat. Um, fingers crossed we'll be able to get some more from you, Debbie, if we sell out, but I know that you've done a lot of signing, so these are the <laughs> only 500 that will be yes, signed. That's your lot. No, no, no more signed books than those have gone. Um, but there are, you're saying about the, the little recipes and things in there, so I'm, I'm hoping that I've give you some ideas as to things that you can use. There's, there's a repair kit, which I thought was a good idea, because mm -hmm. um, again, if you're repairing things, you're not going to be throwing them away. And there's a little recipe for spot cleaning. Um, so bicarbonate of soda in there, and then a little spritz of white wine vinegar, and then dab it with one of your bamboo toweling pads. Mm -hmm. It'll fizz a little bit and take the stain away. So that's going to help cut down on your detergent oh, as well, because you won't be washing so much if you can spot clean things. That's why the apron's in there as well. So, I mean, the apron's made from linen, which is a great fabric. Um, but if you're keeping your clothes clean, they're not going to be in the wash so much, so you're saving Good idea. detergent again. So that was the idea. Give you lots of um, lots of ideas if you don't know where to start. There are some lovely ideas in here. There's the apron as well, which is a crossback apron. Um, so many projects, 25 different projects for £9.99. Uh, Debbie is the best sewing author in the world. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what a title. Um, Morag said morning all. Um, morning, Morag. Uh, have, you just, have you just tuned in? Have you just tuned in? Uh, if, you, if you have just tuned in, please do make the most of it. Debbie, Mary's asked, Debbie, what's the machine set up for a plique? Um, I've just got it on a 2.8 long stitch on this one. Um, um, if you use a very small blanket stitch, that's my favourite one for a plique, but yeah, that's, that's it, nothing special. Yeah, brilliant. The machine that Debbie's using is the 570A, which is your Elna. Um, this one is a... Is this back in stock? When did this come back in? This last week, that I, last I was here, a week last Thursday, and it wasn't here then. Uh, it's the one with the alphabet, isn't it? Yes, um, I, I, I bought this one for my daughter last year, actually. It's a lovely oh. machine. Yeah, really nice. Um, so you're ironing from the H640 side? I'm ironing from, side, from the back. From the fleecy side. Because I don't want to put the iron on this bit, so I can iron up to it, because that's getting a bit wrinkly now. But where the cork is, I'm just going to put a bit, bit of steam on that from the back. Okay, so I'd need to do the same with the other side and then cut out some, some squares on the... Oh, it wasn't no, the iron, it was it the wasn't. board. Okay. <laughs> um, and these are quite big squares. So when you cut out a square base, the bigger the square that you cut, the larger the base is going to be. And I'm actually going to cut four inches from this one. You've got a lot of things going on there, Debbie. Haven't I have, you? haven't I? <laughs> Looking for a pair, another one. Oh, red on red, that was a good choice, Deborah, wasn't it? So again, all your measurements and everything are in the book, of course. There's no patterns in there either, it's all measurements. There we go. So I can just about see that. I've lost the scissors as well. Oh, there they are. They're considering I don't move very far when I'm working. There's a number of things that go missing. That's a coaster. Yeah, that's it, absolutely. <laughs> Nothing goes to waste. Oh, well, you can still use, you know, these in your uh, different projects. You can use that as a little applique piece for... That's a good idea, else, you? yeah. Don't waste anything. So then when I've cut the squares out of the bottom, it's going to make quite a big base to it. So it's, it's a bucket style of bag. Yeah. It's nice for storage as well, you know, if you use it for um, back of door storage and that kind good of thing. Idea. And it's really strong and sturdy it's sort of with, the, with the cork. If you try and rip it 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 doesn't rip it's incredibly strong 
<laughs> it's gone a little bit baggy, but it's not going to rip. So it's perfect for bag making because it's nice and strong and sturdy. Brilliant. Um, I'll make it one of the handles as well. Now, again, I'm not going to put pins through the corks. It's going to leave holes and you can't iron it from the right side. Do you like to use the little clips then, the window yes, clips? Yeah, absolutely. So you could put um, a little bit of fabric glue on the underside to hold that down. OK. Uh, in the book, I've used the recycled denim uh, for the straps, but I thought it might be quite nice to use cork because well, it matches the base. Well, it's strong, isn't it, again, isn't yes. it? It's great for straps. Yes. And you don't need to interface these at all? No, no, it's nice and firm because it's got the fabric backing on it anyway, so it's quite, quite thick. Mm -hmm. So a few clips in there, and then we're just going to top stitch down. It's really interesting. I'm just reading about the different materials, the cork, hemp, recycled cotton, linen. So, I mean, you've put a lot of time and thought into the, the research behind yes. everything that you're using in this book as well. So it's, yes. it's not only just old project books, you're learning more about, you know, just doing your bit as well. Yeah, and it's, it's actually really interesting. Yeah. You know, if you wanted to go online and have a look at all of these different fabrics, it's, it's amazing what you can actually make fabric out of. Um, so linen is, is such a, a great fabric to use because they don't use pesticides and that can be antibacterial and it's thermal and all that kind of thing and a lot of that's made in Ireland so there's not very much of a carbon footprint because um, that's something to take into account as well. Yeah, you know, you, you buy a lot of these fabrics from abroad mm -hmm. and even though they're not using pesticides um, and things like that and not very much water like where bamboo's concerned, it could be grown in South Asia. Yeah. So it's still got to get over here. So, you know, I think there's... There's always an, an element yeah. of yeah. doubt, but again, it, it's, it's doing a bit. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and educating yourself, learning about it as well. Yeah. It's brilliant. Um, we had a message come in from, who's this, sorry? Hi, Pat. Good Hi, morning. Borada, lovely ladies. A Sunday spectacular, I say. I know, <laughs> I know. Aren't I lucky? Uh, glad I checked in and out early. Yes, that's, that is um, a really good point, actually. Today, what I would do is get ahead on the website. Did you see the scrap bags this morning? The early bird was the best early bird as well. Uh, so we've already had a jump pack morning. It's only quarter to nine. Oh. So I'm just sewing again over, well, I've got four layers of the cork here. I've got a longer stitch. There will be a little bit of friction if you're just using um, your regular foot, which is why one of the reasons why I've lengthened the stitch as well. So you could help that through. But again, if you have a walking foot or a Teflon foot or a non-stick foot or a roller foot or anything that can help feed the fabric from the top is going to help as well. Not essential though. Sorry? Not essential though if you no, don't have any... Not, not essential at all. Piece. So don't, don't go rushing out and, and buying anything specially. Um, and again, you can steam it. So if it goes a little bit wrinkly, don't put the iron directly on it, doesn't like it, but you can actually steam it if you wanted to. I'd normally sew down both sides of that. I'm just going to cut out the second side of this bag really quickly, and then we might get somewhere towards finishing it. Oh, very That'll exciting. be a I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to finish anything. Um, Debbie's <laughs> book is your main graphic, by the way, and everybody who's checking out on their order, have a look along the bottom of the screen, and you might spot your name. Um, it's very, very, very very, very busy this morning. It's the brand new Debbie Shaw book for So Eco Friendly uh, 25 reusable projects for sustainable sewing. And as Debbie said, I love what it says on the back here sew more, waste less. 25 stylish projects which will help you live more sustainably. So you've got uh, everything from gift wrapping to bottle bags, you've got um, the snack pouches, the wax snack pouches, easy for me to say. Oh, <laughs> Hannah's saying, I love those snacks. I love the <laughs> snacks. Those are really, they're my favourite. <laughs> they're really nice, aren't they? And you've got your tote bags. There's um, the baby wipe bag. There are all sorts. There's some really lovely projects in here. As well as, on the way, some great tips as well. Bowl covers, apron. I love those bowl covers. They're great. They really, really are very, very useful. Very useful. So you've got 25 different projects, your uh, bath sponges, things like wipes. I mean, there are so, that's something that I think is definitely one of the biggest changes for me is using yeah. reusable yeah. face wipes, bath sponges and things like that. Well, when you think about the amount of wipes that you 
you put in the bin. Yeah. And, you know, the, the, the wipes that you wash with, the wipes that you wipe surfaces down with, the wipes that you have in the kitchen, the wipes that you have in your laundry room. There's an awful lot of wipes mm -hmm. go in the bin, and they're single use, aren't they? Yeah. Um, so now you've got wipes that you can wash. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> and you don't need to, to necessarily keep putting them in the... Uh, in, in the washing machine, I will just rinse mine out in the in the yeah. shower each morning, and yeah. then you can use that for a, a week at least before you're putting it in the wash. And and so the fabrics that you're using as well, with with the wipes that I've made here, um, I mean I did use the uh, the bamboo time because it's it's so, oh, it's so silky soft. soft, it's beautiful. But you could use an old flannel or towels that yeah. you have already, um, and pad them with more of the toweling inside it, so they're really soft and absorbent as well. Oh, I like the scratchy ones though. You know, oh, old you? towels that get really. That you're thinking, <laughs> oh, I need to throw that away. <laughs> It's like an exfoliator as well when you get an old scratchy <laughs> towel. Do you know what I, think? I do like the bamboo soft ones as well, though. Oh, I can't do with a scratchy towel. <laughs> I don't like a scratchy towel at all. <laughs> uh, that was one thing my father-in-law asked Phil for Christmas was he wanted to do towel. And he said, oh, no, it's too soft on a scratchy towel. I was like, no, that's when they're really old is when they get really scratchy. <laughs> old towels for you for Christmas. <laughs> All right, so again, I think my heat's just about gone on that. Um, so I'm again just going to cut out the corners and then we'll, we'll sew this together just, just so you get an idea of the size of the bag. Just so you know, um, there are less than 100 books available. There are over 200 of you who have still got these in your basket and you get to che check out. Don't wait until the end of the hour to check out. If you're checking out now, you can come back at any time. You can purchase the Guterman threads, anything off the website, anything from Adele's show, and you'll still only pay one post from packaging. So absolutely make the most of the one P and P. Um, the threads we are going to bring to you, in fact, that was a question that came in from Patricia. Do you need a special thread, Debbie? But you don't need, you can use any of your threads that you have. Yeah, don't, don't rush out and, and buy anything special like that. Um, with laminated fabrics, it's normally recommended that you use polyester thread or a polyester core thread um, because it tends to be stronger than cotton. Mm -hmm. um, but use whatever you've got. Don't, don't buy anything special for it. But if you do want to buy something special, <laughs> <laughs> We've got some threads in a second. See what I did there? <laughs> which are <laughs> really good as well, because they're recycled from plastic bottles, which is the first time that I've seen these. I think they are the first time we've had them here. Really? Which, which um, I, I think uh, Debbie was talking to our buying team and, and suggesting lots of different things for us to be able to get in for the show. Um, so we have managed to get the, the, the Guterman threads in. Definitely make the most of it. And in fact, I did spot... These are the ones that are photographed in your book. They are. I've been using those for a while. Um, they do, again, they, they tend to be a little bit more expensive than cotton, but they're made from recycled plastic bottles. So Brilliant. it's you, you're doing your bit again. And they, they still feel like your thread? Still feels like cotton. Yeah. You wouldn't know. It behaves right. in just the same way. Um, and they're colour fast as well, so don't worry about that because it's, it's plastic, basically. Oh, can we put the big one through? Let's put the big pack through because you've got loads in here. Um, 20, 100 metres on each spool. And like you said, look at how bright those colours are. And they are colour fast. So yes. um, beautiful quality Guterman threads. And they are 100% recycled polyester from plastic bottles. These would make a great, great gift for somebody, actually. They would make a really lovely gift for somebody. I think so. Um, and I, I like the big packs with lots of colours in them as well. Because I think you'll find... If you're trying to colour match your thread and you don't have exactly the right one, mm -hmm. you don't rush out and buy the right one. You, you make do. Yeah. So it's quite nice to have the whole kaleidoscope of colour there. Absolutely. Here you've got all of your lovely bright colours, but you also have all the neutrals as well. 100 metres on, um, on each spool for just 29.99. This is the largest pack. Uh, we do have smaller ones, but if you want all 20 colours, then the, this is the one to go for. We do have some of the, the 10 packs as well. What's this one? Oh no, we've got a 24 pack here. Found a 24 pack. Um, this is the one with 20. We have got a 24 pack as well. It's because it's a smaller package, isn't it? It's a slightly smaller packaging, so it's a bit deceiving. Uh, 29.99 for the Second biggest pack. <laughs> I wonder where we'll be like in 10, 20 years' time. Oh, I think yeah. everything's going to be made out of something recycled, isn't it? Yeah. We'll, we'll be saying to our great grandchildren, oh, when I was younger, we yeah. used to go and buy things at a shop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, do you know, it will be. I was only talking about that the other, the other day because I was living in the centre of Warwick and they've got um, different... In fact, it's the Eco Festival today in uh, Leamington Spa and they've got Is a it? big eco... Friend. Our producer, Kat's going today. Um, they have all of the different stalls with eco friendly and it's getting more and more and more popular isn't it we're all becoming more and, aware and it's important absolutely this isn't a trend no Th this is going to be a way of life it's, yeah. it's got to happen well, it has to happen yeah. exactly we've yeah. got to do something about it uh, so doing your bit this is the biggest pack so this is going to last you for ages and ages right so the reason that hannah didn't show this straight away it wasn't about producing it was good producer um, is because these are all black and white. I'm not going to open them up because this is um, this is this is one of the packs that are hopefully going to come to you. So there you go. They'll be layered light chocolate, two layers of black and white threads, 24 of them. I suppose these are the colours that we use most, aren't they, Debbie? The black, black and white, yes, definitely, definitely. Um, but I'd go for the coloured ones myself. I, oh yeah, yeah, I do like all the nice bright yeah. colours. Top stitching and um, mm. applique and things like that. I'll go for both. Go for yeah, get both of them. Get, get all of it. Thirty-four ninety-nine for the twenty-four <laughs> of your black and white, and then you've also got the um, the, the largest colourful pack which was twenty nine ninety nine. Debbie, so what is it that you're doing there? We're going to be Do running know, through I'm, all the rest of the I'm uh, carrying the on as like, well. like I'm not working. Um, I'm just squaring the, the base off so you can actually see the size that the bag's going to be. So um, cutting again those bigger squares out of the base means that you're going to get a nice square shape to the bag. Um, because I'm not going to finish this, mm -hmm. um, there will be a video on my YouTube channel making it up from scratch. Going What's on your at YouTube channel? Just put Debbie Shaw into YouTube. You'll find you. We'll you'll, find you'll, you. You'll see it there. It'll be, it'll be on at 12 o'clock. We've got a couple of questions about the threads. Bernie said, do the recycled do the recycled threads withstand a hot iron? Will they melt? No, nope, they, they don't melt. It's very much like um, polyester. Polyester thread, you would imagine, would melt because it's a man-made fibre. Um, how the colours actually get into the thread is a, a heat process. Okay. Because the threads go, uh, the colour goes on the inside, not mm -hmm. on the outside. Like with cottons dyed from the outside in. The recycled plastic and polyester are dyed from the inside out. So right. they have already been through a heat process. So they're not going to shrink. They're colour fast. Don't worry about heat. There you go, Bernie. Amanda's also said, Morning, ladies. Do the threads go through your machine OK? My machine only likes Guterman threads. Or could like me. These are Guterman, aren't they? So these yes. all behave just like your Guterman threads that you have at home. Yeah. Um, and in fact, if you get them mixed up with your own threads, if you've got Guterman, you wouldn't know the difference between one and another. Yeah. So they're, they're absolutely fine. Fantastic. Um, thank you ever so much for all of your messages. There's loads coming through for Debbie. You're going to have to have a good read through this Facebook Live because every time I look at it again, uh, it, it keeps sort of scrolling down. There's loads. Buying online from yourself is good as we know. The quality is good. That's it. If you are purchasing from um, our website, it's all under one post in packaging so you can keep coming back and having a good look through. There's loads on the web today. How are you getting on? I've just got as far as that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not lined or anything, it's only got one handle. Um, <laughs> but just to give you an idea of the, the size of it, and it is long enough to actually go over the shoulder. Yeah. So I, I, if you've got a lot of shopping to do, then you can have two in your hands and two in your shoulders. You can yeah. carry four bags. And Brilliant. You're evenly balanced there, if you will, as well. Nice. And all of your instructions are there as well as, yeah. of course, you're going to do the video tutorial on your, your YouTube. Thanks yeah. so much. That's all right. It's been brilliant to see you, lovely to see you and have you Thank back with you. us. Thank mm -hmm. you. Um, so when are you back with us? I don't know. Hopefully you say you've got, you've got another book at the moment. In That's, the, um, yeah, yeah. out towards the end of the year, yeah. Brilliant. Well, we'll see you soon. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank We're you. going to need more books. These books, actually. We are going to need some more of these, I think. <laughs> Just so you know, there's 20 left. Oh, they won't 20 prepare. left in the company. Um, they will be the last signed books. Yes. Okay. There's 156 people who have got them in their basket, so you're going to have to fight for those last 20. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Just pitting you against each other. Go, go, go. Um, thank you ever so much as always, no, Debbie. You. Oh, Mary said, we miss you, Debbie. Oh, you can always you. see Debbie on a YouTube show as well. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. Go and yep. say hello. Debbie's, of course, always going to be part of our Sewing Street family team. So come and see us again soon. I will. Thank you. Thank you. Right. The book, The Last 20, is about to go. If you want it, check out now. No pressure, but check out now. I'm sure we'll get it back in. But if you do want, of course... Debbie Shaw's signature as well. Um, they're, they're the last few chances to get the book, which is very exciting. So, the cork. Have the bundle sold out? How about by the half metre? 
all gone. They're all gone. All gone by the half metre. The bundle's gone as well. Let's have a look at the thread. So, the big colourful one, which is the one that Debbie was recommending, with your top stitching, you're always going to have the right colour there at hand, aren't you? So you've got all of the different shades of blue, you've got your different sunset shades, you've got your pinks, you've got all of your neutrals, your greys as well. It is your 50 weight cotton, so you can use this for your machine, you can use it for your hand sewing, you'll be able to use this for a plique, for your top stitching. It is your sort of universal weight thread and it's all made from recycled uh, plastic bottles. You're doing your bit for the environment as well. Um, it, it, how many, so you've got 100 meters. So what does that make our price per spool? One, <laughs> one pound 49 price per spool as well. So really good price. They are color fast. And I actually thought they would end up a lot more than that because it's gone through a different process, uh, gone through a different process. Guterman, obviously with the name and the brand, they have had to sort of invest in a whole new uh, future, I suppose, and way of producing. So I would have expected the cost to, to, to be included in that, but actually no, really good price as well. 149 a spool, which still I've seen regular uh, polyester Guterman threads between sort of 150, 170 even, two, up to two pounds per spool. So to say that you've got all of these different colors, it's fantastic. Now, that's the biggest colorful pack we have. We also have your essentials, black and white, 24 in your layered box this time. All in, obviously, your lovely recyclable packaging or reusable packaging, which is really lovely. Um, this will be someone, so I'm not going to open it, but you can see on the picture there uh, what it looks like. Two layers, 24, 24 of your recycled thread. It's got the washing details on there, but it behaves just like your everyday thread that we've been using from Guterman. It's just a bit more exciting that we, we've now got the recycled version made from recycled plastic bottles. I've also got some smaller packs. Maybe you want to dip your toe in and have a go. Um, we've got the brights. Let's go for these lovely rainbow colours, Hannah. It's LDZW47. All 10. All 10, 100 metre thread pack, uh, rainbow colours, your lovely blues. As Debbie said, how gorgeous would this be for, for top stitching? The book has officially sold out. Well done, who everybody who tuned in nice and early on the Sunday morning to get their, uh, their brand new Debbie Shaw book. Very, very popular indeed. We're, we're fingers crossed going to, to speak to her about getting some more in. Fingers crossed. She is literally still in the studio. I'm giving her a wink, wink, nudge, nudge. We need some more, Debbie. Um, fingers crossed the bikes. Who will be in touch? The three little girls I spoke to earlier on. Oh, yeah? They are the daughters of the sales manager who's watching. So if you want to have a word with him. Oh, right. Search press. You're watching. <laughs> we need more books printing, please. There we go. Was that a good plea for you all? <laughs> fingers crossed anyone that missed it, my plea worked and we'll get some more. Uh, so you've got all of those lovely rainbow colours. I'll just show you in, just briefly, look, the difference. So you can see if you want those real bright rainbow colours for the summer, which I know that we've gone past summer solstice now, so Hannah kindly reminded me that we are now heading into winter officially. I was like, oh, thanks, Hannah. Just got a new house with a gorgeous garden that I want to sit in with a paddling pool, and she's just said to me, it's now officially winter. I'm like, no, it's not. We still haven't even had our summer yet. Right, so they're the brights. So let's go for the lovely, um, are they called pastels? What are they called? Pale rainbow. <laughs> They're still brights, they're still called brights. These are more like your pastel brights, aren't they? These will be lovely with all of your, uh, you know, if you're making the the baby bits and bobs from the from the book, you might have the Sew Baby book or if you're doing the baby wipe. It's lovely, isn't it? Fresh spring colours, these are lovely. £14.99 if you do want to tip, uh, dip your toe in and have a go. Uh, oh, brilliant. Thank you, everybody who has sent in lovely messages. Sarah said, I love the bag, a one-handed one, -handed, a one -handed one. How familiar. Thanks for a great hour. <laughs> one hand order uh, bag. We nearly got there. You nearly <laughs> did a whole, uh, a whole demo. Well, half a bag's better than none, isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> it is very busy today. There's a lot going on today. It's going to be one of those days. I can't even, at the moment, since I've had Maisie, I've realised that I only ever have half a conversation, never finish a sentence. I've got new cool mum friends that I've met at swimming 
And um, did I tell you about my new friendship group that I've got from swimming? Oh, I've been telling everybody that I've got it. I'm in the new, the new mum's group at, at sewing. And we're literally all just saying half a sentence and then seeing to the babies <laughs> and then say, oh, we, we'll have to explain. I've forgotten my, my train of thought. I've definitely got baby brain. So Hannah's managing to manage all of the sentences for me, which is very helpful in my ear. <laughs> 14 99 These are your brights, but they are more sort of muted colour, which I absolutely love. Have you noticed, though, I've managed to get my, uh, my rings back on this week? I've managed to get my rings back on. <laughs> oh, thank you, Hannah. Oh, we're making this dress um, after the break. This is the, uh, the Mayfair dress from Nina Lee, which I love. Absolutely love this dress. It's so comfy. Now, we've also got... We've also got this one, which is just your assorted colours. So you've got more of your neutrals in here. In fact, Maisie's watching. Oh, hi, Kieran. Kieran's messaged in. Yeah, Maisie's very advanced. She's learned how to use the Facebook Live. Morning, Mama. You look beautiful this morning. Thank you. She says, I can't stop for long as Maisie's got a busy day knocking down walls in the new house and, of course, picking Maisie's colours for the new bedrooms. Oh, don't make Maisie knock down the walls. Please, please, please be careful with that. <laughs> but we couldn't miss Debbie Shaw's show. There you go. That's from Kieran and Maisie. Uh, right, fourteen ninety nine. These are your. <laughs> these are all of your more sort of neutral colours. If you wanted to go for maybe the black and white, you use more of your neutral colours. Um, <laughs> but with um, with a few brights in there as well. They're laughing at you in the gallery, Kieran. Making fun of you in the gallery. <laughs> Honestly, he sits where John Scott's watching. I, if Kieran's quiet for a bit, I'm thinking, what are you doing? I know I can tell. Uh, he's trying to work out what he's going to say to John. Loves sending in these messages to John on a Sunday. <laughs> like you're messaging Sewing Street again, aren't you, Kieran? He's like, yeah. I'm just. I said, just send a message, say hi. He's like, oh, I can't. Oh no, it's Maisie writing that, isn't it? Right, so they're all of your recycled threads. They are available on the website as well, which I will show you in the top of um, the 10 o'clock show after Adele's how to go through the website, because I know it's been very, very busy. What a wild hour. What a wild hour. OK, the book's completely sold out. The, the bundles are completely sold out. The corks by the half metre are completely sold out. Loads of people checking out on their Gutemann threads, which is exciting. And hundreds of you have already got the early bird. Check out during the break. We'll give you a couple of minutes to go pop the kettle on. Check out on your scrap bags. And we've got gorgeous Adele coming up after this. Don't go anywhere. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hello, I'm Catherine Wright. I'm from Leicestershire Craft Centre, which is based in Market Harborough. I love all kinds of sewing, but probably my favourite thing to do is dressmaking, um, but I also teach patchwork and free motion embroidery and anything to do with textiles really. I love to have a go at felting and crochet and knitting and oh you name it I'll have a go at it. Uh, so I started sewing when I was seven. My mum taught me to sew and the very first thing I made was an apron but I'm a terribly impatient person. I also just want to get on with the project so I uh, didn't wait for her to help me cut it out and I cut it out myself and I didn't know you had to have a seam allowance so I made the world's smallest apron and my mum still has it somewhere. Um, so uh, sewing tips, I would say, I teach a lot of people to sew, especially beginners, and I would say don't get disheartened, take your 
um, learning journey slowly. Don't expect to suddenly make a ball gown or suddenly make a king size quilt. Build up your skills, um, you know, slowly. Um, and I would also say the iron is your friend. Use your iron a lot. It makes your sewing look so much better. It helps you get things in place where you want it before you sew and is a really handy thing to have. We love designer fabric here at Sewing Street. From the vibrant colours of K-Facet and Tula Pink to the classic designs of Liberty and William Morris and contemporary fabric by Tim Holtz. We're also proud to have wonderful guest designers in the Sewing Street family who share their patterns and designs with us. So we're celebrating our love of designers with Designer Week from Monday the 21st to Sunday the 27th of June. Join us for plenty of new designer fabrics from K-Facet, Tula Pink, Liberty, Anna Maria Horner, Riley Blake and much more. As well as projects and inspiration live from 8am to 1pm on Freeview Channel 72, Sky 670, YouTube and Facebook Live. Check out the programme guide on our website for details on what's on each day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. I just tried to do a funny then. Adele was just teaching me some nursery rhymes, which, Hannah, yes, you did hear correctly. I did say, I pick up nursery rhymes really easily, <laughs> really quickly. I'm picking them up really quickly, but it's because they're all, they're, I, I realise that they're all the same tune, they're all the same lyrics. So Adele's just teaching me a really good one where she was pulling lots of faces. So I just said, we just do it again? <laughs> Knowing that we were coming back to the show, I will make her do it before the end of the show. Okay, welcome back to a manic Sunday. Do you know what? It is lovely, really lovely to be back with you today, especially on a, a manic day like this. Those of you that have checked out on the scrap bags, just quickly, well done, because hundreds and hundreds of you have. Um, we will have a good look at them in the 10 o'clock show. So if you miss the early bird special today, stay where you are, but in about 45, 50 minutes, uh, well, we'll make sure that uh, Adele gets a whole hour. So in the next hour, we'll make sure that we go through them. Now, when I heard that we had this pattern in, I was so excited because this is one of my favorite, all time favorite dressmaking patterns. Back in a previous life at Sewing Quarter, um, Nina Lee came into the studio, who's the, the designer for this dress, and she launched a few of her patterns. And they're absolutely beautiful. They're really fashionable. They're really comfy. She's actually a really, really interesting uh, designer as well, a really interesting lady, and it's worth having a look on her website to, to read more about her. Uh, she actually was working, I think, at the palace, wasn't she, um, 
she worked for the royal family. Um, she worked for the royal collection, doing as an author, doing art and, and doing all sorts. So she's really, really interesting. But then she decided, as a, um, a, a lover of sewing and dressmaking, to, to launch her own pattern line. And the dresses are all beautiful. All of the uh, the outfits are gorgeous, and they're all based around different parts of London. So this is the Mayfair dress. It's designed to go and have uh, cocktails in some of the lovely fancy hotels. She's actually done lots of the illustrations. You can see here Sotheby's and Tiffany's, Cartier, all of the different lovely um, jewelers along Mayfair, around Mayfair. And it's designed that you wear these lovely dresses to go into all of the different fancy ones. But it's so comfy, so comfy. Thank you, Hannah. She says, the amount of messages we've had in today about your dress. Thank you. Um, this is the Mayfair dress. This is the Mayfair dress that I'm wearing and it's so comfy. And also, I mean, I had baby 10 weeks ago and it's so flattering. It's really, really flattering. It's so lovely and comfy. Um, and I love the detail on the neckline. It's completely different to anything else. It's a really nice shape. It's flattering. So. We've got the pattern in two different sizes. We'll, we'll start with the 6 to 20. So there's 6 to 20 here, and then there's also 16 to 28, which is fantastic. Um, £14.95. Thank you all so much for your messages. And uh, I did tell you all in the last hour that it was the Nina Lee pattern, so much so that half of the stock's already sold for, for this pattern. There are lots of variations. Generally, with patterns, there is a pattern and then there are a few hacks you can do depending on your dressmaking experience. What I love about this pattern is that she's included in the pattern six variations. So you can see I'm wearing the longer sleeve. You could have it as a three quarter sleeve if you wish. Uh, Adele's made the shorter sleeve. So there's different sleeve options. It's really, really easy to lengthen this dress if you wish or shorten it. So if you want to do the full maxi length, if you want to do a shorter, if you want it just over the knee, then we'll speak to Adele about it. But she did say that it's really, really easy to lengthen and shorten. Um, I love this big tie as well, which you can have that just sits at the back. You can tie it around again and have it as a belt at the front. Loads of different options, six different variations, which is just so flattering. Uh, the second image on our website, so if you go to sewingstreet.com, if you click on more details, this image here is your sizing chart and how much you need, uh, how much fabric you need. The finished garment measurements are there as well, the bust, the waist and the hips. We do have a larger pattern available uh, of the exact same dress. So we'll do that one next. But I know that Adele, I was watching Adele last time and she was saying how important it is to measure yourself. We're changing all the time, our body's changing all the time and you never know even with the same pattern manufacturer, pattern to pattern could be slightly different. So it's definitely worth getting into the habit of each pattern measuring yourself anyway. So this is now the, the larger size, which is sizes 16 to 28. Um, this is exactly the same, just the larger sizing. The pattern paper is gorgeous. She's done fantastic instructions along the way. I love this. It says here, the Mayfair, the Mayfair dress is a jersey dream. So it's really lovely and comfy. It's designed to carry you from the office to cocktails, from beach to bar, or from sofa to fridge and back again. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. It's comfortable, elegant, su supremely flattering, and wonderfully versatile. With three sleeve lengths and knee length or a maxi skirt option, this pattern has got all situations covered. It's a relaxed fit and gently flowing lines, creating winning combination of easy to wear and effortlessly stylish. Mayfair works for all occasions, all year round. Love it. And what I love is that it sort of suits different occasions, different people. So, I... Um, this is a dress that I had from when we were at Sewing Quarter and um, my mum borrowed it when she saw it and she was like, oh, I really like it. And then I said, oh, mum, it looks so good on you. It ended up staying in her wardrobe. And then this week I said, oh, mum, can I pinch it back? That's what's amazing is that generations, different ages, different shapes as well. And 
it just suits everybody, I find, and different occasions as well. So it's obviously six o'clock in the morning, arriving here on a Sunday morning, and I don't feel overdressed putting this on. Or if I know Adele was saying she's going to make this, she's cut it out in her size to make it for school, so she's going to wear this to work. It's still really lovely and flattering, but you still feel dressed up and glam. It's lovely. Right, so all of your measurements and all of your fabric requirements are there on the back. Uh, so this is the larger size. Just so you know, the smaller size is about to sell out. That is about to sell out. There's loads of you there. Uh, oh, thank you very much, Geraldine. Loves it, very pretty. Uh, Nina made this one. This was one that was um, the sample for, for sewing quarter. Right. We will ask your question in just a second, Betty, as well. We have got your message. We'll ask Adele. Um, right, so bundles. The pink, which is the lovely pink that Adele's made the dress out of, is from this one. Now, the bundle is enough to make the largest size of the dress. Not in the longest length, in the length like mine, which is just up to my knee. Um, but if you do want to make the... Well, if I'm honest, this, I think would suit the shorter length or the knee length option. I wouldn't particularly go for the full maxi in this because it is quite weighty. A floor length, I think is just over three meters, 3.1 meters for the largest size. Um, so uh, if you do want to make it in the full length one, I'd make it in a lighter weight jersey. Right, so this is a three meter bundle, enough for the larger size of the shorter length. For 31.99, it is really lovely and super, super soft. And this is the same fabric that Adele's going to be working with. Different colour to the one she's working with, but you're going to see how, um, how it sews up um, in the demo. So that's $31.99. The colour that Adele is working with is the white. How nice would this look in the sun? Oh, wow, this is going to look really lovely. As soon as you've got a tan. Oh, I just love it. I absolutely love a nice white dress like this. It's not something that I can wear all year round, but then as soon as I've got a bit of a tan, then it does look lovely. 31 .99. Three metres. Hi Andy, morning Vix, Debbie and Adele, looking forward to Adele's demo. She's great at expressing how to dress make. She really, really is, honestly. Adele is absolutely brilliant. Those of you that have not met her yet, um, you're going to learn so much. So 31 .99 for your three metre ivory. It's not white, it's ivory. Um, we also have the mustard ochre, which is always Hannah's favourite colour, isn't it? So it's another three metre joined up bundle. It comes as a three metre piece. Um, it's also got, all three of these have got the softest fleecy back. So it's lovely and, and soft on the front, but it honestly will feel like you're in your pyjamas. It's so <laughs> fleecy and soft on the, on the reverse. Three metres of your ochre jersey for $31.99. Even if you're thinking of a different project as well, I'd grab this one whilst you can. It always comes in and sells out. Favourite? Do you want to see my favourite one? This one. This is lighter weight. It's similar uh, weight to the one that I'm wearing. And that is going to look gorgeous. It is enough to be able to do the largest size in the mid length. Um, three metres. That's the closest, the closest one to the one that I'm wearing, isn't it? It's absolutely gorgeous. It's got a great stretch. It is your jersey. Half the stock of the bundles gone straight into baskets. So if you do want that one, I've got a feeling that will be very, very popular. Do check out as soon as you can. It's lovely colours. The first time I've seen it. And it is a lighter weight. It will look great as a, a guest at a wedding. Maybe you've had weddings that have been postponed, um, but you still want to be comfortable. Because let's face it, I saw there was a big wedding, well, I said big wedding party about 10 people walking through the square, all dressed up. And um, I thought, gosh, I can't imagine putting on all those sort of stiff dresses anymore or getting dressed up is actually scaring me. I'm constantly in my flip flops now, my sandals. Um, and I can't imagine putting a pair of heels on. But wearing something like this to an occasion, you've got that stretch. So you're really, really comfy after your uh, wedding breakfast maybe. Oh, do you know what? My blue nails do kind of go with it, don't they? There's little specks of a lighter blue in there. You could choose any of these colours to accessorise with. So if you're getting a handbag or nail colour to go with, you go for the corals or the purples. Dress it up, dress it down, absolutely. Three metres. Bundle sold out. Is it available by the half metre? No, it isn't. Right, we have got the other colours by the half metre on the website, but we'll get going with... Um, 
with the demo. Hello, 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 hello. Adele. How are you? I'm very good, very good, thank you. Oh, good, you. good, good. We love this dress. Oh, yes. Isn't yes. this lovely neckline gorgeous? Yes. So I've seen so many people wearing this dress and I've never actually made it myself. And when I first did this neckline, I just went, wow, that's yeah. really effective. So let me talk through what it is. Okay. So at the back, You've oh, got... sorry, though, one second. Just sorry. so you know, the 6 to 20 has sold out. The only option of getting it is the 16 to 28. Just wanted to mention that. Yep. Over to you, sorry. It's okay. You know. So the back is a stand-up collar that comes around, and then we have little pleats. Okay. So you can see on yours, it stands up quite snug around your neck yeah. with the pleats, and then when you turn it around, it gives this lovely sort of gathering across the upper chest and like yours in a lighter fabric you can really see yeah and it kind of pulls so it gives a great feature yeah it's lovely yeah and it's it's not too low there no. is a v-neck but it's not too low because there's a lot of fabric here and also it'd be really good for people that maybe are a little bit worried about bus starts adjusting right there are no bus starts Gosh. And it's jersey, so it's great for all figures. I really, I figures. really, I'm not one. You'll never see me in a real low cut top. I mm. don't like having um, low neck, but this is so flattering. Yes. I don't feel chesty. I just feel no, nice. Because <laughs> the V's not coming from your shoulder, it's coming right. around your neck. It does a really nice <laughs> sort of look there. I, I really like this feature. So that's what I'm going to start on Fantastic. today talking about this feature because. The pattern piece looks really unusual, okay? So let's just have a look, first of all, at what this whole pattern piece looks like. So we've got the armhole here. This part is going to become your facing mm -hmm. on the inside. Your pleats are made along here. And then the front facing has this unusual sort of curve. So it all folds in on itself. So don't be frightened that the first time, let me show you the actual pattern. There's lots of markings, lots of bits that you've got to look at. This one here, we don't cut. That's where this is going to fold over and become your inner facing. Right. We've got some transfer lines where, or well, marks where we're going to pivot or go up to. And you were talking earlier about lengthening this. Yes. So there is a two length and a shorter line. So there's one around the waist. Mm -hmm. um, that's one thing I've discovered since I've been dressmaking that my waist is actually lower quite often than where patterns fit so right. I often have to I think I have a bigger sort of bodice part here so there's a length and or shorter line there but also a length and a shorter line here don't add it on to the ends okay because otherwise you'll get a flare out that it really isn't the style of the dress it's more of an a-line dress so in order to lengthen you cut that just separate these two pattern pieces and pop them down so don't don't just go to the end, look at those length and lines. So we're going to talk about these pleats. Right. Okay. So the pleats here, they show you the direction in which the pleat is going to be folded, and that's into this square rectangle, uh, right angle piece here. Mm -hmm. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six notches, which can get very confusing. So it's just taking your time with these and right. transferring those notches to your pattern piece before you take this away, okay? Um, some people, they might uh, use chalk with their notches. I actually cut into the seam, but please be careful because it's only a centimetre seam allowance. So don't snip over that. Yeah, don't okay. be snip happy. Um, but this is the effect that it creates. Look if you do want to uh, use a chalk pen as well, that's a good option, yep. isn't it? Yep, and then you've got also those ones that you can uh, iron over and then it's gone. Yeah. So there's lots of different ways to do you when you are um, sewing, you actually find techniques that work for you. So right. it may differ from what it has in the instructions on this, but do what what works for you. Yeah. And for snipping in, that works for me. When I do um, other ones, I do use a chalk pen to go through that. So this is what it's going to look like at the top center of the collar. OK, now I've put my pleats and I've just put a line of stitching to hold them in place. Mm -hmm. That line of stitching will actually be within the seam allowance. So I won't ever see that, but it keeps it all there. So I've not got lots of pins when I'm putting these two pieces together. So let's 
go with this. So you do need pins at this point. Don't just try and hold it and push it under the machine. So I've got two notches. I'm going to put my notches together and then fold and have my fold going towards that rectangle away from the front of the dress. Find my next two folds away from the front of the dress. I've got a couple of questions about this um, about this fabric actually. Yeah. I think it was Helen who asked, if you don't have an overlocker, can you still make this dress? Yep, I haven't made that on an overlocker at all. Oh, that's good Not to know. at all. Um, have you finished I'm, your edges then? So, the only edge that you really do need to finish is the facing edge, because that's going to sit on the inside and you don't want that rolling up. Every other edge with jersey doesn't unravel, so you actually don't need to finish your edges. You're now looking at yours, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I'm wondering Thinking, if it yeah. has been done on an overlock or not. But the, So have you just used like an overcasting stitch? So here, I've just used a zigzag, and my zigzag's gone over the edge just to finish off that edge, because that's going to be sitting against your skin, so you do want that sort of sitting mm -hmm. nice. But the rest of them, you don't need an overlocker, and I'm going to be using the lightning bolt stitch. Right. Not the zigzag stitch. I quite like when I do with jersey on a, a normal machine, use a lightning bolt. So, yeah, you do not need to worry about an See, overlocker. See, that's good, isn't it? Because it, yeah. it, it does look a very designer dress, doesn't it? But it, it's just good to know that you don't have to have it. Don't get me wrong, it's great if you've got an overlocker. Oh, yeah. Great. Yeah. But um, if you don't, then you don't need to worry. Yeah, and I actually, when I'm making a dress like this, it's got a few complicated bits in, I feel a little bit more safer with my machine rather than my overlocker. What machine because, is that? So this is the 550. Right. And it it's held... You, uh, it's worked with this fabric perfect, so please don't worry about any grade of machine that you've got. Um, also, with an overlocker, you've got the chopper. Yeah. You've got the, the knife. <laughs> the knife. <laughs> the chopper. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm always worried that um, if I'm doing complicated seams, because some of these seams are going to be quite complicated, because we're going into a corner, that I might chop off and then there's no coming yeah. back, is there? So overlocker, not nece uh, necessary. So I'm gonna go to the lightning bolt, which is number five. There we are. And I'm, all I'm going to do is just put a line of stitching through this to hold it there. This stitching line will not be seen. Oh, it's gone down. Have you used a ballpoint needle in there? or? Um, you can, I actually use a universal needle unless I'm really using very fine viscose jersey. Then I'll use a ballpoint. If, do you know this one, the floral one? Yes. That's finer. Would you think that that might need a ballpoint? Yeah, yeah because you'd, a ballpoint, with through. it being a ballpoint, it doesn't pierce it. It goes through the weave. Right. So, yeah, it's definitely a better idea for that. But it's what you're comfortable with, isn't it? Yeah, and the, and the thing is, you know your machine. Okay. That's the thing, you know how your machine handles different types of fabrics. If you are worried, try it on a scrap piece of fabric before Good idea. you start. Good idea. Um, I've done that when I've done denim. My machine sometimes doesn't like denim if I've got too many layers. So then I would use a specialist needle. Yeah. Because it's just how my machine is. So I'm going to press these just so when it's all come together, because that's going to be a difficult area to press when it becomes like a 3D shape, I'm pressing it now to get these in. Is this on? Hold on, let me turn it round. Oh, you plugged it in. in. Oh, I haven't turned the plug on. <laughs> it's all right. I we had plugged a, the other one. another question come in. Yeah. Um, who was this from? Sorry, Hannah. Hi, Beverly. Good morning. Beverly has said, by the way, the 6 to 20, I think a couple have just come back into stock. Hi, Vix and Adele. Can the dress be made in cotton fabric? I've never used jersey before, Bev said. Um, I wouldn't recommend it in cotton fabric, no, because there is no fastenings, no openings, so you do need the stretch in order to get it to on, get on and off. Um, please don't be, yeah, yeah. don't be worried about jersey. I know the first time I made a jersey dress, I was petrified. Um, oh, it opens up so many opportunities yes. though when you do, when oh. it is literally like you're in uh, uh, your pyjamas. Yeah. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so, so comfortable. Well, that's the thing. I'm, I actually make my own pyjamas because I just love it. And then I've made joggers, I've made t-shirts, jumpers, yeah. hoodies. 
the world is your oyster once you get with Jersey. Please don't be frightened with Jersey. Have a go, Bev. Yes. Have a go. Yes. Um, just so you know, both patterns, uh, both sides of the pattern have now sold out. So well done. We can't wait to see all of your Mayfair dresses. <laughs> do you know what I was thinking? Now that we are allowed, you know, different gatherings, we should do a day where we get everybody together in all their makes. And oh, it would be yes. brilliant. We could have a Mayfair dress day and everybody wears their Mayfair dress. And you'd see so many different variations. Different yeah. fabrics would look completely different. Yeah, so I used to go to quite a few little sewing meetups, actually. Um, oh, wow. And what's so lovely about that is you might spot someone across the road, uh, the road, across <laughs> the room in the same pattern, but their dress or top or trousers look completely different. Oh, yeah. And then you go straight up and it, I've got... I've got to stop myself when I'm not with sewing people. I just touch people's fabric. I'm like, oh, I love this dress. I did it to a lady at work, Jess, the other day. She's another sewist, and she works with me in some classes. And I saw her the other day in her dress, her wrap dress, walked straight up, and I was just grabbing it. And I thought, if other teachers saw us, we're like going, oh, I love that. Oh, yeah, it's got a nice bit of stretch to it. <laughs> We are, oh. If you have a look on the Nina Lee website and on Pinterest and on Instagram, there's loads of people that uh, have got the dress. In fact, we've got uh, Sarah in Hampshire who sent us in a photograph saying, oh, Morning, Vix and Adele. Here's my Mayfair dress. Very comfortable to wear. Lovely demo, ladies. Looks great, doesn't it? Yeah. Looking good, that Sarah. That looks really smart. That it does. With that fabric, with a sort of a monochrome mm -hmm. spot print. But well, you're going to make one for work, aren't you? Yes, definitely. Um, I've already been iron up what fabric I've got in my stash but I think I'm going to go now that we can get back into shops I'm gonna go fabric shopping yeah. and find some nice fabric yeah so we've got this back neckline done let me take that little stitch out there so already that's the part and then this is going to be your neck your shoulder sorry and then that is your neckline Right. There. So it's really effective. So we're now going to, this is where it starts getting a bit strange because it doesn't look like pattern pieces. We're going to put our front and our back seams together. Okay. Okay. So that's our front piece. Our back piece is here. Again, oh, that's another thing as well. If you are lengthening it, remember to lengthen the front and back at the same. Because yeah. you don't want your front piece being longer than your back and you forgot to do that so make sure you've measured how le how long you're going to extend that to okay so this is where I love patterns that have illustrations mm -hmm. rather than pictures because at this point I've got fabric that looks very odd shaped and I'm like oh, which bit goes with which bit so I actually really enjoy to have illustrations and they're nice clear illustrations with this and there looks lots of text as well it's quite comprehensive it's not just uh, now do this and do that it's not presuming no. you know anything it's talking you through step by step yeah absolutely so we've got the front piece here okay so I'm always remembering which bit I finish is going to be my front this is my back piece these are actually my shoulder seams here so I've got my shoulder this looks like a normal side um, shape the back does this one is going to match up right size to right size here. Now, don't be frightened that one is slightly bigger than the other. Okay? Is that right? You haven't that cut it wrong. That is correct. That is correct. I haven't cut it wrong. The piece for the front on the shoulder is slightly by one centimeter bigger because we're going to stop before the end of this because then we're going to sew the other part of the neckline on. So let's do both shoulders. And as you can see, none of these seams are unravelling. So we don't need to worry about finishing our seams. That's a lovely your top as well on the Facebook. Claire says, love Adele's top. Someone else asked her as well earlier on saying about um, what pattern was it? I'm sure they said, oh, it was Laurie. Hi Adele, lovely to see your top look great. I love this pattern. Always enjoy your demos. Liz says, hi Adele, great to see you back. Love your demos. Loving your top. Have you made it? Yes, I have made it. It's a fibre mood um, top, which is like um, a pattern catalogue company. So I just love bright fabrics and yeah, big, big statement sleeves. sleeves. Looks I just love... Is well, that like jersey as well? Yeah, this is jersey See, that looks well. again, it looks really smart, doesn't it? But it's ever so comfortable. Definitely yeah, I've worn this for work as well with a pair of just smart trousers. And it's fine. 
But what I love about dressmaking is I don't think I ever appreciated all the small details when I was buying clothes from the shop. So details like the shoulders, the yeah. arms here. I don't, I don't think I appreciated it or I wasn't brave enough to try it. Yeah. Like I have not seen this sort of shape at the back around the collar on any dresses no, me neither. in the shops. You'll get so many compliments on it because it just looks so different, doesn't it? Yes. It looks very designer and that's yeah. why I think the Mayfair dress is just the perfect name for it. Absolutely. So now what I've got to do is I just need to snip into this corner. Let's get rid of all that fabric so you can see what I'm doing. So I've done my shoulder seams and then we're going to close this next seam here. Okay. And I have to cut because remember those shoulder seams want a right angle. So we're having to manipulate and turn out the fabric. So be very careful when you snip that you're not going to go more than a centimetre. Okay. Okay. So just, I say, just over a cent half centimetre just to allow that fabric to open up. It's always nerve wracking when you've cut in seams. There we go, done. And then we're going to, so by cutting that open, as you can see, I now are able to cut um, ah, sew yeah. across this part here. So what we've then done is done our shoulders and done our back neck seam. So again, that was our pivot point that was on our pattern. Just a few needle uh, pins just to hold that in place and what's nice this fabric isn't too stretchy so if it's your first time ever with jersey mm -hmm. it's a nice stability to it that and it when you're feel like sewing it, it you don't have to pull it or no. stretch it you know like if you're doing elastic or anything like yes. that it's you don't need no. to worry about that no not at all just let it go through the machine itself don't pull it because if you do pull it it actually then distorts it and makes it go wavy so don't pull it and you can ch some people choose a zigzag stitch some people choose the lightning bolt i've just found the lightning bolt holds better it lasts longer whereas the um zigzag it's sort of more stretchy right so that's what i love about this machine actually is that it's got all of those more sort of specialized stitches on it's got i think 50 stitches on there which generally how many stitches do you use day to day i think most people probably count them on one hand even um, but it's nice to then have the different buttonholes all the different um, fancy stitches decorative stitches as well isn't yeah, it yeah i made um a glasses case the other day and I actually did lots of little decorative stitches. Yeah. Just made it out of some scrap denim that I had. Oh, and lovely. it looks really nice, just yeah. along the bottom, lots of little flowers. And then you've got, yeah, the ones at the bottom there. Just gives a nice little feature. Lovely. Right, so there we've got our back, neck seam, and shoulders. Ah, yes, done. I can see it now. Do you see it now? Yeah. Now, the next piece is a burrito to <laughs> hold. It's a bit early for a burrito, in. although yeah. Hannah's already had an enchilada this morning. But <laughs> <Has she> really? <laughs> yeah. Two, in fact. Two, she said. They are lovely. Oh, so <laughs> we, we're not going to do that because I want to actually get on and talk about the shaping on the front. But I don't, I don't want to brush over this. So this facing here is going to be on the inside. Right. So what I'll do is I'll show you how that's done and I'll show you where the line would be. Okay. And then we'll move on to... The elastic at the front because that's a hidden feature yeah that's lovely i like having that elastic at the front yes it is lovely yeah so in order to make this burrito shape what you've got to do is roll your top up uh, dress sorry up and start from the bottom and roll so the front is there and we're going to roll with the back okay so we roll this up really tight Roll, roll, roll. And then this neck here, we're going to wrap round like this. Okay. And then what we do is we actually pull it to this side like this. And then we will sew. Where's that line there? Have you done a burrito like this before? 
It's um, really cool technique. So yeah, we do burritos when we do yolks okay. on the back of shirts. Yeah. So I'm just going to pin it to show you where you would sew along, but we're going to move on and get this because this is a bit of a, a time. Just get yourself a cup of tea. Yeah. Get yourself like a movie on or something. Just take your time with this. Yeah, okay. Because it does look quite confusing. But what we're going to do is just sew. Where the exact line that I have just sewn, we will sew along there. Right, okay. Okay. So if I pin this, it will all encase it and then I'll pull it out and you can see where that line would have been. And then you'll get this lovely facing that's a, a great finish. You, it's really professional finish, actually. It's very nice. So where I'm pinning now, you will sew. Now, it does suggest in this, because obviously this is quite big to get through mm -hmm. the sewing machine, to maybe change to your zipper foot. Okay. So that so you gives you... You can get you, alongside yeah, it. You can ah. get right alongside it and then get that done there. Good idea. Then, once we've done that line, we unwrap. So, I've done my line of stitching and now... I'm unwrapping my burrito, okay? So at this point, you do have to sort of wiggle it about. Yeah, and you'll have stitched it all so it'll be yes. nice and secure. Yeah, I am trying to be careful pins. when pulling it yeah, because be I've got careful. pins there. But as you can see, oh, it's starting to come out. <laughs> the birthing of the dress. <laughs> oh. It's the first time I've seen you since oh, you've come know. back. Oh, I Speaking of birthing, I was going to say that is like a bit taut, traumatising <laughs> watching you do this. <laughs> oh, 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 right. Oh, I've gone a bit, I've just stabbed myself. Oh, no. Oh, no, please. I'm not, please be careful on the white as well. Do you want um, a plaster? Yeah. We will get you a plaster. Oh, Our sorry first about aider. that. Yeah, I've just caught myself with the pin. No worries. Right, let's come yeah. back from that. You, you just uh, will get you a plaster. I'll just quickly talk about the early bird. For anybody who missed the early bird special today, I think it was the biggest early bird that we've ever done. Um, just to give you a bit of an example, I've opened one of these. We ordered up 10 different samples so you could see the variety of different fabrics that you get as these have been kitted by Moda. First aid team, team are in. Hannah's got a little first aid box. Um, right, so these have been um, put together by Moda. They're called scrap bags, but I tell you what, look at the size of these fabrics. So you've got strips, they could be full width strips, they could be slightly shorter strips, they could be slightly narrower, so they're, they're taken from design rolls and layer cakes. So you've got loads of different prints, different colours, all completely random, different collections, but all from Moda, which we know the quality of Moda. We started with Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these. It's the biggest early bird we've ever done. And loads of you have already taken advantage. So it isn't done by how many strips you get. It's done by weight. So 227 grams of Moda fabric. Quilting weight, beautiful quality. And it's 14.99. Bearing in mind, how much do you pay for uh, pre-cut Moda? How much do you pay for design rolls? Or how much do you pay for layer cakes? How much do you pay for a designer? Uh, designer jelly rolls. This is amazing and it is just £14.99. So I just wanted to uh, quickly remind you for anybody who's just tuning in this morning that that is available at the moment on the website. We'll talk more about them uh, in the next hour. Are you all right? I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes, I just caught myself with a pin. So we've got a little bit of um, blood on the dress but we'll just ignore that. <laughs> You're all right, which I'm is the main fine. thing. I'm so sorry. No, don't be so daft. Sorry. It happens. And at home, you you'll have sewn that when you're turning it through, so yep. you won't you won't do that. Yeah. <laughs> it was. I'm just trying oh. to get as much done oh, no, through I'm the sorry. demo. Normally, you would take a lot more time making this dress than I'm doing, so I apologise that we didn't quite get the burrito unwrapped. At least we showed where we needed to to sew along. So what I'm doing now is I'm doing this front seam here, okay? Now, I did make the mistake when I was doing, I didn't read the instructions properly. Okay. okay. So this is where you need to read your instructions. I sewed <laughs> all the way up this face in, and you don't need to do that. Where this little point comes out here, you begin at that point, go up, 
is a pivot point and then go down the front of the dress. Okay. okay? I don't know why I put that together and then I had to unpick, but <laughs> it's this front seam here. Now, you can't omit this front seam. That front seam does have to stay. But on your dress, you can't see it with the pattern fabric. And no. I don't think it even makes any difference here. And I've got patterned fabric, so you would think that it would be more obvious, this front seam here, but... No. You can't I mean, it hasn't it. been pattern matched and you can't you can't tell that, oh, it's, it's, it's got a seam there. No. So I'm just going up. Stay. Now I'm going to put my needle down when I pivot. OK, so I put my needle down, go round and then take this seam all the way down to the front. And just asked, by the way, um, said I've got the pattern. Fabulous demo, Adele. Does it have instructions for the three quarter length sleeves? Yep. Yep. Um, there's lots of variations. I think you said six earlier, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, six variations. I think yep. there's the long sleeve as well there. And yep, long sleeve, short sleeves, three quarter length. I actually really like the three quarter length Yeah, sleeves. I do. I think it's nice too. Um, it's a nice length and I feel comfortable wearing that in summer and in mm -hmm. sort of autumn, winter. But yep, and then you can go maxi. I've seen some beautiful ver maxi versions of this dress. Really nice. Just going to lengthen this so we can get through quicker. There we go. Geraldine said, great job with the plaster, Hannah. You were there very quick. Thank you, Hannah. <laughs> oh, she has watched a lot of Holby City. Um, yeah, I know you really were upset when they stopped it, didn't you, for the year? They stopped As it. Ask her, has she watched Grey's Anatomy? No. <gasps> then you need to get on that 16, 17 series where... There you go. There you go. It's brilliant. She says, I have watched every Call the Midwife, though. Oh, yes. But I do love, um, what's it called? Grey's Anatomy. It's brilliant. I've just finished Line of Duty. I can't watch another full-length series. <gasps> no, I'm not getting those mixed up, no. <laughs> oh, Line of Duty makes me laugh. Right, so here's our... Now, this is the thing also. We haven't done the side, se side seams yet, and there's a reason for that, because we put the sleeves in flat, OK? Now, I want to talk about this feature here. So, look, we've got this lovely neckline here. Now, there's nothing around here that you think will cinch the waist in, but what's hidden underneath this tie is a small amount of elastic, OK? So, there's a small amount of elastic that you at the front will tell you the length that you need. Okay. Okay. So the length that I need for this would be seven and uh, 18 centimetres. So I've, it, all it is, you can use clear elastic or just this white elastic here. Right. Absolutely fine. Now there is a point that you're going to begin on and then this length, you're going to stretch and you're going to meet the next point there. Mm -hmm. And as you do that, it gathers the skirt up like this. Mm -hmm. Now, you're not going to ever see this elastic. So don't worry that it's white elastic and you're on a different colour fabric. Mm -hmm. You will not be able to see it at all because it's going to be hidden underneath. So have we got a tape measure? Uh, there's I one that should be behind you on the, on the white shelf. Brilliant. Um, oh, we've had so many lovely messages. I know Julie's just said, Adele is so inspiring. Love Adele. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm just really passionate about getting more people sewing. I love sewing and... Um, I can't Have you managed to get your it. teacher friends? Um, yes, so the Jane... The watch. So yeah. Jane, she's made her first top. Brilliant. She wore it. I was like, woo, like this. And I said, now that... <laughs> what were you like? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Now all the exam um, procedure and everything like that's gone. She said she's going to spend some more time sewing. Um, like I said, there's Jess at work, who's another seamstress. It's funny, actually. We both turned up in the same dress pattern really? for one lesson. Oh, and we yeah. were swallowing around at the front going, oh, I love yours, miss. Oh, I love yours, too. <laughs> but yeah. You're the coolest teacher ever. Oh, do you know what? As well, I'm desperate to get back to our little sewing group that we set up just before lockdown happens the first time. Yeah. Um, we... I had um, about eight students and we just spent 
and eat like after school for an hour sewing. But I said to them, this was your club, you choose what we're going to do. Oh. And they made uh, pyjama shorts, bags, oh, brilliant. Um, scrunchies, all lovely things. And I want to get that back. But because of COVID, we've not been able to mix the bubbles. Yeah. So we can't do after school activities. But Soon enough, we'll be yeah. back. Yeah. So here we go. As you can see, look, mm -hmm. that elastic will not meet that point. But as I sew, I'm going to pull it right, and it will fill up. Now, it also says there's a little bit extra on this length for you to hold it. You shouldn't be going right to the very, very end. Okay. So there is an extra length to help pull. Right, let's put this in. Again, just a zigzag stitch to hold this because you... A zigzag stitch allows your fabric and the elastic to move. If it was a straight stitch, if you did this and you tried to pull it, it will snap that stitch line. Okay. So I hardly ever use, I only used a straight stitch when we're applying that. I didn't use a straight stitch at any point on here. So I'm going to start with my needle down holding the elastic. Okay, so make sure that my needle's down and it's in my elastic. That then, I'm gonna do just a few stitches before I do, then it anchors it down. I'm now going to pull it and sew at the same time. So one thing I do recommend is holding it at the back as well. And you're not pulling it through, you just hold it. I'm just holding it because I'm holding the stretch out. As you can see, right. As I start to sew, the elastic ah, comes gathering. back and yeah. it starts to gather. Yeah. And that can be quite difficult then because it's all gathering up behind. So all that I'm doing is I'm holding the back, back open, mm -hmm. not pulling it. And then pull this elastic and it will give this lovely ruche at the front. Because I don't want to pull it through because I don't want the stitches to skip. There we go. And do you need to do a locking stitch or anything at the, the end of I this? just do a couple of back stitches, that's all. Um, but with a zigzag, it's it's quite often, it's it won't unravel. Not like a straight stitch right. would. And then, as you can see... That's attention to detail, isn't it? Adding that bit in. Yeah. Oh, lovely. So it gives, gives it a lovely shape. Lovely shape there. I'm just going to cut off the ends of that elastic and then this is going to be covered completely by the tie that goes round. Okay. It's a long tie isn't it? <laughs> yeah so it actually comes in three pieces and you think well why is it in three pieces? Yeah. If it was in two your join would be at the middle and then that would sit right there. Yeah. So by having the three pieces, the join is around the back. Yeah. So then when you tie it, you can have it tied at the back like we've got here, or you've actually got it round I've tied it at the front, and tied yeah. it at the front, haven't you? Yeah. Because it's, it's long enough to be able to do that. Absolutely. You can have it however you want. Yeah. I change it. Sometimes I wear it to the back, sometimes to the front. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then all we're going to do is we're going to sew that over that elastic. <laughs> <laughs> I said to you today, you've been the model, weren't you? Just like... Though. And then Hannah just said in my ear, I'm Vicky and I pick up nursery rhymes really easily. <laughs> <laughs> like, thank you, Hannah, you just brought me straight back down to my real, my real life. Oh. <laughs> oh, motherhood is great though, isn't it? What's my nursery rhyme I've got to learn? Are you going to... Go on, I'm going to make it. Mm -mm, when the little green frog one day. Mm -mm, when the little green frog... <laughs> Mm -mm, with, with the, the little, little green frog, frog one day. So we all went, mm -mm, uh. Oh, there you go. I told you I'm they could do it. <laughs> <laughs> I really oh. hope your children are watching. Oh, like, oh mum, you're so embarrassing. Do you know the best time we used to sing a lot of nurse rhymes when they're in the bath? Oh, um, yeah. Because <laughs> it's just so nice, isn't it? And then like, oh, let's wash your hair. Oh, <laughs> oh they're probably dying <laughs> of embarrassment. <laughs> Oh, what have you done? Right, okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I don't remember, like, but I don't remember my love 
sometimes be like that. I just remember being like, it's all in my eyes. And oh, <laughs> yeah. And we've got at the moment sun cream. Oh. And I want sun cream on my face. <laughs> <laughs> They've both got such curly hair in the gallery and they're like, all I remember is, ah, oh, you're hurting me, my brother, trying to brush your hair. Oh, yeah. So my eldest now does her own hair. So I'm completely out of that now. <sighs> oh, the day she said, oh, I can do my hair. I said, hey, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Off you go. She got curly hair. No, they've both got straight, straight hair. Um, so, but they went for um, a cut after lockdown finished and they, they haven't had their hair cut properly for ages and they loved it. They came out and they were like, woo! Yeah. They were like, take a photo of me, mummy, take a photo. <laughs> they had layers put in. They oh, look gorgeous, cute. absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so I'm just going to sew this um, tie on so that we can see the effect that it has with this rouging. Now, this is another point. I'm going to do a straight stitch, right. but I'm going to make it a long straight stitch. I don't want small straight stitch because I don't want any more gathering. Mm -hmm. And also with the long one, it allows me to have more room to stretch. Okay. Also, you need to, like I did before, we need to hold it out flat mm -hmm. when I do the stitching. I'm not stretching it. Okay. I'm just holding it out flat. flat. Okay. So I am stretching the elastic but not the fabric. Right. Okay. I'm with do you. not stretch the fabric. And you'll see these stitches. So do you need to think about what thread you're using? Yes. So you do need to think about whether you've got a pattern whether you want to go with the colour. Because this is the only seam that you can see apart from your cuffs of the whole right, dress. Okay. So I've gone for a matching colour. I actually went for silver on here, like a, a light grey. So I thought oh, nice. that went nicely with it. Um, we've got uh, a neutral colour here, so you will be able to see it. We've got the uh, the new recycled. Oh, pack. you know, have you, you seen these? So you were talking about that earlier, right? When we do about recycling at school, all the kids' blazers are made out of plastic bottles. Oh, really? Yes. It's the one that's behind you here. Yeah. It's really interesting, isn't it? It's amazing that because uh, it still feels exactly the same as as your normal thread, doesn't yeah. it? Well, won't melt with your iron or anything like no. that. No, and I always say to them, so look inside your blazer. They open the blazer and there's a big uh, label there plastic saying this is made out of plastic oh, bottles. Oh, brilliant. So it creates a really good talking point yeah, at school. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's we something we're all aware of and, uh, and have got to do something. Yeah, about we it, have haven't to we? do something. My hero, David Attenborough. Oh, <laughs> right. Oh, I'd, we've got a cardboard cutout of him at school. Have you? Yeah. I thought you were going to say, like, I've just got a car, yeah, in my bedroom, cardboard no, cutout of him. No, at school, we, um, he comes in all sorts of our school videos that we do, you know, like information videos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm that teacher that has. <laughs> You're looking at me now like, mm. No, I know what you mean, and we do understand. He's, you know, yeah, you know, the he video did the COVID, te COVID testing video with us, you see. Oh, brilliant. Because we can't have two teachers next to each other because of social distance. So, so you have David Attenborough. David Attenborough. Right. So just a small back stitch there. And then, like I said, I'm holding this fabric flat. I'm not stretching it. And it's going to cover this elastic. So you will never see this elastic was there. But it makes it comfortable to wear. Have I just, no, I haven't just pricked myself again. Geraldine, I've never seen that. She's put, Victoria, will you be getting stretchy thread to sell? I believe it's good for jersey fabric. Oh, not sure who yeah. makes it, though. I've not seen stretchy thread. No. Oh, I've oh. seen something. Is that like shearing? Yeah, I was going to say, like shearing. Elastic. You just put that in your bobbin, don't you? What, yeah. Go on, Hannah. There is a stretchy elastic. A thread. Thread. John was talking about it the other day, I believe. We have to ask uh, Ian. It's not up to us. It's we. Yeah, we've got a buying team. We'll ask Ian. Ian and Paul. Ooh. That'd be good though. That's it's really interesting. Good. I've seen a thread actually that is um, like glue. Oh. So you put it in one of your overlocker threads and then when you heat, it um, makes your seams flat. Gosh. Like just your hems already. Sorts, isn't there? Yeah. There is loads out there. Okay, so I've done one. And as you can see, I sewed it flat, but that elastic still wants to come back. Right. So it does make this rouge up a bit. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, because when you wear it, it doesn't no, rouge it doesn't. up, does it? No. So this is the stage when I was doing it, I thought, oh, is this going to look good? It does. It all pays off in the end. 
So I'm not doing it all the way around. It's only across the elastic point there. Hannah thinks she's going to look like a Grecian goddess in this uh, white, mm. in the ivory colour dress. Oh, it looked lovely. I'm really into dyeing at the moment as well. I dyed a T-shirt. Oh, yeah, I remember you saying, didn't you try some tie-dyeing? Were you doing tie dye? Yeah, so I did tie dyes with the girls, and then um, we had our sort of, like, leavers festival. Yeah. So I did a bit of ice dyeing. Oh, I heard about this, but it takes a lot longer than tie dyeing, It does, so I it? had to leave it overnight. Yeah. Um, so I put loads of ice all on my, on my T-shirts and then sprinkled all the dye on and um, left it overnight, yeah. went down, bung it into the washing machine, got it out, it looks gorgeous. Does it still look similar to tie-dye effect? It does, but yeah. it's more sort of speckled Ooh. and crackly. Like a slush puppy. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> like a, sl a slush puppy spill, I'm saying. <laughs> but a lot cooler than that. Oh, but it looked really nice, because you haven't got all those sort of uh, swirls or yeah. parts like oh, that. okay, it's more speckled. And it yeah. is all about patience. I did see your photos from your Leavers oh, Festival with your glittery oh, face. I was annoying all the kids. I was like, do you want glitter? No, miss. Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> I've got glitter. Look, everyone's got glitter. Oh, okay, go on then. <laughs> I would love to be in Adele's class. <laughs> we did sumo wrestling, um, bouncy castles, chips, ice cream. It was a fantastic. David Attenborough's there, uh, just oh, in cardboard cut out for. We never got him out. <gasps> oh no. Oh, we missed a trick there, didn't we? Right, so let's get to the point where you can see that this dress is coming together. So there we've got our front rouge with our tie belt. So that just um, stitches just on the front, just, just there. Just on the front okay. where your elastic is. Yeah. You've got, so I'm just going to pin this so that we can see the effect that it is. You've got your neckline there, which is your pleats, which gives this gathering look. You can already see it wants to gather as I pull it there. And then you've got your V-neck there. Oh, look at that. It looks beautiful. Oh, it does the well. close-up, doesn't it? looks really nice. It looks really... I think it will suit many different body shapes. Absolutely. Absolutely. It will be fine if you're larger busted, if you're smaller busted, because it's, if you've got a nice stretchy fabric, you don't need to make any adjustments over yeah, there. Yeah, brilliant. Really good. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you ever so much. It's always amazing to have you. We've had so many messages come through. Everybody's really excited to try this dress out. <gasps> Oh. You'll have to put a photograph on and when you've made it as well, yes. which you found your fabric that you want to do. Yeah, I'm going to go fabric shopping. Yes. It's going to be on my list before autumn. Fab. To make this Thank dress. you ever so much. We'll see you in an hour. We've yes. got the kimono um, and we've also got the peggy top. They're both so girl patterns. Thank you. We'll see you in an hour. Thank you. Right, so I haven't really got that much to round up, have I? Both pattern sizes have completely sold out. There are the different colours in the jerseys on the website. We've got the bundles and also by the half metre. Um, is there anything else that you need me to mention? I think we'll go to break and come back and talk about brand new Riley Blake, the early bird special. We'll go through everything that you need to know about buying on the website as well. It's just manic, isn't it? But stay with us. We are back in just a couple of minutes. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there.
you're a sewing street or yarn lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. We love designer fabric here at Sewing Street. From the vibrant colours of K Facet and Tula Pink to the classic designs of Liberty and William Morris and contemporary fabric by Tim Holtz. We're also proud to have wonderful guest designers in the Sewing Street family who share their patterns and designs with us. So we're celebrating our love of designers with Designer Week from Monday the 21st to Sunday the 27th of June. Join us for plenty of new designer fabrics from K Facet, Tula Pink, Liberty, Anna Maria Horner, Riley Blake, and much more. As well as projects and inspiration live from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Freeview Channel 72, Sky 670, YouTube, and Facebook Live. Check out the program guide on our website for details on what's on each day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Hello, my name's Fiona Hesford and I'm founder of Sew Girl. I'm based down in Worthing on the south coast of England. And I've got a range of sewing patterns which I've developed over the last few years which are projects for loose fitting clothing, everyday, simple garments, things that I really love to wear myself. And I'm going to be bringing you them to Sewing Street over the next few months. So I look forward to seeing you then. Bye. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Hello, welcome back to our Sunday dose of Sewing Street. It's so lovely being back here today. It's so um, happy. We were singing our theme tune, happy, clap along. It is ladies day today, isn't it? All of the girls, all the girls here today. Um, it was lovely to see Debbie Shaw this morning. Adele is going to be back with us in the next hour. Uh, so anybody who is getting into dressmaking, we've got a pattern coming up in the next hour, which is perfect for you. So if you're thinking, oh, some of those techniques look a bit daunting as a brand new dressmaker, never fear. We've got the kimono coming up, which is a perfect first project. And we'll talk through all of everything you need to know with Adele. Now, this hour first, though, 
Oh, it's obviously designer week here at Sewing Street. So we've brought to you the most amazing designers. We've seen launch of Liberty uh, collection. We've also seen, sorry, I don't know what happened to my voice then. We've also seen a gorgeous William Morris quilt. We've had the most incredible cave uh, fabrics. We've had brand new Alice in, Alice in Wonderland fabric. We've had loads of really, really gorgeous tulip uh, pink fabrics. It's just been brilliant. So to round up, obviously, the designer week, we've got another launch for you. And this is from our absolute fave, Riley Blake. Now I've got um, a panel, which I'm gonna start with, but there's a few other fabrics that are going to go with it as well. R Riley Blake isn't a person. Riley Blake isn't just one person. A company that works with lots of different designers to create incredible ranges. I, I mean, absolutely love them so like moda if you love moda um, riley blake is another high-end american team american um, company who put together the most beautiful quality fabrics they really really are we've sourced as much as we can um, now we're just going to start with the flea market range which this is the panel now the problem is we've got two fabrics and one panel from it and they will sell out. It's been very, 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 very busy today, just so you know. This is your panel. This is your panel. It's absolutely massive. You've got so much on here because you could do these lines here. You could use those as your cutting lines if you want. And you could cut these and make four big cushions. You've then got loads of extra bits for um, wall hangings. You could frame these. You could use them as cornerstones on a quilt. You could have them as pockets on an organiser. You could put them as a plique onto bags like Debbie Shaw bags that we had this morning. These ones at the top you could use as a plique. So you could almost do, you could almost do like, um, uh, uh, you know, one of the free motion, free motion Helen Newton cushions. You could almost create your own sort of design with the lovely flowers and do some free motion around, uh, just have these at the bottom of a cushion. Loads that you can do. So let me show you. It is big. There is a lot on here. And it is just $14.99, a designer Riley Blake print. I love that it's got the little ditzy print in the background as well. The colours in here are really nice. You can match these in with your solids. I'm sure if you've got the early bird, the, uh, the scrap bags as well, you'd be able to pick out so many colours from, from your stash or from your scrap bag, absolutely. Uh, it has got a white background, so even if you're using, if you're making four cushions, you've got you've got lots of white there that you could just literally do white backs um cushion backs what's that you thinking sorry hannah block keepers absolutely those of you that are halfway through different projects i saw somebody put on the the facebook page the other day right be honest how many projects are you working on at the moment and there are loads of people who were saying was it lisa lamb lisa lamb was saying it was uh it posted i did see it come up and i thought oh gosh i wonder how many people are going to say 10, 20, like loads of projects. So if you are doing a quilt and you want to keep your blocks in a block keeper, this would make a really lovely, you could make yourself a little um, like sort of pouch to put all your blocks in. Uh, if you want to add any of the H640, that was on the website from earlier on. Uh, if you're making cushions, if you're making bags, there's so much that you can do with the panels. You could also embellish over the top of them, couldn't you? You could always add little French knots in the centre. You could add buttons onto it. It's got quite a kitschy sort of feel to it, personalised with names. The great thing about panels is that you can do as much or as little as you want. You could simply cut out this part here and use that as a central part of a quilt. And, and put borders around it. It's, it's absolutely um, the world's your oyster. They look like applique blocks, actually, don't they? They look like your sort of classic uh, traditional applique blocks. Uh, and I love that you've also got, they could have just, you know, had this as a, a white strip at the bottom, but used the space really, really well. So you've then got these extra applique pieces that you can use. If you're doing a quilt, and then on the back, you can just do little uh, motifs from the front as well. Hidden little flowers that are then, or if you've got a cushion and just along the envelope back, just put a couple of the flowers as well. Just a lovely idea, really beautiful. 
over half the stock has gone. It look, it gives you some ideas at the bottom of the panel as well. It says here, um, what about for throw pillows, chair backs, placemats, quilt blocks, project bags, pin cushions, apron pockets, notebook ca covers, pot holders, candle mats, coasters, tea towels, framed art, beauty bag, satchels, satchels, doll quilts, bunting, table runners and jar covers and then we run out of space but you could uh, of course go on and on and on is that it just a couple of ideas there for you but that'd be nice just to keep us little labels do you know who'd love that Rebecca Reed. she loves seeing little like labels on fabric doesn't she and do you know what else she'd love the little watering cans on the salvage the different colours the different colours they use. You, you keep that, absolutely. I know, I've seen so many things on Pinterest where people make um, different projects out of the salvage uh, edge to be able to, to see all these lovely little um, watering cans. It's lovely. So that's the, uh, the brand new panel. Limited now, very limited. I think because lots of you have opened your order this morning, you're thinking, oh, what else can I get? What else can I get? If you have already shopped with us, it's one postage and packaging. And it's a very exciting morning, isn't it? Very exciting. Normally, I must say, a Sunday is quite a relaxed, chilled, just Sunday cup of tea. Haven't even had chance to pop the kettle on this morning, have we? Hannah's only had one coffee this morning. We haven't had time. And you're wide awake, aren't you? Yes. Yes. Um, right. So... This one, as you will see in a second why, is one of Hannah's favourites. Oh my word, I love this. Now whether you choose to cut out your hexes, I just keep it as it is, you quilt it. Oh, the value for money is amazing. Look at all the different prints you're getting in here. And in the background, again, look who's going to love it. Rebecca Reed. they look like words. I can see words. No, they're not love letters. <laughs> Belt buckle there. How romantic. Look, I said Rebecca Reed would love it. It's got her name. I think these are account numbers, are wages. You've got <laughs> Rebecca being bound in, in belt buckles. Look, account forwarded. It's, it's totting up all of the different receipts. I'm not sure that it will have your name on it. I can't guarantee that it will have everybody's name on it. But look, here we go. We've got Jen. Jen's there. What does that see? Um, there's loads of names. It's great, isn't it? I just love that you've got all of these different colours, different prints. And it's by the half metre. So look at that. It's your quilting weight fabric. I love this. Absolutely love it. I would make something that you keep all of your hexes in because Kat, when she's doing English paper piecing, she um, covers all of her hexes and keeps them in a, in a tub. You could do all of your, your storage tubs with this for, for your workroom. It's gorgeous. If you love the look of hand-pieced vintage quilts, but you're not into hand sewing, you haven't got a big collection of fabrics maybe, this is great. It does it for you instantly, doesn't it? £7.49. For borders, I mean, if you're thinking, right, I'm not quite sure what colours to pick out of my quilt to do a border. This is going to go with everything, isn't it? Because there are so many colours in there. It's absolutely lovely. And I do love that the detail in the background is really interesting. Really interesting. It's so random, yet not one outshines the other. Very clever indeed. Riley Blake, obviously, uh, uh, are very, very, very good at what they do. Um, if I was to put together a blue and a green and a yellow and a red and um, a brown and uh, different colours, it would just look mishmash. What's the word? Mishmash? Mi mishmash? Mishmash? Um, uh, and here, it just works, doesn't it? Very, very good. Very clever. By the half metre, so... What that means is we'll cut it off the bolt for you to whatever size you want. If you want more than half a metre, it's absolutely fine. It's 7.49 for half a metre. If you want one metre continuously, put two units in your basket. If you want four metres, put four units, uh, sorry, eight units in your basket if you want four metres. So however much you want, it's brand new in today and it's just 7.49. Do you know, it's fantastic, I must say, that we're still at these 
brilliant prices because I don't know whether you've noticed, but I've seen elsewhere that there are a lot of places having to up their prices. Uh, I don't know whether designer fabrics have gone up in price or what's happened, but I've noticed it more and more. And here, I've noticed that we're still extremely competitive on price. And it's not something that I talk about very often, actually. It's, you know, it's, it's not something that we, we, um, we don't always ha necessarily say, oh, we pride ourselves on being the, the cheapest prices and the most affordable prices ever. But I, I do notice, actually, when I shop elsewhere, which we all do, we go and have a look, you do a bit of a browse, I do notice how competitive we are. So it's, it's, I love that we do all our tutorials and we're on every day and there's lots of different benefits of buying from us. But now, the pricing as well, I think is fantastic. Right, so, brand new. So, it was Laurie Holt um, who's designed this. It was Laurie Holt who uh, designed this along with Riley Blake. It was a question that's just come through. It's lovely, isn't it? I'm just reading on the edge of here. It says, use it up, wear it out, make it, make it do or do without. <laughs> Ain't nothing else in this whole world I care about. We thought it was going to be the lyrics to that song. Shake your body down. Emma's singing it in my ear. Right, panel sold out. I do you know, it's sellout central here today at Sewing Street, isn't it? And we had big quantities of stock in today. It's just very, very busy. If you do want this by the half metre, be quick to grab it. The last one that we have from the flea market range is this one. And it's all, oh, here you go. We'll see you clearly what it was saying in the background of the Hexi one. It features vintage sales receipts. Look, you've got price tags here as well. The Aqua Typewriter. Do you know, <laughs> I once went on um, in the audience of the Graham Norton show and Tom Hanks was on the show and I said to Hannah, I've got to meet him, like we've got to do something. And do you know how on, on Graham Norton, it was, the, um, it was the New Year's Eve special, so they said they wanted, no, I did invite Hannah. I couldn't invite Hannah. She's obsessed with Tom Hanks. It would be embarrassing. Um, but they said that you would, uh, they wanted audience input. So if you've got any questions that you wanted to ask Tom Hanks, then to get them into them. And I thought, I've got to be the one that gets to ask him questions. So I said to Hannah and she said, right, I know a lot about Tom Hanks. I know that he collects typewriters. I know that he's this, this, this. It's like, how do you know all this information about Tom Hanks? How do you know he collects typewriters? Anyway, she's just said, Tom Hanks would like this fabric because he collects typewriters. And it says the word typewriter on it. <laughs> Oh, strong links from the producer today. <laughs> Let's see what else is on the um, on the account list here. Oh, look, an acoustic guitar. This, this looks like a, a good shopping list, doesn't it? A fishing reel, a metal locker, an acoustic guitar, a 1960s <laughs> album collection, four men's ties, vintage, an old belt buckle, an antique law book, three old file drawers, Portable typewriter, <laughs> toolbox, and a transistor radio. Standing in the sunlight laughing. Oh dear. Sing along at home. Uh, that's an interesting, um, that's an interesting receipt, isn't it? I wonder what shop sells all this because it says, there you go. Thank you. Call again. Sterling Finds. Sterling Finds is where you can get all of that. A uh, very diverse range of bits and bobs in there. Now, it's 112 wide, quilting white fabric. This would be interesting for um, dressmaking as well, actually. What about dressmaking? It is quilting weight, but you can still use it for dressmaking. More sort of structured garments. It'd be great. And I like that it's um, neutral colours. Neutral colours, but still really interesting. What about for little things around the house? Um, I'm thinking like a, a tablet rest or a laptop case or um, things for in your office. It's, it's a little bit Tim Holtzy, isn't it? From Tom Hanks to Tim Holtz. <laughs> yeah, apparently Tom Hanks now has a fabric range as well. Uh, Seven pounds, 49 and a half metre. And it will then obviously just keep going continuously on if you do want more than half a metre. Seven pounds, 49. Um, for one single unit and get it home, see it for yourself. 
brand new in today and let's see it next to this so if you did get the other flea market fabric it's the same print in the background of this one so if you do want a complementing fabric it goes perfectly or if you want a complementing um, fabric to go with your panel that's now sold out it's the same it's the same range seven pounds 49 a half meter for your antique block uh, sorry your antique book market fabric right that's all that we have from that range. That's all that we have from the flea market range. We've tried to get as much as we can. So the thing is, when you're looking at uh, American designs, it's the same with Tula Pink. It's really difficult sometimes to get over here from the UK. If you find it elsewhere, sometimes you have to pay really big shipping charges. So definitely make the most of what we've got here. We have got some Riley Blake uh, design rolls and we've also got, do you want to do the idyllic or the bloom and grow range? Idyllic, idyllic. So. We've got the idyllic pre-cuts, we've got the 10 inch charm pack and we've got the jelly roll. 10 inch charm pack first. Would you like me to open it? 51,099 pence. Look, these are all the different fabrics that are included and they all work together so, so well. So you've got your big floral designs. Um, you've also got the stripes in there, you've got your squares, £51.99, that was my fault, um, Emma, I think. I didn't get them all off the trolley. I said, don't you get any more, Emma. <laughs> and what I love about these is that you're getting to see the whole collection, but without paying the cost of buying them all by the half metre, you're still getting really great big sizes. They've all um, been pinked as well around the edge, so you're not having to use these straight away, they're going to last. Whether you're choosing to use these sparingly, or whether you want to make a huge uh, idyllic quilt. Look at this, I love that print. Absolutely love it. This is by Minky Kim, by the way. This is the idyllic range from Rayleigh Blake Designs. The designer for this one was Minky Kim. And it is beautiful, really beautiful colours. Very, um, I was going to say sort of like country cottage, vintagey style, but then you've still got some really lovely bright colours. I think you get two of each print. Two of each print. Lovely yellows, it's very delicate. I think it was inspired by boutique gift shops, Hannah's saying. Uh, look, you've got like Little Rose Lemonade, Antique, Vintage, Love, Friend. Really pretty. 51.99. I think that's one of their flagship um, pieces from this collection. I've, I've seen this picture quite often. 51.99 and you do get every single one of these 10 inch squares. All the different colourways. Of the different prints they look completely different don't they in different colors this one it's lovely there's a lot you can do with a 10 inch square you know there is a lot that you can do it will go a long way and as i say even if, if you're teaming it with solids it's going to go a long way um, right so that's your 10 inch square we also have it in the design roll which are your two and a half inch strips i'm not going to open this one it's the same print this time uh, and it comes all beautifully wrapped like this and if i undo it then i'll never be able to put it back but if you've got any of the pam and nikki lintot designs or if you've uh, you've got any of our jelly roll or, or design roll books Lots of patterns call for two and a half inch strips. And you've got all of the blues, you've got the, the, the yellows, you've got the pinks and corals in there. The same prints as what I've just shown you, but this time in the, the slimmer two and a half inch strips. Great for EPP um, because obviously you can still sub cut it. And I know Alison Marion will be saying, look, don't just think of it as smaller pieces. You can join them together and you can make her mummy and me apron. You can join them together. I've seen people using design rolls to make skirts. Did you see me struggling then, Hannah? She's like, don't worry about putting it back in the packet. I was doing my best to do it quietly and, um, and subtly. I was like, you're struggling with that, put it away. $49.99, it's still a great way of experiencing all those fabrics, but again, not at that, that cost. The other bundle, the other, um, oh, this one. A bundle or design roll bundle. Right, we've got another brand new fabric range from Lily Break. I love the golds. 
I love, love, love the gold. So let me show you these all together because it is a bundle. Everything that we have is here on your screen. So you've got the reds and the gold. How gorgeous are they together? You've got your leaves with the vines. Oh my word, this looks amazing. Look, it's got birds on. <gasps> have we got these by the half meter, Hannah? Oh yeah, I will have a closer look in a bit by the half meter, but look at that. <gasps> that is gorgeous. So you're getting half a meter of each of these designs. You've also got um, the same print in gold and it is slightly metallic. It's not sparkly, sparkly gold, this one, but it is, oh, it does just catch the light beautifully. You've then got this one. Does this have a slight Christmassy feel, do you think? I love that. The red and the gold. You've got these big print flowers, the larger scale prints. This is the great thing about purchasing from a designer like Riley Blake is they know what they're doing, they know what they're looking at, they, they really do pick out all these different scales of print for you for quilting, they're ideal. And even though this has got um, that sparkle, it isn't, it isn't scratchy, it isn't stiff, it's really lovely. Go on. There is a fabric that I think is missing from this as well. So I can show you on the photograph, there's a black um, paisley, which I haven't got here. That's the paisley print. So you get it in red, but then you also get a half meter of uh, half meter of black as well. Fantastic. Sorry that it hasn't arrived here. I'm not quite sure where that's gone, but um, it didn't arrive with us. So you will get it at home. You'll get this print in red and in black. 58.99 and gold. This is the same print in gold. That's lovely. That's quite good. Even though it's a paisley print, is anybody else getting a bit of the sort of Japanese inspired vibes from it? I think this would be beautiful with lots of Yvonne Makatamni, the village fabric um, designs, actually. She absolutely loves her uh, Japanese inspired designs. But this is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. These are going to fly out by the half meter as well. But if you do want the whole range, uh, there are all the fabrics you're getting. It's 58.99, 58.99 for the whole shebang. Um, which one first, Hannah? Let's go for the big birds. We've got it in gold and we've got it in red. Red first. Okay. Oh, it's so soft. It really is. I do think home furnishing, this would be beautiful. <gasps> Lampshade covers would look really gorgeous. Even like a beautiful Roman blind. Oh, wow. That would look very, very lovely. I keep, um, at the moment, I'm all over like Pinterest and things for because we've just, we've finally got our house, which I've been talking about for the last five months. So I'm now looking at things like blinds and things like that. I'm not allowed to move in yet, though. Because we've got little, um, yeah, 46 weeks will be in. Kieran just wants to do a few bits and bobs to it. I know. He promised me it was just a few bits and bobs. And I went yesterday and there were walls that had been knocked down. I'm like, I thought you had just painted it and redecorated it. <gasps> He's honestly so excited, though. I think it, if he could, that's what he wants to do all the time. It's just renovations and he loves it. But I'm doing all the nice things of looking at nice blinds of different colours for different rooms. This would just look amazing. If you were to just have a few accessories um, in a, what about even in a, a bathroom, you could do some lovely little storage tubs with all of your new reusable wipes that you've made from Debbie Shaw's um, book. That'd be lovely. I think in a drawstring bag, maybe just on the back of a door or a laundry basket. 7.49, I'm thinking home furnishing with this. Ah, right, coming up in the next hour, we've got the kimono. Uh, now, we're talking about viscose fabric in the next hour, but it does work with quilting weight cotton. I do like a kimono in a quilting weight cotton. This would look brilliant. Just slightly more structured kimono. I can see our Delphine wearing one like this. The detail is lovely. Talking about the, the, the quality of Riley Blake, can you see the detail on this fabric? It literally looks like it's been drawn with, um, with a, a pencil, a pen. It's absolutely beautiful. The quality of the printing. Look at that. The weave of the fabric has to be high quality to show every single little bit of detail like this. 
Hi, Lorraine. But good morning, Vix. It's nice to see you back on Sony Street. Thank you. It's lovely to be back. It has been, it's been really, really lovely this month, June, a few days. It's been, um, it's been really, really nice. Especially having seen Hannah and Emma as well, because I haven't worked with them for months and months and months as we've been in our little bubbles for ages. So it's been really nice to see Hannah and Emma. Right, so. Oh, really? Cara was in yesterday, apparently. She said to say hello. Oh, 7.49 half metre. Right, so we have got the same uh, print in gold and it has got a metallic gold now you'll still be able to iron this i'm presuming it'll be absolutely fine to iron to wash it'll be fine it's not the same print it hasn't got the birds ah only one with the birds is in the red this is different <gasps> look this has got the leaves this is the only one that has this print oh that is beautiful that is gorgeous what would you make with this, Hannah? So gold, initially, I thought Christmas, but actually it's quite fresh summer morning, isn't it? Especially when the light shines on it, you're going to get the most beautiful metallic fleck. The metallic gold fleck is, is really, really lovely. No, it doesn't peel off. It's not scratchy. If you're ironing this, it'll be fine. If you uh, if you throw it in the washing machine, it will absolutely fine. It's not a, it's not, st you know, a stick on gold. It's made within the fabric. Again, you know because it's Riley Blake that you're not going to have that issue that you put it in the wash and it's going to come out and you'll have lost the gold sparkly bit. It's beautiful. It's the only one that we have in this print. So, sorry about that posh bolster cushions on the spare bed i do love a big bolster cushion the big circular ones you could even do some lovely tassels on the end like gold tassels or um you could do a big square cushion with a piped edge couldn't you oh it's lovely pardon home interior yeah you do see lots of gold actually in um in <laughs> in big department stores Oh, Hannah, do you know what I said literally a couple of minutes ago? I've loved being back with Hannah. It's been so lovely. She's non-stop taking the mickey out of me. <gasps> Let's do the red. Now, I do think that this does have a bit of a Christmassy feel. I know that we're not in Chris at Christmas yet, but Hannah did remind us it was summer solstice last Monday. That means that we're officially heading towards winter, basically winter now. It's basically Christmas, 7.49, a half metre. I do think that this would be lovely for Christmas stockings. Don't you think? Oh, it'd be beautiful. 7.49, a half metre. Christmas tree skirt absolutely would be great as well. You could do some extra little bits of embroidery onto it with, I'm thinking like a metallic thread. Just 7.49, a half metre. Tableware for Christmas as well. Table mats, a table lovely runner would look gorgeous in this. You could also do um, little gift wrap boxes like we um, saw from Debbie's eco-friendly book. A couple of bottle of wines, absolutely fine for me, thank you very much. Wrapped up in this, a couple of bottles of wine, I'd be really happy with that, thank you Hannah. We've also got it in gold. And then, if you are making your gift wrap this year, if you are making um, your gifts and to wrap them in gift wrap, then this is really lovely to be able to use again. Isn't it? It's a really good idea, actually, what Debbie was saying earlier on. Uh, now, this is with the gold. And it is, again, the metallic, sparkly, sparkly gold. It's hard to show you on screen, but it does catch the light absolutely beautifully. £7.49, a half metre. It's got the white background. Or is it say on cream? What time do, What um, time does it say? What colour does it say? I think it's white. This is definitely white. So you can see. It's slightly off-white. It's just off-white. Do you think if, if it were pure white in the background, it would be too stark? It's more of an ivory, isn't it? 
love that. That is really, really nice. Again, for home furnishings. It's quite next at home in Jordan Lewis, isn't it? Brand new in today. I know we are in June, but Christmas, 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 because we probably won't have this collection at Christmas. Uh, this is the thing is you do need to make the most of uh, the collections that come in. If you spot something that you love, definitely get it in uh, whilst you can, uh, because this isn't a collection that we will necessarily have in six months. Once it's gone, it's gone. We generally don't tend to reorder because we like to stay ahead of the curve as well. It's very difficult because they're an American company trying to get the, the rest of the, the, the range or we get what we can and we really struggle to reorder. £7.49. Also, I'm not sure how far ahead we are buying now, but I know how far ahead our team work. So um, if you are if you are looking at this collection, what I'm trying to say is definitely purchase now if you're thinking of future future projects. This is really nice. Emma's going to come in nice and close on this. The detail is beautiful. It just shows, doesn't it, the quality of the, the, the printing. You see? That'd make a lovely maker bag. Storage for in a bedroom would be really, really nice. It's very feminine, especially with that lovely sparkle. I still am having a bit of a, a Japanese sort of feel to it, though. Yeah. Oh, this is taking Hannah to Paris for the weekend. We were talking about um, all of the French that Hannah knows earlier on. Um, <laughs> yeah, she knew that, that, that one. <laughs> you could probably guess at home the only French that Hannah knew. Oh, petty one. <laughs> Doesn't that mean small p? Petit point. Uh, it's seven pounds forty nine. How many times did you use that in, when you were in France? <laughs> in Iceland, she said it quite a few times. Apparently, ah, makes sense. Right, we also have the same print in gold, and it is the same print in red. Sorry, same print in red. It is so lovely and soft. Have you watched the um, the Eurovision film? Oh, oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? Why have you not watched it, Hannah? You would love it. Seven pounds forty nine a half meter. This red is beautiful, isn't it? Emma is ready for the Eurovision, I think. She knows all of the songs. Um, <laughs> half a metre looks like this. So you can see it's a nice large scale print. To use this round a border, oh, there's loads of really beautiful, um, loads of beautiful fabrics that you could mix this with. It, is, it would look great as a big border, wouldn't it? Big pleated skirt. Oh, with netting underneath. Uh, we we're all taking lots of fashion advice from Hannah today after her um, appearance this morning. She's wearing the coolest dungarees, but look how gorgeous that would look if you were to pleat this just like that. <laughs> pleat it with net underneath, uh, Hannah's thinking. For dressmaking, that would be beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 749 and a half metre. We also have the paisley print. Now, remember, we have it in three colours. Um, in black, gold and red is the one you want to do first. Should we do the two that we have here and then we'll see it from the photo. Ah, uh, what's happened? Gold. Ah, the gold doesn't exist. What's this then? The gold definitely exists, Hannah, because it's physically here. Do you think that the black doesn't exist and it's just go it's gold? I think it's that way around. I think they've put the wrong name in the wrong picture. Sorry. Right, the image that you'll see and the image is wrong. Image and words are wrong. This is the fabric that you will get. So sorry, that we'll make sure we make a note for that to be changed on the website. So this is the fabric that you're getting. The words that they've used and the pictures 
Auro. It is the floral in gold. This is the one that's in the warehouse and this is the one that you'll be sent. So that means, I'm ever so sorry, in the mega bundle, you will not get black, you will get this gold. It's lovely though, isn't it? It's like a paisley style print. Really cool. 749 and a half meter. I don't know how that's been, um, I don't know how that's that's happened. I wonder who's, no, but surely we've taken the photographs or not. Ah, uh, I see. I think it, because it's come from Riley Blake. There's just been a bit of a, um, bit of a mistake, but thank you for, for your patience. Right, so we'll sort that out. The gold is there. We've also got the red. This is the last one individually. Have a look through the website if, the, if you do want the whole mega bundle. Uh, 749 and a half meter, that is striking because you've got the red background this time with the white detail. And it is white this time, it's not cream, it's a real stark white, which, oh, look at that. So if you're subcutting this, it's gonna look so interesting, isn't it? Have you ever tried the mirror technique with EPP? Um, that would look really amazing if you were to find the matching images and to create your own new pattern with it. Oh, I love that, I think that's my favorite. It's really striking, isn't it? As I just move this slowly, Look at that, there's so many different elements to it. It's almost like peacock feathers there, isn't it? What do you think? 749 and a half meter, there's so many elements. Now, just to clarify, in the mega bundle, you get everything that you've seen physically here. The picture on the website is wrong. Uh, the picture, you don't see the gold, you see it as black. So you see, you get this, this, you get all of these. The ones that you see on the telly are the right ones that you'll receive. There you go. So you get the two large floral, you get the two paisley in gold and in red, you get the two of the twigs and then you also get the leaves in gold and the birds in red 58 pounds and 99 pence if you do um, have a look or speak to the customer service team to clarify of course exactly what you're getting but that is it there on the screen just ignore the photo on the website i think our laura's watching hello laura hello oh i'm gutted i missed you at jewelry maker on um friday it's um She's watching on Facebook, watching on Facebook. Right, all right, there all of your brand new Riley Blake in your red and gold. I also have one other collection to show you. No bundle for this, all by the half meters. Uh, there's a panel there, I've got to show you. In fact, there's two panels. This panel is beautiful. The panel from the first collection that we had sold out, just so you know, I've got a feeling this is gonna be exactly the same. And it's got instructions as well. So it is a full panel to make your apron. Uh, Hannah, you definitely need one of these, as do I. I need all your tips for gardening. I now have a garden and it's gorgeous. Hannah's tip for me is get a gardener, definitely. Um, so you've got your seam allowance there. You can see it's all labelled nicely, which Rebecca Reed would definitely approve of. Your neck tab, your back ties, your um, pockets there, your necktie and your main body of the apron, but you do have all of the instructions printed onto the panel. Let me hold it up like this so you can see. This is a really good place for a beginner to start. And from sometimes, some companies, I'm not gonna name any names, but if you're buying a panel like this, they're not as good at quality um, from my experience of the cotton. Whereas this is so beautiful. It's the Riley Blake quality. It's an introduction to design a fabric. Sorry, but having it with um, a panel like this, it's fantastic, really fantastic. It's only 14 99 Yes, I've got another panel. So that is uh, from the idyllic range. So if you have got from Minky Kim, which is beautiful. I have no idea where the time has gone today, by the way. 
we thought I, I would say oh we'll probably bring um bring some back later we've got so much to do as well at 12 so have a look on the website anything that we haven't get we don't get around to, to showing you have a look on the website this is the same panel all the same pieces but in different color 14.99 hi baffa becky alexandra frost is watching she's put morning vixen team hiya hannah and emma say hiya that's a lovely colour as well, isn't it? Which is your favourite? I love the daisies. I love the daisies. It is. There's all of your... Um, <laughs> all of your instructions. £14.99 for your panel. Right. We are going to whiz through all of the fabrics by the half metre, are we? Or what are we best to do? I'll show them, won't put graphics in because it takes too long. They're 749 and a half metre and they'll all be on the website. That's the best way of doing it. So we'll play them through during the break um, because we do want to just remind you of the early bed today. So let me just do a really, really quick shimmy through. Are you ready? So you can see them on screen. We'll just check that all of them are the right colour, etc. And then um, uh, and then they'll be on the website. So you've got your daisies, which is the same as your apron. <laughs> the beautiful duck egg blue we'll put all of these through the graphics in the break they're brand new in today we'd love to spend time i know loads of you have already found them but if you just want to have a quick look just to check which ones that you want all oh, the butterflies are nice aren't they look at that really pretty oh i love this do you know who's going to love this collection living in loveliness kerry she loves Riley Blake. This one is beautiful. She often wears um, her Riley Blake dresses, actually. So this is your chance by the half meter if you're thinking of a, a, a really lovely summer dress. They'd work really well. What about kimono? We're going to be doing the kimono pattern next um, with Adele after the break. So they're all the fabrics. Brand new from Riley Blake. Sorry that we haven't got a chance to, to look at them all in more detail, but they'll all be listed on the website and they are all 749 a half metre. Right, so there we go. They're all of the new Riley Blake prints. Uh, and right, all of the de design roles as well are there on the website. Come on over with me because we've literally got a couple of minutes before Adele comes back. And today was the biggest ever early bird. It was epic. £14.99. Now I opened these earlier on. I'm going to open another one now. But look, you get such a random selection of Moda fabric. So you've got the quality, you've got a great selection of different prints. They're cut from design rolls. Some of them are cut from layer cakes. So they might be a slightly different width, but they're done in weight. So you get 270 grams of Moda fabric. It's a, 227, sorry. It's a lucky dip. Comes in a bag. It's already packaged from Moda. Um, I tell you what, it's brilliant value, isn't it? $14.99. Here was another one. It should be $19.99 and it will go up. That's our, that is the price. Well, it should be even more than that when you're looking at Moda. It's already a brilliant price at $19.99, but it's an early bird special. It doesn't sell on your graphics, but it is an early bird special at £14.99. So you've got all of this fabric. There's another example. We'll do one more. They were two that I opened this morning. We just ordered up a load of samples so we could see what you'd be getting at home. And it's exciting, isn't it? So, it comes like this. Are you ready? Should we open up another one? Don't forget, these are all quilting weight quality, so you can make a quilt with these. You could use them in your paper piecing. They'll come all nicely wrapped up like this. <gasps> It's exciting, isn't it? And it's different collections. It's different collections, so you'll be able to have a go. Oh, look! It's a cow. I can't guarantee that you get the cow, but brilliant. Oh, look at all these. Oh, I've seen this collection before. What one's that? We've had that here. There's lots that we've had. There's lots that we haven't seen here. Look, that one's got gold, uh, metallic gold. The tape measure, we saw that. That's from the... Um, Bonnie and Camille range. I've not seen that one before. 
that's a bit cave-esque, isn't it? It's lovely colours, nice and bright. It's just a good way of putting yourself out of your comfort zone, trying different colours. That white on white, look, the white on white spot, really nice. So it's not like you're just getting, oh, um, all one colour. You'll get a great mixture. It's a full lucky dip. We had an email come through from Anne. Hi, in Aberdeenshire. Lovely Anne's messaged in saying, I'd like to thank you on having scrap bags on at 8 a.m. on the second day of the school holidays. Is it the school holidays in Scotland? My 13 year old um, came running into our room, reminding me I promised to get her one after a big sister used all of them the last time I bought them. They're really good value. And to say that, you know, your children, you can get different people sewing with them, they're such good quality. And normally that reflects in the price points. They are more considered fabrics normally. So it's brilliant to be able to see the Lucky Dip bags so affordably. Now, just to remind you, it is an early bird special price for today and today only. So tomorrow there'll be 19.99. It's Definitely worth grabbing them whilst they're at this price point because um, they always sell out whenever we get the scrap bags in. It's the biggest quantity we've ever ordered. It's the biggest quantity we've ever had for an early bird. And um, it's probably one of the, the biggest amounts that's sold for an early bird as well. We've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of you that have checked out on these already this morning. If you miss them, still got time to get them until midnight tonight. You can make the most of that price of 14 99 227 grams of gorgeous Moda quilting weight fabric. As I said, some of them are, well, the majority of these are like two and a half inch strips. Some might be slightly different sizes as they're cut from design roll, uh, layer cakes as well. But they look great. And they're pinked already for you. So if you do want to um, keep them in your stash, use them sparingly, use them with solids, use them for English paper piecing, you're going to get a great random look. Now, over 500 bags have gone this morning, over 500 already. Um, I'm pleased that we had the biggest quantity we've ever had for an early bird for this one, as they're so popular. We've still got a fair few left, don't worry, don't worry. But remember, only for today can you get it at 14.99. So absolutely make the most of it, especially with the day that we've had today. It's such a great day to be involved. It's only one PMP of 3.95 all day long. Um, can I? Hannah is saying, right, do you know what? I just want to see one more. Open another one. It's like having the pick a mix bag at the shop of sweets. You know, when you look in, in a pick a mix bag of sweets, you're like, oh, what have I got in there? What have I got in there? And sometimes it's not always the ones that you pick straight away. It's not the ones that you'd necessarily choose to pick, but then you actually learn that you really like stepping out of the comfort zone and working with something different. <laughs> you never pick the what? The big long snakes. But whenever you get them in a pick and mix, you always really like them. Right, this one looks nice. Oh, look, this is more like, well, straight away, the first one's more like your um, country cottage. Oh, look, it looks like three sisters, doesn't it? Oh, there's some beautiful ones in here, yeah. They, that is three sisters. Some of them have got the little salvages on, so you can see part of the, uh, what, the what the design is called. Oh, look at those. They're so bright and vibrant. That one's um, Three Sisters as well. I love that you've got ones from different designers, different ranges. So you can have a bit of a dip your toe in and see what you think, see which are your favourites. That's nice, isn't it? That gingham print. And I can spot a paisley one there. A paisley in green. That's lovely. Oh, look, they're little chicks. Hatched chicks. What did you think it was? <laughs> no, it's a little baby chick being hatched. Oh, look at this one, Christmas. Look on this one, I can't guarantee you'll get it. I can't guarantee you'll get it, but look, little labels. Christmas, Christmas labels. That is lovely, isn't it? Look at this. There are so many. Right. Just so you know, another 150 of you have put it in your basket. 
please please do check out as soon as you can that one's another like uh, cream on white really lovely really really lovely did you see this one hannah christmas holly leaves as well do you know who else likes christmas tom hanks and it's just said fun fact <laughs> 1499 at Hannah's here with all of her Tom Hanks uh, facts. I hope he messages in. I hope he messages the show because obviously he loves watching the show as well. Uh, right, so there, we've opened up loads of these. Don't worry, there are hundreds and hundreds uh, of chances uh, remaining, so you've still got a chance to get them, so don't miss out. In the last hour, I might open a couple more. We've got Adele coming up though, so have a look through the website. Get yourself your Moda scrap bag if you haven't already. Open your order and stay with us. Those of you that are new to dressmaking or are thinking, oh, I don't know where the dressmaking's for me, watch this next hour and we will inspire you. Uh, it's a great starter project. We've got the kimono, there's one made up behind me. Um, and we've also got the Peggy top as well from Fiona Hesford's uh, range, So Girl. Don't go anywhere, Adele's gonna be back in a few minutes. Definitely check out on your scrap bag and have a look through. Hannah's about to run through all of those, uh, mo uh, the Riley Blake fabrics for you. So they'll be on the web in the next few minutes. But we'll see you with Adele after this. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing, and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. We love designer fabric here at Sewing Street. From the vibrant colours of K Facet and Tula Pink to the classic designs of Liberty and William Morris and contemporary fabric by Tim Holtz. We're also proud to have wonderful guest designers in the Sewing Street family who share their patterns and designs with us. So we're celebrating our love of designers with Designer Week from Monday the 21st to Sunday the 27th of June. Join us for plenty of new designer fabrics from K Facet, Tula Pink, Liberty, Anna Maria Horner, Riley Blake and much more. 
as well as projects and inspiration live from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Freeview Channel 72, Sky 670, YouTube and Facebook Live. Check out the programme guide on our website for details on what's on each day. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Uh, so those of you that have never made anything before dressmaking, if you're a brand new dressmaker, um, can't recommend this pattern enough. It's absolutely brilliant. Just so you know, in the first hour, the Mayfair dress, the patterns in all the sizes sold out completely. So don't wait till the end of the hour. Adele shows are always very, very popular and it's extremely busy today. Now this is um, all compact into one pattern, all of the sizes. So if you're making for yourself and you're gonna make for gifts, cause it's a great one to make for other people as well as you don't need to worry about all different fitting. Um, this is a fantastic pattern. So it is from lovely Fiona Hesford, who is the founder of the, the, the pattern company, So Girl. You can use so many different fabrics. It looks great with viscose. It, we were talking about quilting weight cotton it works with. It just gives it a bit more structure. Um, it's brilliant. Now, what I, the reason that I'd really recommend this as well for, for, new, uh, for new dressmakers is that unlike more traditional um, older patterns, it's really, really detailed. She, she goes into great detail on your instructions as well as on her blog. So there are, um, well, Fiona's got a fantastic blog, which I always recommend with her patterns to go to because she gives you great hacks and lots of tips, um, which you can actually see on our website as well, by the way, just before we um, talk about the, the Sew Girl. Um, the size range is on the our website. It's the second image along. If you click on more details, then you'll see this. If you want to have a, a quick screenshot on your phone, screenshot that or take a photo of the telly, this is the time to do it. If you do want to have a, a quick look to see what size you are, um, then absolutely go for it. Emerson, doing that now, go for it. Screenshot it, it's on the website if you do want to have a look though. So you can see, this is a loose fitting boxy kimono cardigan with front band, two patch pockets featuring French seams on the inside don't be put off i've been saying this is great for beginners and you've just heard the word french seams i know it sounds it sounds really scary doesn't it french seams sound very sort of couture and high-end but actually they look fantastic but they're really easy to do and adele will show us how to do that um so it says it does suggest here suitable for light medium weight fabrics with a drape such as viscose rayon um, cotton lawn, linen, or, or linen mixes. But personally, I think you can go even further. I think um, I, it will look lovely. I've seen it with um, quilting weight cottons as well. If you have a look on the Sew Girl blog, um, which is on her website. So if you just search Sew Girl on your search engine, you can see there the Suki kimono. There it is, made up talking through, talking about your drape, talking about what fabrics are going to be suitable. They're in a slightly heavier weight as well. 
more of like an autumn coat to go out in. Put in a belt, uh, a band around it. Again, for the summer, in a stripe. Look, everybody wearing different ones. How great it looks on every age. Different body shapes, all gorgeous fabrics. Love it. Do you know what? It's something that if you're going to an occasion and you've got a short sleeve um, dress and you're thinking, oh, do you know what? I love wearing a dress, but I don't, I don't want my arms out. Then this is great to just put on over the top, um, which is brilliant. Look at that. So if you've just got a simple cami top on and jeans, how much has that transformed the outfit? Just choosing some of your favourite fabrics. This is when um, Adele was saying, I love rooting through looking at for different fabrics. This is a really good one to showcase those big prints, isn't it? Uh, so that's your pattern today. It's £18.50 and I think it's going to be one of those that you make over and over and over again for yourself in different fabrics, but then also for lots of friends and family as well. Uh, now, we have got some fabrics to show you. There's loads on the website though, so I am going to urge you to go to the website as well and have a good look through. Uh, but we've picked out some of our favourites which we think are going to be great for this kimono. Now this one um, is brand new to me. It's really, really lovely. It's got gorgeous colours. Now, just by the half metre on this one, uh, definitely have a look on the second image on the web to, uh, of course, get your, uh, your sizes, how much your fabric requirement is, and we'll, we'll ask Adele about that as well. You might want to do a hack, you might want to lengthen it, you might want to add a belt, it's up to you, but you can pick out so many different colours, and this has got a lovely, lovely drape to it as well, so it'll be perfect, absolutely perfect. Uh, now, we also have, I'm gonna whiz through these so we can spend as much time with Adele, and we've got two projects to do today, this hour, two different projects. So we will whiz through some of these um, fabrics. It's just building up different skill levels, isn't it? It's thinking about working with different fabrics. We had a, a lady message in earlier saying, oh, well, can you do it in a different one and not in jersey, the dress? Whereas it's really good to try out working with different fabrics. This, oh, would look beautiful, beautiful. Plain dress. You've got loads of colours, whether you're going for, if you've got a black dress on, if you've got a deep green dress on, if you've got a really light blush dress on, like the, uh, the Mayfair dress that we made earlier on. Cream dress. That'd be lovely to just put over any dress, wouldn't it? Whether you be on the beach, on holiday, or whether you be going to get coffee, or whether you're going to a wedding or an occasion, it's going to be another one like the Mayfair dress that's just going to be brilliant for, for lots of occasions. Uh, so that one is beautiful. Now this next one is a cotton lawn. We used this, we launched this one for the gentleman's robe, but it's great for, perfect for a kimono. This would be really lovely. I like that, do you? The colours are really nice. What about like, um, you could make it into like a, a duster coat, Hannah say, more like a longer style kimono. Obviously with dungarees or a jumpsuit underneath, absolutely. Half a metre of your rainbow clouds and it is a, a lawn weight cotton, which is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'm going to keep going through if that's okay. I'm going to keep going through so then you can see lots of different prints. As I say, definitely head to the website and see which ones you want to go with your, your kimono. This one, I feel like we've, we may have made it in this one before. This one's called Catherine, isn't it? Oh no, uh, Princess Kate, Kate. Um, it's lovely. It's so, 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 so soft. This one is 140 centimeters wide. It's a hundred percent viscose chalice lawn. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It's got great drape and lovely movement. Perfect for the kimono, absolutely perfect. Uh, the next one is slightly heavier. It's that, um, we've, we've seen this for, for a few dresses actually, and it's really nice. It almost feels like linen. Um, I'm not sure what, do you know what the uh, composition of this one is, Hannah? Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, well, I really like that effect. 55% linen, ah, oh, it does have linen. 45% viscose. And it's 145 centimetres wide, 145 centimetres wide. The next one was another one that we launched for the uh, the really fancy dressing gown show. Um, it's one of my favourites, if not my favourite. I would absolutely wear this as a kimono. Look at that. That print is amazing. <gasps> it is gorgeous. It does have, does it have a slight stretch to it as well. Oh, that is so nice. It has a really sort of small, small stretch to it, I think. It's beautiful. Look at the scale of print. This is what I'm talking about. It's a great chance to show off your large scale print fabrics. That is lovely. Um, we've also got, there's loads here. We couldn't, um, couldn't choose. We couldn't choose. We've picked out so many that are going to be perfect for it. But as I say, there's loads on the website. This is with a, a navy blue background and your peachy coral, your showering vine ocean blue. This is a chalice lawn, 100% cotton, 145 centimetres wide and half a metre is just 7 99 Remember you buy by the half metre so as much uh, as you would like. What do you think? You're thinking with silver earrings. She accessorised and ready with silver earrings, absolutely. Two more, two more before we go over to Adele. If you've got any questions, by the way, get them in, get them in, get them in. It's a great time whilst Adele is here to ask any questions. I don't know what's my, uh, happened to my Facebook Live. Are you still on Facebook Live, Emma? Yeah, you are. So uh, have a look on Facebook Live and I'll get it back on my iPad to be able to ask any questions. Pimpernel, Celeste, this goes fabric. I think our cat has made some trousers out of this one before. It's a nice bright colour, isn't it? 100% viscose, perfect for your kimono. 135 centimetres wide just on this one. Right, I think that's the last one that I have to show you. Um, we'll go across because, as I said, we've then got the Peggy top after this. So we want to try and get through as many techniques as possible. I love a kimono, Adele. Oh. I think they're so easy to wear, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, I've got one as a, um, like a dressing gown. Yeah. So I can just stick it on in the morning. Oh, and great. I made my friend's one for her birthday as well. Because there's no fitting, so I wasn't worried that it wasn't like yeah. I have to be exact. I just did the size that I thought she'd be and it fits her perfectly. Well, that's it. I'm thinking for like bridal parties, yeah. sleepover things, birthdays. There's so many times you'll be able to get this pattern out. Yeah, definitely. And a handmade gift means just so much more, oh, doesn't absolutely. it? Oh, absolutely. It really um, does. There's Fiona and her family all wearing the kimono. It's really nice. Even just, you know, around in the garden, whether you're going yeah. out or at home. Yeah, and also if you're going out, at the moment we have to sit outside a little bit more. So it's a nice... Just thing to carry with you, throw yeah. over your shoulders, but then Good if you idea. go inside, it's not like you've got to carry a coat around. So, yeah. so it is a really versatile garment and really easy to make. Right, okay. So really the only difficulty comes from the fabric because it is a bit more of a challenging fabric to work with, but that doesn't mean a beginner can't have a go at it. Right. Okay. So with a viscose fabric, it does drape more, it does move more. So even from cutting out, you've got to be careful when you're cutting out. That you, I often use pins and weights. Right. Because if I'm, like, I actually cut out on the floor, but if I'm cutting out on a, a, a tabletop and it was hanging off like this, it would pull it out of shape. So just be very mindful if you are cutting out on the table that all of it is sitting on the table and not sitting off. And do you trace out your pattern? Well, you might not have so, particularly, but if you want yes. to make it for different people in different sizes, is it a good idea to do that? Yes, very, very good idea if you want to make this in lots of different sizes. But I have to say, I know the sewing world is, dressmaking world is so divided whether you trace or cut, okay. I cut patterns. Okay. <laughs> So it does come back and bite me, but then um, I, I, I know the ones that I would probably use again, whereas yeah. my dresses, I know yeah. it's just for me, so yeah. I will cut it. Um, also, 
this type of fabric does fray more. You know, earlier with the jersey, I was like, oh, you don't even need to worry about the seams. This is almost the opposite. You do need to be quite careful with the seams. Mm -hmm. um, I've cut these out. I've only done a little bit of sewing and they have begun to fray a little. So what is a good idea, especially if you're a beginner, is to finish your seams bef um, before you even start sewing anything together. Um, so you can finish it on an overlocker or you can just do a zigzag stitch over okay. the side and that will that will be fine even zigzag will just finish that edge off now this edge here is going to be a french seam so you don't really need to finish this do you think that scares a lot of people yes because you are the first step of a french seam is like almost wrong sewing the wrong sides together, together which you never hear it, anyone no, saying that no so it does feel very strange um to put it to put it on but it does it really works for fabrics like this it really does it's a good it size range as well isn't it from 8 to 28 yeah. so this is a small and you can see already it's very roomy so a small is um 8 to 10 then it's like two dress sizes together yeah so there is lots of um like uh, what do you say the word Versatility. versatility there we go versatility with this pattern so what I'm going to do first because I know I want to get onto the peggy top as well is we're going to look at putting this sleeve in and then this French seam right so okay. the sleeve is put in separately yes so um sometimes you may find patterns like this where it's already got a yeah. grown on sleeve whereas here this does have a seam sleeve but when I was looking for it actually on the sample, the seam does come down further. Yeah. So the seam almost sits here, it mm -hmm. sort of drops off the shoulder and feels very fluid. So you don't really have to worry um, about where this seam sits on your shoulder. Right. Because that's another thing that beginner dressmakers worry about, sort of all the proportions of here to here, getting this seam in the right place. So don't worry, it doesn't need to be exactly on your shoulder okay now the like i say it's really simple you've got one two three one two three four pieces to make the whole garment Gosh, that's brilliant so it's it quick as well really really quick um i know i'm guilty of quickly making something before i go out and it, this that's be a brilliant isn't it perfect. if you think oh do you know what well, going out and i haven't quite got the the right outfit or oh i don't feel comfortable in that dress yeah. i'm gonna make a kimono to put over yeah. the top of it brilliant so i've got my shoulder seam already done and then this you can only very slightly see where the armhole is it's not a dramatic armhole like we had earlier where you were like this now this is just one big almost rectangle with a curved edge there isn't any notches on this but i've just quickly put one notch in where i folded it over because that tells me the middle point okay and that is the first point that i'm going to put on to my shoulder seam there so do you pin at that point i pin you at be that careful point. with those pins i know <laughs> <laughs> oh hannah with her first aid kit so I'm going to pin first there and then I'm going to pin out towards here, okay? After you've done this seam, I would recommend just finishing off the seam. We are going to do a bit of top stitching to hold that seam down. Yeah. But with this type of fabric, you don't really want to get it out the wash and then find that it's all, all, all unraveled. Yeah. So just be very mindful of that. So just quickly pinning along this seam. Lots of good selection of fabrics there, actually. Lots of different, um, like that one is quite a slippy fabric. If yeah. you were concerned about that, would you probably go for one of the cottons? The yes. cotton lawn, maybe? Yes, definitely. And as you were going through it, I was like, oh, I've made a top in that. Yeah. Oh, I've made a dress in that one. <laughs> so this is the beauty. I, I have to say, viscose fabric is one of my favourite types of fabrics to work with. Oh, really? Yeah, even though it's a little bit more challenging, I just love the shape it yeah. gives and the flow and the drape. I'm all for like flowy, wrappy dresses. Yeah. Even though I'm sat here with my, my, <laughs> my, my comfy jumper thing. Right, so it's a one centimetre seam allowance. I'm only doing straight seams. I'm not doing zigzag. I'll finish off my seams later on with zigzag. But like I say, you could use your overlocker to finish this seam off. So just a normal stitch length. Um, now, 
Another thing as well, as it does go through the machine, it may slip. So that's why I would put lots of pins if you're a beginner. Okay. Um, also, before, if I've had a very, very slippery fabric, I put a walking foot on my machine, which does help. That's good to know. But don't be frightened. Well, you can stop and reposition, yeah. can't you? I think that machine's got a needle down button that you can just stop and yeah. reposition yourself, can't you? And also, don't feel like... It's um you've been defeated if you have to get the uh, seam ripper out. I use the seam ripper almost every time I sew. And once upon a time I used to feel really disheartened if I got the seam ripper out. Now I'm just like, oh well, five yeah, minutes exactly. of just peace. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So just gonna finish down towards this seam, then I'll show you how we've top stitched it. And then we will do our French seam before we get onto our Peggy. Gosh, so it's not a scary sleeve to put in, is it at all? No, not at all. And as you can see there, look. Brilliant. And then what we would do is press it and then we'll top stitch along there. Mm -hmm. That's a really nice feature. Now, I've already top stitched the other side, so we're going to do that with the French seam. Okay. And is that for a decorative reason or is it functional? Yes. Or does it sort of hold it flat? Or? Um, just decorative, yeah. really. Um, it does hold it down flat, but if you just press that seam and you finish your seams on the inside, there's no necessity for it. Right, okay. But it just does give a nice feature. So, with French seams, we're going to sew this seam twice, okay? Mm -hmm. First time, we're going to sew it the wrong way round. Then we're going to flip it to the way that we would normally do, so with our wrong sides out, and then we sew that seam again, okay? By doing that second seam, it encases this first seam. It looks really smart, doesn't it? It does, it does. And when I got here today and got the sample, I was like, ooh, French seam. And that's where the French uh, from Hannah came, wasn't it? Yeah, because this isn't one you've made up at home, is it? So no. it's good to know that, you know, this is the first time that Adele, you're making this. Yes. But it's really, you're confident enough to go, do you know what? I know exactly how to, to do that. There's not really tricky intricate parts like with the burrito for example on the, yeah, the Mayfair no. dress. And um, what's nice about it is the pattern's got lots of clear steps. Fantastic. And again illustrations rather than photos. I prefer illustrations over photos because I think with photo instructions the fabric Choice oh, can really distort yeah. it. Oh. Yeah, well, I think, especially if you're looking at um, photographs, you can't quite see exactly what's going on in, uh, with illustrations. You can, can't yes. you? Now, because we're going to sew this seam twice, the first time we're going to do it, we're going to sew it at um, 0.5 centimetre seam. Then when we flip it around, it's another 0.5, and together that will give you one centimetre. Okay. Now, don't worry if you're not exact with that 0.5 because it's a little bit difficult to see on your machine where mm -hmm. 0.5 is because it's not on this feed plate. But because it's an oversized garment, even if you did take that seam in slightly by doesn't accident, matter. it doesn't matter. So please don't panic. And that's the thing that I think stops many people beginning so, uh, dressmaking. They're worried about it going wrong. But I tell you, when I point out my mistakes to people, they don't even notice them. And Why even do you point out your mistakes? I don't know. It's human nature, isn't it? It is. It is. Um, I do it more with my like my dressmaking friends, my sewing friends, because I'm like, oh look, I went wrong here. And they're like, oh, I did the same. <laughs> so I pivot at this point here where the sleeve meets the bodice. I put my needle down when I'm pivoting, just so then it's easier to control and keep it that same point. Melanie's asked, she's put, hi Adele, really good demo. Uh, can I ask, can it be made in denim, lightweight denim? <gasps> Ooh, yeah, well, that photo on the blog, wasn't it? It was with a thicker, thicker fabric. Yeah. So yeah, for sure. Give it a go. Yeah. I think, you know, even if you're doing with, um, I wonder, I think Fiona might be watching, you know, I saw that she messaged in earlier on. She said, hi, Vix, lovely to see you back on Sewing Street. Your little Maisie is so cute, Aww. isn't she? We were saying this earlier on. I said, I think that she's really, really cute. Do you think that she should model Fiona? Because Hannah started laughing when I said it and I was like, oh, I mean it. I know that everyone thinks that their babies are cutest, but I do think she's particularly, particularly Aww. cute. <laughs>
<laughs> she Very is. Cute. Um, but I was going to say, Fiona, what do you think if we were to do it in like a, I think on the photograph, it looked almost like an upholstery fabric, mm. like really heavy, a heavier weight one. What do you think? <gasps> Oh, what about chambray denim? Oh, yeah. So that's a lightweight. Yeah. Um, it'll be easy to go through the machine. But yes. Yeah, you see there, that's look. That's almost like boiled wool, is it? It does, Fiona? doesn't it? Nice. Very nice. And actually, I have a coat that's a bit like this that you just throw on. And um, yeah. I'm using it all the time at school because then it's easy just for me to drag from one classroom to another. And I just... I literally just throw it on and wrap myself up in it. Oh, well, at the moment, my word, I am constantly getting what I'm wearing wrong. <laughs> I went out yesterday in the biggest winter coat and was boiling. And you just can't, you just don't know what the weather's going to be like, do you? So with this, it's great that if it's, Hannah was saying, I always end up burning my top of my shoulders if it's yeah. hot. Nice to just cover yourself up if it's warm, but also yeah. if it's a little bit of a chill in the bree uh, a breeze, chilly breeze, then this is perfect to just layer up as well. Yeah, yeah. And like you had there, Fiona had a scarf on. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's a really All versatile pattern. So what I'm just doing now is I'm just pressing this seam. Don't skip this press, okay? Because Otherwise, that seems not going to be flat when you sew along and then you're not going to be able to catch all of that in, okay? If there is any points that is slightly out of the one, uh, 0 0.5 centimetres, just trim them off because when I sew this, it's going to en encase that seam. So I don't want anything poking out, mm -hmm. okay? So like just now, actually, it's just unraveled. Oh, let me put that there. Um, just slightly i'm just going to trim off those stray fraying parts there just because i don't want them to be any chance poking out oh right so let's do our french seam now so now it feels like i'm doing the seam properly i've got right sides to right sides and i'm going to do a seam there's exactly the same place going from the arm all the way down. Pivoting at that underarm point. Yes, keeping my needle down when I pivot. Hannah, Maisie has her first job. Alison Marion, yes, she's booked. <laughs> she's just put, OMG, I have a project I'm planning and I'd love Maisie to model, pretty Woo! please. There you go. Oh, bless her. Next top model. Um, Hannah's also available for modelling, she said, Alison Marion. Alison Marion, she's also upset that you haven't asked her already to model any of her patterns. Um, Barbara McClay, it's so lovely to see you as well. Um, how are your grandchildren? Barbara McClay, um, her son had twins literally about four weeks before Maisie was born oh. and I know that you went to go and see them didn't you so uh, let me know how how that was she said morning it's lovely to see you back I'm loving Adele's demo and the fabric is beautiful this fabric that Adele's using by the way is this one and the picture doesn't look as nice as the fabric actually is I don't think that picture does it justice because it's beautiful isn't it the oh, colors are lovely yes. I love these colors um there's like some beautiful, big, bold flowers on there. Oh, nice. Look at them. Well, it's a really good chance to display those big prints, isn't it? Yes, yes. And that final fabric that you had, <gasps> that oh, was yeah. gorgeous. The blue. Yes. In the sun, look at that. That will look really, really nice in the kimono as well. So there we go. Our French seam is done. So I'm just pressing again. With dressmaking, I always do recommend pressing the seams as you go. Having a good iron, a lot of people say it's as important as, you know, your sewing yeah. machine, isn't I, it? Even before I start sewing, I set up the, sew, um, the ironing board and have yeah. that ready. Right, so that is our French seam completed and that sleeve put in. And then we're going to talk about the Peggy top, aren't we? Yeah, absolutely. So, are you happy with everything here? We're going to just Yeah, show, let's move yeah. on because we're going to talk about another sleeve in the Peggy fab, top. Fab, 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 So, just so you know, the main pattern, £18.50 for your kimono pattern. Um, we did want to squeeze in another one, though, because we absolutely love these Sew Girl patterns. I know that um, Adele was saying earlier on, actually, everybody who loves Adele's top today, this has got a similar feel to it because it's got those lovely big sleeves. It's got an elasticated part here as well, which you can have um, 
whichever way you want. You can have them elasticated or without, which I love. So suitable for adventurous beginners, go for it. We are gonna learn some more techniques with this one. Sizes eight to 20, here's your size range, which is your second image on the web. You can either have a look at this in your own time on the website or take a quick screen grab of this now on your phone go 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 so you can see all of your finished garment uh, measurements your size information all of the different fabric requirements as well um, it doesn't stop there though it doesn't stop there if you go to Fiona's website which is sogirl.co.uk you can go to the blog once you've got the pattern thoroughly recommend clicking on the Peggy top on the blog here we go, you can see images of the top made up and lovely Fiona Hesford. The hemmed short sleeves. Um, you can see everything that's included, how to do your little rollo loop, your buttonhole, different fabrics, simple loose fitting round box top. Um, you can see lots of information there. And also look, she's also done a breakdown of different skills. So even more support, not only have you got your pattern and instructions, you've got Adele's demonstration today and then even more support on her blog. It's definitely worth when you get the pattern home having a look at that because really, really clear photographs and images as well. How good's that? There's loads, like loads of info. That's brilliant. I know that you said, um, it hasn't stopped by the way, it's still going, it's still going, it's still going. I know that you said you notice now more detail in, in garments and this does have that really lovely statement sleeve. Yes, so it's a really standard just straight top with a bust start and on the back there's a small loop and button. I haven't put the button on but there should be a button there. And then the really nice feature comes from this gathered sleeve. So there are different options. I'm just going to put those gathers out. So there are different options. Let me put that there a lot, you can see. So there's short sleeve, which we're going to do today. There's a long sleeve with a gather as well. And then like you can also have the sleeve without the gather and just have it folded over and hemmed over. So there's lots of options that you can do with this. Now, with this though, uh, there are two different pattern pieces for the long and for the short. Okay. Because the long, we just fold up the hem and make our elastic casing, whereas the short one, we have an extra piece that we use to make the casing. Right. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And also, the kimono, the um, uh, sleeves were put in flat, whereas here, we do an insert in the sleeve whilst I've already got my side seams already made up. Is this a different fabric? I mean, the, the, the print of it looks very similar, actually. Is it the same? Yeah, it, this, this one again? has more of a textured feel, Okay. whereas this one was definitely smoother. Right. So, but it they have the same drape. There's loads. It's, you can use cotton, cotton mixes, viscose, linen, linen mixes, chambray. There's loads of different. It's a very di It is a very versatile pattern again, yes, isn't it? Yes, because on the, the photo, she's got it in like a chambray um, and the sleeves obviously stand out more, whereas mm -hmm. here, the sleeves would be more balloon and would sort of feel more drapey to, to have. But it's a lovely top and it's going to look nice with jeans, isn't it? Oh, it will, really absolutely nice. beautiful. Yes, uh, we have got the uh, the fabric that Dale's using. It's ADR501. We'll put the graphics in for it as well. Brilliant. So we're going to talk about making this sleeve, which is slightly different. Again, it's a viscose, which means we do need to be careful when we're cutting out. Another thing I also recommend when we're cutting out viscose is to iron your fabric first mm -hmm. because it does crease and then it won't ever sit flat, even if you were trying to pull it with pins. So do iron your fabric before you cut out. Right. Again, I cut out on the floor. If you're doing it on the table, don't have half it draping off. Have it all on the table. Okay. So this is our sleeve and then we've got our elastic and we have a cuff to fit on first. Okay. Now we don't fit the cuff on now and then do the sleeve. We have to do the side sleeves first then the same with this and then we're going to attach that to that okay and then fold it up okay so it is just a straight stitch but 
this one does fray i would uh, not overlock well if you've got an overlock or overlock it or you can do your zigzag stitch just to finish off the edges would you zigzag or lightning bolt i <laughs> lightning bolt um i would zigzag actually zigzag. and i'm actually going to pin this because i can all oh, i was about to skip ahead and i thought no it's going to shift a little bit more underneath the machine and i don't want it to be out Oh, what a lovely message from Helen. We love Adele. So patient, unassuming and down to earth. Well prepared and excellent demos. More Adele, please. We'd love more Adele, please. <laughs> but you're, um, you've got a full-time job, haven't you? So yes. Sundays, how many Sundays do you do a month? Is it just so the one I Sunday I do a month? once a month, but oh. I'm actually in again in two weeks' time. Oh, brilliant. Um, because in a month's time, I'm on holiday. Okay. So yes, it's either a Saturday or a Sunday. Um, but yeah, I'm a school teacher, so my week is taken up. What about six weeks holiday? Oh yeah, but then I've got my girls as well. Oh so. yeah, Adela does have children as well. Yeah. Family. We um, would we would steal you all the time if we could. I'd love to because I am I I really love sewing and I said it in the first show, didn't I? I'm really passionate about getting more and more people in sewing, and I think like the sewing bee was on. Also, the situation we're all in, we're all at home a little bit more. Yeah. It does, it Would you go on the sewing bee? So I applied twice and didn't get on. What? So, oh. so the first time I Surely got Surely we know people in different places. We've <laughs> got to get you on. We've got to ask Mark Francis. Yeah. So the first time, um, <laughs> I applied for his one. Did but you? Yeah, I didn't get on. So the, the first time... Um, I got a, just a phone call interview, didn't get through. And then for Mark's series, I got through to the London interviews, <gasps> went down, met the producers, did, um, got through that, got through to sort of the screen test, and then no. Oh, they must have so many people that Oh, absolutely, apply. absolutely. Oh, definitely could try again, because you're so good. You'd be brilliant on there. I'll be the one, though, that's be like screaming, going, ah, I've got 10 minutes to go. <laughs> Oh. Or I'll be sat there chatting. Who was it? There was another one of our guests who applied for the Bake Off. I can't remember who it was. Not Alison, no, it wasn't Alison. She is a brilliant baker. I can't remember who it was. If you watch it, message in, there's someone who entered. So I've just finished this scene because I want to sit, show you like how effective um, just a zigzag. Yeah seam is so just going over the edge all i've done is the zigzag goes over the edge and back onto the fabric like that and it will finish that seam and i tell you that will last now through mm -hmm. the wash okay okay even though i've got a few little frays there that won't come undone and i wish i'd known that when i first started sewing because my very first top that i made first of all i never pre-washed the fabric so it started to shrink every time I did wash it. Right, so do you always now pre-wash? Always. As soon as it comes into the house, it's straight in the washing machine. Right, okay. Because Before it, you cut anything out. Yes, because even if it goes up in my sewing room, I'll forget which, which ones, ones I've done. So it all goes in the wash. Um, and then I, I wash it on the same wash that I would wash my top on. I don't treat it any different. Um, and, and yeah. That's one thing I didn't do, and also I didn't finish my seams. So every time I put it through the wash, it just kept unraveling right. and unraveling. I was gutted, absolutely gutted. No, so that's a good tip for newbies. Yeah. Right, so we're going to now attach the cuff, okay? So we turn our sleeve to the correct way round, and then we put our cuff on and match up our seam on this side here, okay? This is going to become the the um the envelope or the channel for our elastic okay so i've just matched my seam up first quickly then go around with some more pins because viscose fabric does sort of want to move more so pins are your friends absolutely okay. and it takes seconds longer and you oh. it means that you're not going to be well you're less likely to have to get your own picker out and redo it all again if yeah. it's not quite right and also it stretches more on the bias so if you've got curved it will stretch out if you don't use pins so okay. don't skip pins and then again just a centimeter seam going around this edge going around and then what we're going to do is fold this over and this will become the inside. 
It was Sarah Bolam, actually. Well done, Alison. Good memory. Sarah Bolam, who entered the, um, the How far does she bake get? off. I don't know. I don't think she heard back either. Because it's the same company, isn't it? Yeah. But oh well. Is it the same ones that do um, all the glitters as well? The jewellery one. Oh, I don't know. I don't. I think it might be a different. I don't know whether it's a different telly. Have and you glow watched up. it? Oh, glow up the makeup one. My girls we love, love glow up. I love it. I'm just like sat there in awe. Oh, I know. Oh, well, I was doing my makeup the other day, and Maisie was watching me and telling me, I thought, oh, it won't be long till you'll be able to do my makeup for me and be better than me at doing it. It'll be brilliant. <laughs> Honestly, my eldest girl, she like looks on um, the internet, <laughs> sees something, and then does it. It looks amazing. Do they do your hair and makeup then? No, well, I'm a bit funny. I don't really like someone else doing my makeup. I'm a bit. <laughs> I, even on my wedding day, I still did my own makeup. Really? Yeah, I, oh, I don't know what it is. I don't wear much makeup anyway. Yeah. And I think when someone was doing my makeup, they you put know the way you like on. it, yeah. Look, look, um, but yeah, they they <laughs> love in their makeup so all the time. Yeah. <laughs> And we have to keep reminding, can we put a towel on the floor, please? <laughs> so I'm just now going to fold this cuff upwards, okay, onto the inside. So you don't actually ever see this channel, but by having this channel, it gives you, it doesn't make this cuff go up when you put the elastic in, because with the long one, you don't need to, you just fold it up. Okay. Whereas with this one, you have to add the extra little bit of fabric onto it. Now, if I had time, I would finish this seam here, not seam, this edge. I right. would finish that, but I'm not going to, because I'm going to show you how we're going to insert the elastic into this. Finishing that edge, would you have done it before you folded it? And yes. So do that first. Yeah. Okay. Or you can have a very, very small, hem going over right. okay now what we're going to do is we're going to make a channel for my elastic to go through it does tell you in the pattern how long your elastic needs to be it's quite a wide fabric uh, elastic but i think that would be comfortable rather than a really thin elastic which would feel like it would dig in is it the 32 centimeter yes. one because i've got a 32 and i've also got a 40 centimeter foot so the 32 brilliant yeah. so this is going to fit in within here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start where my seam is because then it's easier when I'm putting my elastic in. Don't start over here because then when your elastic gets to this point, that seam will be really annoying to try and get around. Okay. So I'm going to sew around, but I'm going to leave a gap about three or four centimetres mm -hmm. um, open. That's where I'm going to post my elastic in. Right. Okay. Let me just put a few pins just so then it doesn't fall out of sink even though i've pressed it i don't want it to to move and then end up with a pucker somewhere my, my producer hannah has just said oh can i just confirm it is there two millimeters as opposed to centimeters and she's like actually you know that would be ridiculous if the the uh <laughs> the elastic was there's two centimeters <laughs> wide she also asked me today about my coffee how do i take it do you have any sugar water do you want any water in there <laughs> I was like, yes, please, don't really fancy just having the, the granules with a spoon. <laughs> I did tell you that I've gotten into my coffee drinking recently, but no. I haven't got that hardcore yet of just going to the jar. Oh, I do love coffee. Hannah did try and get me to drink coffee. You said to me, oh, it's a good social thing. You go out for coffee. And, and I'm so pleased that you did that because that's how I got in with my new swimming mums. Oh. After the swim class, they said, do you want to come for a coffee after? And I thought, I'm so pleased that Hannah has said to me, have coffee because then you'll you'll be in the, the cool mum oh, crew. Oh, definitely. Do you know what? Um, my <laughs> mum friends saved me in the first few oh. years even. And yeah. I'm still in contact with oh, them now because... You're always thinking, oh, is my baby doing the right thing? Yeah, oh. yeah. And then also you can just ask for advice and not feel judged. Exactly. Because everyone else did the same thing. Yeah. Like, she didn't drink her bottle last night. Is that okay? Do I yeah. need to worry? Yeah, and all exactly. That. No, and it's now, so lovely. That they're all weeks, like literally yeah. two weeks apart. And now we're nice. having the conversation of, oh, they're going to big school. Oh, are they going to oh. be okay going to big school? Uh, what form are they in? Oh, Things like lovely. that. So. I suppose they'll grow continues. up together as well. Yeah. Go to little parties and things. Yeah, it's funny because um, 
Evelyn's really good friends with <laughs> my um, my friend's little boy called Lucas, and they they're funny. Even now, when they get together, they just fall back into just being mates. Yeah. So oh, that's lovely. It is lovely. I think the girls in the gallery are jealous that we've got a mum friend group. <laughs> <laughs> You also talk about the horrible things about mum, yeah. like labour and things. <laughs> yeah, Adele was telling me about all this before I had the baby, and uh, yeah. I was being honest, Vicky. Yeah. I wasn't going to get <laughs> you were brutally honest. Rose tinted <laughs> goggles. Oh, but it's magical. So you're putting a safety pin yeah. on here. So I'm putting just a safety pin end. on the end, and I'm also just attaching the end to my sleeve because. I've had it far too many times that I'm concentrating, pushing this through, and then the other end is already through. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Things back yeah. down. So what I'm doing now is I'm just moving this elastic along this inside of this channel, okay? And as I do that, it begins to gather up. Now, at the start, it's easy to do because you haven't got much gathers, but as you start to go round, because you don't want to lose that end, you start having to stretch the, the elastic and this becomes quite gathered up. So don't be alarmed if you're coming up with a small, small circle. All right. But yeah, I don't want to lose the end of that. Too many times that's happened and I've got to take it all out and start again. Oh, thanks, Sue. She's put, it's so lovely today. It feels like a class social sew. It is nice. Do you remember when we could go to all our sewing groups? Well, hopefully, I know that Catherine Wright was saying that she's back up and running lots of her, her classes now. Yeah. That's nice. I know um, there's a company in Leicester that are doing a weekend away, but I'm on holiday. There we go. Right. There we go. So I've just now got my elastic through. Take my safety pin off and take my other safety pin off. Now, even though it gave us the sizes that we need, it does allow us to have some room to overlap these two pieces of elastic. Okay. Also, don't let it twist because before I've come out and had that the other way around and then my whole cuff is mm -hmm. twisted and it's frustrating. So just be mindful, make sure that yes, that's all the right size. And as you can see now, that looks really it small. It looks small. I was going to say, do I need to measure this? Because I don't want it to be digging in, in my arm. So you can, it does go up in the sizes. It oh, does okay. tell you exactly like size eight is 24 centimetres, size 10, 25 centimetres. But so it goes up. you Brilliant. can try it out if you want to, but it's only because it's small, because I've got a lot of it sitting out here and it hasn't stretched yet because okay. your cuff does have a bit of stretch yeah. so it stays on. So I, all that I'm going to do now is I've, I want to pull as much of this out so that I've got enough to go through my machine. And I'm going to do some forward and backward stitches along here to secure those two ends together. Okay. Now, it doesn't need to be neat this bit. It You're just needs to be it. secure. So going forwards and backwards, if they're not in the right line, don't worry about it. It's fine. Keep, just keep going. There we go. Just reverse. And finish off. And then we pull the cuff over. And then it encapsulates all. Oh, I've just caught that a little bit there. Don't worry. Just jump. Now we've got to close up this here. Okay. Now this can be a bit tricky because obviously this is all now quite small. So you are going to have to stretch it as it goes through the machine to close that gap that you left open. Okay. But just take your time. Just take your time at this point. How do you get the other part out of the way so you don't sew your sleeve together? So what <laughs> I do is, yeah, I've done that before. <laughs> Put my presser foot down first and then move everything out the way. Because it's almost like my presser foot is anchoring it ah. and then I can move everything else out the way. So like I'm just doing now, my presser foot's down, everything else is out the way and I'm just going to sew and stretch the elastic. Do you ever use the free arm? No, oh. I've never used one never used one are they easy to use well uh, with this i think this might be a bit too small but if you just take the front box off then for sleeves or for oh. trouser legs bag making thing it's quite good to sort of go all the way around there you go i'm still learning 
but I don't know whether that would probably be too small to fit around that arm. Yeah, it might be actually. Oh, you mean like this yes. here? All oh, right. I thought you meant something on there. No. Um, yeah, it would probably be still too small because it's quite a small seam. I'm just finishing that. And. Oh, Julie, love the demo. You make it look so easy. I also did my own wedding makeup uh, from Julie in Wet Windy Kent. Oh, yes. I, do you know, I, I'm exactly the same, same. I felt the same about my wedding day. And my friend, she's a makeup artist, and I said to her, she said to me, you can't do your own wedding makeup because it's too stressful. She said, you've got so much going on that morning, you can't do it. And in the end, I think she did my makeup about 20 times beforehand to make, to make sure, sure that I was happy with it, I think I would be the same of... Yeah, I just... You want to feel I, yourself, photos, you want to look yeah, like yourself. Yeah, I want to look myself, yeah. I don't want to feel caked, um, yeah. and yeah, I just, I didn't want to, plus then I could top it up during yeah, the day. Yeah, exactly, so, exactly. Right, we're just going to enter, put this sleeve in now, so I turn my top inside out, and my sleeve stays the right way. I post my sleeve through, and then I need to match up my under seam, and then there are three notches that we need to look for. Right, so these okay. are now right sides together. So yeah. now, I've now got right sides together, and I've got three notches. The first notch I'm going to find is my top notch up here, mm -hmm. okay? And that matches my shoulder seam. Then I've got one notch for the front, and then two notches for the back. Is that a universal sort of thing? Yes, yes. Um, I think I've seen it on all patterns from all countries. Um, if not, just make sure there is a difference between front and back. Because especially if you've got a big seam, like when we've talked about uh, sleeves going into coats, you'll end up with your sleeve going backwards yeah, like this, yeah. rather than sitting forwards. There is a curve to it, the, the, the seam hole there, okay? So Emma's only really concerned about that. She's like, oh dear, imagine if your coat sleeve was behind. It would just be weird. I've done it once before. I put it in on my blazer wrong, and I thought, oh, I'll get away with this. And you put it on, and then it twists. Because oh, you're trying yeah. to pull your arm forwards, and it just She twists. says, I'd just make it work. I'm not a picking. You'd just be so uncomfortable, Emma. Oh, you would. You would. So, again, just a centimetre. I'm starting under. I always start my armhole sleeves, uh, it seems, underneath, because... Okay. Then if it's a little bit messy while I'm going forwards and backwards and reverse stitch, no one sees that point. If I start at the top, then everyone's going to see where I've done my reverse stitch. Now if you've got a very, very fine viscose, I would change my needle before I begin. You want a nice sharp needle so that it doesn't make any pulls. In the fabric. How often do you change your needle when you dress so, make We talk about it with quilting a lot, but not yeah. so much with dress making. So if I'm just making like a top, then it will stay for a while. But if I'm really making something that I know is going to take time and it's in really nice special fabric, I'll always put a fresh new needle on because I'm paranoid. I've had it before where a dull needle makes a run in the fabric. Yes, absolutely. Oh, I and, and quite often, you know, people worry about different tensions or, oh, it's skipping stitches. Quite often, it's that you need a new needle, yep. isn't it? Yep, um, That's often if, like, if my machine's not working, I take my bobbin out, take my thread out, change the needle, re-thread it all, and it's, and it's worked. Fine. Uh, you can sometimes, I think, start to hear it when your needle needs changing. Yes, yes. Changes the, the sound, Yeah, it's it? like a doo yeah. sound rather than a nice, clear, piercing sound and there we go we've got a nice <gasps> Woo peggy top oh, so all I i've got to do sleeves. now is just the hem and then it's finished it's lovely isn't it really beautiful and i love the fabrics that we've used today gorgeous thank you ever so much as always thank we you love having, having you so you're here two weeks sunday or yeah Saturday? 10 10th of july right so that is a saturday saturday we'll see you then thank you ever so much it's been amazing today having adele um just quick recap on both the patterns that we've been using this uh this hour so the peggy top is the one that you've just had a look at it sizes 8 to 20. the size requirements and fabric requirements are on the back which is the second image on the web because you can't see it there can you oh it's not your eyes oh dear
There we go. So um, it's got your size information, your finished garment size, and also your fabric requirements. Uh, remember, there are the different sleeve options as well. So you've got two sleeve lengths and either a simple hem or elasticated cuffs. So there's uh, all of your uh, suitable fabrics are there as well. Peggy Top, we love it. Don't forget to go to to uh, the Sew Girl blog as well to get some more hints and tips as well as today's show. I know, Geraldine said, I can't believe um, that you've been, that you've only been sewing for four years. Yeah. You're so knowledgeable. Brilliant. Oh, well, it's all by trial and error. All by trial and error. It's amazing, isn't it? It's so inspirational. <laughs> and Adele is always wearing all the clothes that she makes as well. So absolutely <laughs> go for it. Uh, so that is the Peggy top. We also have the lovely kimono. Now this is brilliant. I, I think you're going to make this for so many people, for so many occasions. Just so you know, this one could be about to sell out. Today has been busy. If you want the kimono pattern, please do make sure you're checking out as soon as you can. Um, it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And depending on different fabrics that you use, it's going to look completely different. You could even use, because the... the um, the seam is lower down on the sleeve. You could use a, con uh, a contrasting sleeve, couldn't you? You could do some colour blocking. You could use heavier weight fabrics for the winter and, you know, team it with a scarf like Fiona has here, uh, like a boiled wool or something. It would look amazing. So it isn't something that we just... I always think a kimono, like Adele was saying, as something around the house, you chuck on as almost like a dressing gown. But actually, look, you can wear them for so many different occasions, lots of different fabrics, they're going to look really different. Love it, absolutely love it. Um, now, the fabrics that Adele was using, we've got loads of fabrics that are going to be suitable for both patterns on the website. We did run through some today, but the two that we were using earlier, the kimono one first is this one. It feels so, so super soft and the colours are gorgeous. This is your Chelsea Showcase navy crepe fabric. Half a metre is just $7.99, but of course, by the half a metre, you can have as much as you want. So if you are thinking for different projects as well, this would be lovely. £7.99 for your navy. And then we also have the fabric that we used for the, kimo uh, the peggy top, sorry. That was the kimono one. The peggy top, similar print. Uh, this is the one that, it doesn't really do it justice on the image. It, it, it doesn't look... Um, it doesn't look the same. This is more textured, as, uh, as Adele was saying. But the picture, I don't think the colours are quite captured on there. It's got beautiful colours in here. It's got ochres, deep greens, these lovely burnt oranges as well. See, that's going to take you all year, through all the seasons, isn't it? You could make this into a really, really beautiful um, kimono for the autumn. Southern Bounds, 99 a half metre. As I said, there's loads of fabrics on the website. Have a good route through, see which print you fancy. But they're both great ones to display some of your favourite prints. And, uh, and as I say, I think you are going to make this for a lot of your friends and family. Now, coming up in the next hour, it's been designer week here at Sewing Street and we are going to try and round up as much as we possibly can. Have a look on the website though, because um, my prediction is we probably won't get through it all. We'll do as much as we can. Stay where you are. If you've missed this week, then we'll try and showcase some of the most popular projects. Don't get anywhere, we're back after this. We love designer fabric here at Sewing Street. From the vibrant colours of K-Facet and Tula Pink to the classic designs of Liberty and William Morris and contemporary fabric by Tim Holtz. We're also proud to have wonderful guest designers in the Sewing Street family who share their patterns and designs with us. So we're celebrating our love of designers with Designer Week from Monday the 21st to Sunday the 27th of June. Join us for plenty of new designer fabrics from K-Facet, Tula Pink, Liberty, Anna Maria Horner, Riley Blake and much more. As well as projects and inspiration live from 8am to 1pm on Freeview Channel 72, Sky 670, YouTube and Facebook Live. Check out the programme guide on our website for details on what's on each day.
If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page.
Hello, welcome back, welcome back. I know that we're slightly late running into this hour and I must say, this is the, uh, the, the most packed desk of things that we want to show you. It has been the most amazing week. We're rounding up a fantastic week here at Sewing Street. Um, it's been designer week. Now, one of our favorite designers, fabric designers, is of course Moda. We have done the biggest early bird that we have ever done in the history of Sewing Street to round up designer week. Um, honestly, we've made history today with these. It's amazing. So when you get this home, yours will all be lovely and neat like one of these, all folded all nicely. And they're cut from um, either design rolls, they're cut from um, layer cakes, so they can be different sizes, different shapes, different lengths. But they are all Moda fabrics. They're put together from Moda. They're not our, we haven't put them together. They're put together directly from Moda. And just, because we were intrigued as well of how random are they? Because all we know is they're lucky dips. So we opened a few earlier on. It's an early bird special. It doesn't say in the graphics, I don't know why, but this will tomorrow be 19.99. I would hate for anybody who hasn't been watching all morning to miss this. It's absolutely brilliant. Christine, where have you been? She just said uh, afternoon, Vicky. Oh, thank you. She doesn't love the dress. This was the uh, Mayfair dress that we had earlier on. It sold out. It's been so busy today, Christine. Um, but if you did miss this morning show, we're doing this for you. Go for it. 227 grams. So it's not um, by the fabric, it's by the weight. So you'll get 227 grams of Moda quilting weight quality fabric. Can't guarantee you'll get the cow. Can't guarantee you'll get the cow, but we love this. You've got the, man the, the metallic ones. We've got some printed. It's gorgeous. It's not just, uh, you know, the, the a couple of modas and then just bulked up with loads of other random fabric. It's all moda designer fabric for $14.99. It's an absolute bargain. If you've never worked with moda fabric before, it's a great chance to try it out. Um, or if you know how much you love it, go for it. So that's one selection. Let me show you some others. Do you want me to open any others as well, Hannah? Yeah, are we allowed to? We're opening all of them. Look, there's so many. Beautiful fabric, that one's got a tape measure on. This one's got little flowers, there's greens, there's reds. I saw a Christmas one in one of them earlier on. Um, there's a spot there, Moda spot. There's so many lovely fabrics. I saw white on white. Um, that one is just a plain white, but there's loads all ranging from not the same collection, all different collections, which is great, isn't it? You can sub cut these, you can stitch them together. Do it, uh, I'd love, I do love a lucky dip. I always think it's brilliant to be able to throw yourself into the deep end, have a go with fabrics maybe that you wouldn't necessarily choose straight away off the shelf and then find yourself really enjoying working with certain colours or putting together different colours. So there's another random bag. Look, I'm obviously putting them together as neat as Moda have for you. Sorry to the person who gets this one. <laughs> no, don't worry, it'll all be um, put back all nicely for everybody. We've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these. It is the biggest early bird special that we've had. Bought one of these a while ago elsewhere. Awesome quality and value. I just bought two, Jan. The price is crazy, isn't it? Tomorrow it will be $19.99. It's an early bird special just for today. Make the most of it. I tell you what, if we get to tomorrow, because um, there's now less than 200, well, we will get to tomorrow all being well, but um, these might not be available tomorrow. Gosh. Right, so it just got very heavy then, didn't it? Very dark in Core Past 12. Look, this is the one. This is the one that's got the, uh, the the Christmas fabric in. I mean, I can't guarantee that you'll get the Three Sisters or, or the Christmas fabric, but I do love this particular one. Look, it's got the little chicks. It's got the little chicks hatching. There's loads in here. Uh, 227 grams of quilting weight mode of fabrics. Let me know if you've got this before, what you've used it for. Let me know if you've still got some left over because don't get me wrong, you don't need to use this all in one go. This could be something that you just dip into now and again. Maybe for your EPP, you'd be able to get loads of hexes out of these. Oh my word, really? There's less than 150, which still sounds a lot, I know. It's not. 
when you know how many we started with, it's not enough. It's not enough. We've got a lot of people I know who are going to want these. Um, let's have a look at this one. I opened this earlier on. There are loads of beautiful fabrics. Oh, that's nice. And that one. I've not seen that one before. See, this is what's great is you're experiencing so many different collections that you might then think, oh, do you know what? I might have a, I might have a look more into that range. I love that. There's your white on white. And also designers that you might not have worked with before. Moda, again, has a range of different designers. For example, I don't know whether that one's Three Sisters. There's loads of different designers that, that work with Moda. <gasps> look, this Lucky Dip's got the cow in as well. Oh, that's nice. I love that. The peaches is gorgeous. Oh, this mug, I was thinking, oh, you've bought me a mug and I can't remember that gift that you got me. Hannah just said to me, you know the, the cow, it's got the same print as the mug that I got you. And I went quiet for a bit because I was thinking, rack your brains, what mug did Hannah get you? Think about the mug cupboard, which one's got that print so that I could remember. But she's talking about my coffee mug that she's given me today. I loved that mug that you got me, Hannah. <laughs> It's a good job I didn't just try and make it up on the on the spot. That would that would be a great one because Hannah used to <laughs> I don't know why I used to think that she milked cows in Edinburgh for a profession. I genuinely honestly remember Hannah having this conversation with me, but it must have been a dream like years ago. <laughs> Right, I'm going to open one more. I'm going to open this one. So this is how it will come to you. From Moda, well, from us, from Moda. We've got them all here, ready to go. You don't need to worry about paying extra postage um, for it to be imported over. No. Oh, look at this. Look, because sleep dreaming, cows. <laughs> you got your stripes. Oh, this is a nice bundle. See, everybody's is going to be different. How exciting is that? This one says, My Little King Dance Christmas in the... I wonder what that was. What fabric's that? I'm wondering if I know the nursery rhyme or something. Because I, I do know a lot of nursery rhymes now. In fact, I'm very, very quick at picking up nursery rhymes. I just love that you heard me say that really seriously to Adele. <laughs> that is my skill now, is that I am really quick. <laughs> oh, that's You know when you said that one of your favourite facts about John Scott is that applique, um, his favourite applique stitch is blanket stitch? That can be satin stitch, satin stitch, sorry. Um, and Tom Hanks collects typewriters. You now have a, a really good fact about me too. Look, you've got some really, really lovely um, traditional ones. You've got some nice sparkly ones here. Everybody's is going to be different. It's fourteen ninety nine. How crazy is that? How crazy? You also say what one? Sorry. And I also remembered how much I love a ring pull on a, <laughs> on, a, on a case. We once had a knitting case on Yarn Lane and I particularly liked the ring pull on it. And Hannah has chosen to remember that moment and told John Scott. So now whenever they have a ring pull, they'll always mention that I love a good ring pull. Yeah, Vix would like that one. <laughs> I think we've got to that point now of the day, by the way. It's 20 past 12 that we are delirious. We are delirious. We were very professional this morning at 8 o'clock when Debbie Shaw was here. We really were on it. If management were watching, hopefully you can go back to the start of the show and see how on it we were. We, yeah, we've done really well. And now we are struggling. Okay. So, 
you've got the chance of getting the scrap bags still at the early bird special price whilst stocks last. On the current live show, we are nearly down to the last 100. 20 past 12 on Sunday. So if you're watching on a replay, it's definitely worth, oh no. If you're watching a replay today, you can get it at $14.99. Remember, any other day it's going to be $19.99. Oh, hoo -hoo, grab it whilst you can. Um, can I also show you something we launched today, which was really exciting? So the book behind um, sold out earlier on at 8 o'clock. It was the So Eco-Friendly Debbie Shaw brand new book. We also launched amazing Guterman um, threads, which are recycled from plastic bottles, which are amazing. We had loads of questions saying, oh, will it feel the same in the machine? Is it going to melt when I put it on the iron? It will feel exactly the same as your, um, as, as your regular Guterman thread that you use every day. It's the first time that we've had it recycled. And it's brilliant because it's still very affordable. Bearing in mind, Guterman have probably had to have a whole new way of, well, they have had to have a whole new way of making it and investing in their future, um, which, of course, is, is fantastic. But you would presume that the price would reflect that, and it hasn't at all. There's still about 170 a spool, which is, in fact, less than that on some of the bundles, depending on which bundle you buy. This one is great value because you get 24 of probably the most used colours in your sewing room. We aren't at 170 here. On this one, because you're getting more spools, it's the biggest pack that we've done, it's actually less than 150 a spool. £1.45 to be exact, a spool. It's layered up like chocolate box. You've got two layers of um, black and white recycled 50 weight threads. You also see you've got your washing instructions on there, but just use it the same as all of your other all of your other Guterman threads, um, but just know that you're doing your bit for the environment as well. They'd be a beautiful gift for somebody. £34.99. And, and let's face it, these are the most used colours in our sewing room, aren't they? Black and white are always going to be very, very useful. You're definitely going to use them. Uh, 100 metres on each 50 weight spool. So your most universal thread weight. Use it in your sewing machine, you can still use it in your bobbin, you can use it for a plique, you can use it for um, your piecing, you can use it for hand sewing, absolutely. Um, it, it, it is brilliant quality thread and for the first time we have bought you recycled thread from Guterman. There are different colours on the website, we've got rainbow packs, we've got smaller packs, loads, that's the, the biggest pack that we're offering. Come on over, do you want to come on? I know, I was going with that song, actually. Uh, now, where do I start? It's been designer week here at Sewing Street. We have had um, Tula, we've had Cave, we've had um, Village Fabrics, uh, Yvonne McAtamney, we've had uh, Living in Loveliness, we've had Alison Marion, loads of amazing, uh, talented designers on board this week. Where do we start? I have to do these first. So we have got Tula Pink. Uh, Tula Pink has got the most amazing colours in all of her, all of her fabrics that she does. She's known for colour. So for her to put together an essential charm pack is so exciting. Right, I'm going to take this plastic cover off. But I'll, I, I don't want to, I don't want to take them all out because this is definitely going to go to somebody. It's beautiful the rainbow of color is amazing and obviously it's free spirits tula's teamed up with free spirits so that basically the quality that means you know is there it's got lovely lovely quality cotton so the rainbow of color great gradients of blues it's the first time that we have had this charm pack. Now, don't be deceived when I say um, charm pack, they are big, these are 10 inch squares. Some companies call them layer cakes of this size, um, but this is a massive amount of fabric. $29.99, we only launched it this week and we're already on single figures. Already on single figures. I would just love, do you know the contemporary, uh, the, the temporary book of quilting? There's some really beautiful designs. I mean, even just patching these together would look amazing. Just the bold tulip pink colours. You could put some applique on it if you want. Um, you could do, oh, there's loads that you could do. Even if you just want to cut a load of hexes and make like a rainbow EPP. Oh, 
imagine. Hannah's like, yeah, yeah, what else? What else? What else? There's loads you could do. 10 inch squares. I love that one. That colour. Oh, that is gorgeous. So it's different to our solids. Yes, we're really lucky that we've got beautiful Rose and Hubble solids. But Tula, I mean, look at these shades. That blue. The turquoise ones. Gorgeous. And this will mix in with your uh, Tula collections. It will match in perfectly. Across all the ranges, actually, across lots of the ranges, she uses the same sort of colour palette. Um, look at this selection of corals. Oh, my word, that is beautiful. See, there's a lot of fabric shops that stock the solids and you think, oh, you know, make your designer fabric go further by using solids. But to have the actual designer's solid colours, I think is really exciting. Really exciting. Right, that's about to sell out. We've got less than 10 of those. If you want one, be quick to check check out the other 10 inch charm pack that we have from Tula is this one it is from the true colors range I believe yeah um, your 10 inch charm pack so am I allowed to open this one ah nice so you can just see there um, a bit of a, a, a glimpse the true colors range is one of my favorites I must say because it reminds me of so many different ranges of Tula. So use different, um, like the birds. Uh, I think that one's called fairy dust. But there's so many beautiful ones that are similar to her other ranges, like bringing them all together. And the different colour ranges as well. Like these are going to go absolutely perfectly with all of your solids. That one is like a gemstone geode, isn't it? I love that. Your hexes. You've got such beautiful fabrics, all the different colours, the blues. Same rainbow order as you've seen here. So then into your turquoises, then into your greens and these are lovely limes. And then into all of your beautiful oranges and corals and pinks. They're beautiful. That one is stunning, isn't it? And 10 inch squares, what I love about them is that these are really big charm packs. So for some of the larger scale prints with smaller pre-cuts, you might lose those larger scale prints. Whereas with a 10 inch charm pack, you're always going to see even the large scale prints, you're not going to lose that. Um, if you do want to subcut it into smaller, by all means, of course you can. You can, uh, you can get loads of hexes on, on, from one square. But there are patterns that call for 10 inch squares um, and it's already cut precisely for you there or even big half square triangles there's so much that you're going to be able to do even if you don't have a pattern already I'd get your fabric whilst you can I said this earlier on with with uh, Riley Blake because Tula Pink is an American company Tula is American um, she all of her products I find are really difficult to get here in the UK and quite often you have to pay a really big um, you have to shipping charge as well you have to pay the shipping charge there's some of the smaller shops that I know um, that might stock it or in bits and bobs, but then you might have to wait a long time to be able to get it back in. So we're really, really lucky. We have an amazing relationship with Tula. I know John Scott knows her personally. Um, and we have done for years, the team that have worked behind the scenes um, for years in the crafting industry built up that relationship. So we're really, really lucky that we can bring you all of these um, fabrics regularly actually more regularly than um, than you would imagine now the final pre-cut same range true, true color so I'm not going to open it up because it's exactly the same prints as what we've seen but this time in the two and a half inch strips now what I said about having the larger scale the, the larger cuts and the benefits of having the larger cuts being able to see the larger print is brilliant but actually I'm thinking for the true colors range it doesn't matter too much because these are all smaller scale prints so you're still getting all your hexes you're still getting the birds you're still getting the flowers it's gonna look beautiful but you'll just be able to get one more fabric two more colorways and three less than 50 pounds brilliant price point 40 pieces they're all two and a half inch strips pre-cut ready to go just look at that it just looks oh gorgeous doesn't it gorgeous colors 42 piece design roll all in rainbow order ready to go 
49 pounds, 99 pence. All of the Tulas, very, 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 very popular. Just be aware that um, that this is it. That's everything that we now have in stock. Uh, there's less than 10, I'll remind you of the solids. So, just the last one from Tula are your brand new Aurifil thread pack. This is Tula's brand new Aurifil, Aurifil thread pack. Um, so we've talked about threads today. Oh, look at this. Is this the Alice in Wonderland collection? <gasps> I haven't done the collection. Look at the Queen Hearts. Oh, this is so exciting. I haven't seen the collection yet. I'm going to absolutely love it. I am going to love it. Oh, and look at the colours. So they match in perfectly. Oh, my word. This is my cup of tea. This is my cup of tea. So these are the colours that complement perfectly with her collection. Now, the great thing, as I said, about the True Colours range um, that we've just seen is that Tula uses very, very similar colour palettes, if not the same. So even if you've got the Alice in Wonderland collection, if you've got the True Colours, if you've got the Zoology, if you've got any... Not Zoology. Yes, Zoology. Um, if you've got any of the Tula Pink um, collections, you'll find colours to match in. Tula selected all of these colours personally. She also did the artwork. She's a fantastic artist, isn't she? Gosh. Um, if you love Aurifil, if you love the quality, I know how jammy is John Scott. We're so lucky, again, like with Tula, we're so lucky that we have the relationships with smaller brands and small companies championing, uh, championing some of the best talents locally as well, but also... Companies like Aurifil, companies like Tula Pink and Riley Blake that are big names in the industry, especially in America as well. But Aurifil is one of those brands that is renowned for that quality in, when it comes to cotton thread. And we are so lucky that we've had our own exclusive collections. John Scott's had his own collection. Um, and Tula Pink has teamed up with them as well. She loves Aurifil. 200 metres on each of the spools. I mean, they look really, really bright and really vibrant, but you've still got, for example, your grey. So if you love English paper piecing, perfect. Um, I love that orange. That is just amazing. Where else are you going to get these sort of colours? That is stunning. £59.99 sounds quite an investment for thread. Actually, if you break it down, you've got 200 metres on each spool. Bear in mind, generally, your normal spools of polyester are 100 metres, aren't they? So to be able to say that you're getting cotton thread, which is gorgeous, um, you've also got 20, 20 spools here. You're at 2.99 a spool, but they're 200 metres spool, remember? So £1.50 a spool, if you, uh, £1.50 100 metres, which is so good. So good. And you've got the luxury of Aurifil. You've got the, of course, endorsement from, from Tula Pink as well. She's selected all the colours for you. Uh, and they just make such a beautiful gift. The, the, the presentation of these is fantastic. She's also put the numbers of all of them there. So these are Aurifil threads, um, but Tula Pink has teamed up with Aurifil to create this collection. So if you do want any of them, again, separately, maybe if you've got a big project that you just want to use that orange and you run out, you're always going to be able to get more. And of course, because of the way they make them, they're always so consistent. That's lovely, isn't it? That is lovely. Um, when can I see the Alice in Wonderland collection, please? Well, yeah, can we do it when I'm with you next again, please, Hannah? Because I've never seen it. I've never seen it. I don't know when I'm next in. I'm in, um, I'm not in this, but I'm obviously um, back in in July, but I can't remember what date. I'll have to, I'll have to send you. Right, where can I go next? I haven't been in here all week, so I haven't seen any of these products. These are all new to me. Colour again. Of course, when you talk about colour, you cannot not talk about cave. The cave first said in the studio, are you still doing the same price? Uh-oh, right, okay, we shouldn't, um, we shouldn't have done the saving today again, but we've done it, honoured it, saving eight pounds today on the studio book. Do you know what? This is the ultimate coffee table book, isn't it? I just have this 
uh, to, to get inspiration, to have a good look through. It's absolutely brilliant. Yeah, look, actually, you're saving £10 off RRP. It's £30. £8 off our price. So there's Cave. We, again, really lucky to be able to, to, um, to work with Cave alongside him. Uh, and our team know him personally, which is just amazing. So... It's such a beautiful book, gives you lots of inspiration. If you do want inspiration of, of putting together colours, he's incredible, the ultimate, absolute, brilliant artist and designer. Look at this. I'm, uh, I'm shocked that you haven't got this already, Hannah. She says, I do really like the books he does, actually. About travel, colour, art meeting all of the different designers that he works with, how he, tra how he uh, transforms his artwork into fabric, because he always sort of paints it out first, which is amazing, isn't it? It's all art into fabric. Reoccurring themes, porcelain and pottery. Before, before COVID, I really, really wanted to start my pottery class. I, I did... Um, uh, I did put a, an inquiry to enrol when it started back again. It mustn't have started back again because I still haven't got an email. And in that time, in that time, oh, or maybe they don't want you. That's what Emma just said. <laughs> um, but now, do you know, in that time, I've met, uh, got pregnant and had a baby. Yeah. Maybe Maisie would like to do pottery with me and my new friends, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> They've decided they're going to join my baby swim group. <laughs> it's fine, you can still come to the baby swim group. It's a lovely sensory newborn pool, so it's really warm and it's, oh, it's lovely. There's like lights on the ceiling and stars and everything. It's really lovely and we do nursery rhymes and yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> That's where I've picked up all my new nursery rhymes really quickly. A lot quicker than the other mobs. I noticed that they still don't know the words on week three. And I'm there singing loud and proud. I also know the harmonies. I've been practicing in the car. <laughs> ah, right. So hang on, hang on, hang on. It's also got a section on knitting. If you've watched Yarn Lane, um, then you'll have seen Cave's designs. That's how he started. So he's uh, incredible at knitting as well. Rail fence, knit, uh, rail fence knit. There's some brilliant, look, tumbling box throw. Some lovely knitted designs. And then, I'm just flicking through, but as you go towards the back, how to, part three, you have also got projects. How good is that? Quilting projects. Look at that one. That's gorgeous. There's so many beautiful ones here. You've also got needlepoint instructions. Needlepoint basics, how to do the, uh, the the marble snowball, the different yarns. So there's the knitting as well, which is great, isn't it? This would be such a lovely luxury book for somebody as a gift. It's great. Now, it only launched this week. Remember, we're still offering it with the saving whilst stocks last today. Um, £8 saving, £19.99. It will go back up to, 20, uh, to £30. Uh, now, look, I mean, I've got loads of cave fabric here, which uh, is all the fabric that's available. Now, I'm not going to get a chance to, to, to go through it all. I know that there were some new ones. So what we'll do is we'll pick out some of our favourites, but these are all available on the website if you do want to have a, a, a closer look at everything. Um, so look at all these colours. See, there's some of these beautiful big flowers. I love those. I think they're my favourites. This one, brand new to us this week. And oh my word, look at that. Do you know, I would absolutely use this for the kimono. That would look incredible as the kimono, wouldn't it? The colours are beautiful. Seven forty nine a half metre. Seven forty nine. Your hot petunias. See, I'm learning all the different flower names. These are petunias. Hot petunias. 
That's uh, Hannah's nickname. <laughs> Seven forty nine. It's been a really funny day today, hasn't it? I think it's been fun. I'd be interested to watch this show back on the um, YouTube. I wonder if it's as fun at home. <laughs> I wonder if the, the the fun is relaying, or if we just come across. I just come across as really annoying today. I forget that sometimes you can't hear what's going on in my ear, so. Today, honestly, I don't think you'd want to know what's going on in my ear. Uh, right. <laughs> this is the other colourway that was brand new. Oh, I love the pinks. Look at these fuchsia pinks. In fact, do you know the Tula Pink threads that we had and the Tula Pink solids? There'd be some really lovely solids in there. Look, the blues. There's lots of gorgeous blues and purples that would go really, really well with your cape as well. So absolutely go for it. Seven forty nine a half meter. Again, go for it, especially with the uh, with the really, really lovely kimono pattern that we had earlier on. Slightly lighter weight cotton. It's beautiful. Seven forty nine a half meter. It'd be perfect for dressmaking. I've got the uh, some more new ones that we launched this week as well. Right, let's have a look through which one we want. This one. We've got it in green and we've got it in a rainbow as well. This is the purple and blues. All of these are available on the website, by the way. We're just picking out some of our favourites. Now this one, what's it called? It's called Electric Oil Spill. Do you know, the, the Hot Petunia was Hannah's nickname. It's so weird because that's your nickname, Emma, isn't it? Electric Oil Spill is Emma's nickname. Gosh, I wonder what the next one's going to be. How weird if it'll be my nickname. <laughs> I tell you what, Electric Oil Spill is not the most romantic name that I've heard for a fabric. <laughs> Don't touch the electric oil spill, no way, it sounds very dangerous. Um, but but I know what they mean. Do you know when you see at the petrol station, I'm going to make it even more romantic now. You know when you're filling up your fuel at the station um, <laughs> and you see the oil on the water and the colours, the iridescent colours. It's like the electric colours of that oil spill. <laughs> 749 a half metre. 749 a half metre. Um, now we've also got electric oil spill in different colours. <laughs> what colours have we got here then? The green. So this is electric oil spill in ocean green. Oh, I love this though. It reminds Hannah of um, it reminds Hannah of the geodes on a gemstone. If you were to cut open a big geode, like a big um, I was going to say amethyst, but they're not purple. They're not green. They're purple. Um, but what gemstone would look like this, Emma? You're the gemstone guru here. Yeah, malachite feel. Very good. Seven forty-nine and a half meter. Oh, now I wish that I'd invited you out for a curry with me and Delphine on Wednesday because they're really funny today. <laughs> now me and Delphine are going out on Wednesday with Cat. <laughs> We've also got the bright colours. Right, now this one is called, <laughs> what's this one called? Multi-electric oil spill. No, that's not my nickname. Seven pounds, I just thought it would be strange, wouldn't it? Third time, like if, if, if it were my nickname. Imagine. 
seven forty nine and a half meter and these are your classics your classics colors in fact if you did get again i'm going back to it because this is such a great um 10 inch charm pack if you did get the tula there's such beautiful colors that are going to go as well with your cave it's going ever so quick today isn't it ever so quick they're your bright right we also have um, is there any others from this collection that you want to have a go, uh, have a look at? Yeah. Right. Big flowers on orange. This one. This one. <gasps> oh, nice, nice, nice. Right, what's this one? <laughs> this is my nickname for all my mum's friends, the chrysanthemums. <laughs> that is my new nickname. <laughs> Seven forty-nine and a half meter. Oh, sorry, they're making me giggle in my ear. I do adore these colours. I just want a big conservatory cushion. I've got a conservatory, you see? I've got a conservatory. I'd love a big conservatory cushion. That would be lovely. Or, a, um, you know, just a big poof to put your feet on with this lovely colour in the garden. <gasps> that is gorgeous. Roman blinds would be amazing. And... I'm going to say it again, the So Girl Kimono pattern. There were hundreds of you got that this morning. If you did manage to get it, absolutely get yourself a, a metre or two of the, uh, of the cave. Because if you watch back the show, we went through all of the, the more tricky bits, which uh, Adele completely demystified. It made it really, really simple. So if you do want to have a go at the kimono, this would be a brilliant, brilliant fabric to use for it. I know it doesn't suggest um, a, a, a cotton, or it does suggest a lawn cotton, because this does feel a bit lighter than the quilting weight cotton. It's gorgeous. I mean, they're really beautiful quality. It'd be perfect for dressmaking. We've got all of the others that you've seen here. Obviously, we're running out of time, so we can't go through them all. But if you want to see any of them, do let me know. Um, there are some gorgeous fabrics here, which are all on the website. That's another nice one, isn't it? That one's a banana leaf. So they're your caves. Now, we also have for the first time, I think, ever, I can't remember ever seeing, prior to this week or last week, I can't remember ever seeing a cave design roll. I don't even know if we even had them a, 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 in our previous life. You know, it's at... Um, at Stone Quarter, I don't know. This is amazing. The colours are gorgeous. Oh, look, I've got one that's open. Fabulous. So that's how you'll get it. That is how you'll get it at home. And then this is how you'll store it. <laughs> this is how it will look forevermore after that. Because unless you have got two forks, Unless you've got two forks and a friend, then you won't be able to get it to look like this again. Oh, that's, that's my nickname. No, no, we're joking. Right, so these are your two and a half inch strips. And look at all of these. So if you did see some of your favourites in that big uh, bundle. Is the cave available as a bundle by the half metre or not? No, so they're all individual half metres. So if you loved all of those in the collection and you were thinking, right, well, I want to you know, try them all out, then this is the best way of doing it because look, you've got loads. You've got even more in here actually, because look, that one's not by the half metre. So you've got so every, every, all of the ones that you sort of see, but then you've also got more. That one's lovely as well, isn't it? There's some really beautiful fabrics, really beautiful. The purples, they're really deep purples. They all work together so well. I think this is what Kate is so good at, um, is taking all of the colours, mixing them together, and still not one outshines the other. Quite often when we get a cave quilting, I think, oh, it's going to be 
quite um it's, it's going to be a lot isn't it seeing all these different prints and all these different colors and it always works it always works it makes it work it's very clever very very clever okay so we've gone tula we've gone kaif let's go dogs because these are just gorgeous have you seen these when were these then emma emma was like i remember these these are amazing oh which one can we start with the pugs please oh, oh this is so cute right please 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 can you save one for me because um kieran's uncle's got a pug and i really want to make like a bag or a cushion with this so did you get this and you get this so they've got two pugs they've got um elsa and they've got gino Gino and Elsa, two pugs. Oh, gorgeous. Now, just so you know, the composition of these, 80% cotton, 20% polyester. Oh, look at his own face, so cute. There are panels on their own on the website, but this is a bundle at 7.49. This is so good. Absolutely make the most of it. What about a cushion? You could have this as your cushion front. You could use this as your cushion back, couldn't you? A little tote bag. There was a demo on the 16th of this month if you want to watch it back. Did we make a cushion? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Then, right, if I'm making a, cu if I'm making a cushion for, uh, for Gino and Elsa, then my friend Cherry has got a French bulldog called Arthur. And this looks just like Arthur. So there you go. Oh, we all know someone. Do we all know, do we all know someone who's got a French bulldog? Um, my friend's also got uh, a French bulldog called Archie. Look at him. I tell you what, the artwork on this is brilliant, isn't it? It's absolutely gorgeous. So realistic. Uh, even if you don't have a French bulldog or you don't know anybody that's got a French bulldog, I am that person that I don't have a dog, but the amount of dashend things that I have in my in my house, you would presume I have a dashend. And I don't know anybody with a dashend. But if you just love dogs, love animals, love uh, French bulldogs, then why not? Why not? So this time it's a bundle where you get the panel and you get your fabric half metre for £7.49. That's such good value for money such good value um we also have i bet elliot's got this this is like elliot's dog autumn elliot might not have even seen this fabric you know elliot's got um a, a golden it's a golden lab isn't it yeah golden labrador um no he's definitely got a golden labrador autumn autumn's a name oh look at her so you have your panel and you have your half metre of fabric. Great for bag making, great for, for uh, cushion as well. Plus, you get your panel for £7.49. Now, we've got five minutes and oh, we've got loads here. Now, I've not seen Kerry for so, so long. Kerry is from Living in Loveliness and she has put together some really, really lovely scrap bags. They'll be at random, they're 50 gram scrap bags. Um, and they'll be at random. Can't guarantee what sizes you'll get, but you're guaranteed to get um, all 50 grams of fabric. So this is a Riley Blake scrap bag. Do make the most of it at £8.99. Maybe um, you saw the show of Riley Blake earlier on. If you've not tried Riley Blake, this is a really good chance to try it out whilst you can. Here's another example of what you could get with the Riley Blake scrap bag. So it's not just necessarily three. You could get more fabric. It's just on the weight. So smaller pieces is not necessarily, oh, three fabrics of Riley Blake. Um, we also have a Liberty scrap bag. Can you believe it? I can't believe she's done this. A Liberty scrap bag. So... Um, this one, I mean, there's four Liberty prints in this one. I'm opening it up. Let's have a look. So, in this one, look at what you're getting for 8 99 <gasps> This is loads of Liberty fabric for 8 99 It's quilting weight cotton. Quilting weight cotton as well. 8 99 I've got two big strips there. 
In fact, three big strips. I've got a square as well or an off cut there. So there's so many. Um, the, there are so many different prints from Liberty and they're all gorgeous, aren't they? So absolutely go for it for $8.99. Once again, if you've never sewn Liberty quilting weight cotton before, oh, you'll see how luxurious and how beautiful it is. Now, I know that these are Liberty, but at $8.99 for 50 grams is brilliant. It is brilliant, isn't it? I tell you what, it does make you think though, doesn't it? The Moda scrap bag at $14.99 it's 227 grams. I mean, I'm not putting this down at all. I mean, this is a brilliant price, especially as you've got uh, Liberty there. But it just shows why hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people have bought the early bird today. Do have a look, if I were you. If you don't know what I'm talking about, have a look on the website at today's early bird. It's a Moda scrap bag for 14.99. They were brilliant. Um, right, so three minutes, what do you want to do? Can I show you on the um, website, you can find the row of the month. We've got um, one and two on the show. So if you do love um, Yvonne McAtamney, oh, there it is, sorry. If you do love Yvonne McAtamney, then she's launching row of the month. So which is the first one? This is the first one. This is the first one. So you can see two rows in the first edition this row and this row it was demoed on the 18th of the 5th if you want to watch it back on youtube it was literally everything that you need for rows one and two um, which you can see here even down to your threads definitely watch the show back if you want to to see this all opened up once a month we'll do the show with yvonne she's a brilliant teacher as well so if it's your first quilt this could be a perfect one for you to learn along um, the row that we introduced this week was your applique flowers your village street including thread in your bundle your fabrics if you missed it you can watch it back on youtube that was the 22nd so just a few days ago 22nd of this month have a look on YouTube. There will be one next month with Avon, so keep your eyes peeled for that, where we're going to be doing row four. Now, tomorrow's show, I don't know how, uh, today is just flowing by. Tomorrow's show is with, I'm presuming John Scott. John's here tomorrow with fabrics and panels at eight o'clock. Nine o'clock, William Morris Town Square quilt with Emma Bradford. Oh, my word. She survived after a camping trip then. Did you see where she was staying? At 10 o'clock quilting tools, 11 o'clock seagull mini quilt with Emma Bradford. She'll tell you all about it tomorrow. And at 12 o'clock, you've got Yarn Lane. Search press 20% off book show. That's good. Uh, so more savings. Speaking of savings, look at today's early bird. Make the most of that Moda scrap bag. It's been a brilliant Sunday. Thank you all for joining us. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you, uh, I don't know, in a week or so in the next week or a few weeks. I'm not quite sure, but I'll be back. Um, thank you for your company. John, see you tomorrow, bright and early at eight o'clock.